one year of the Clue Chunk UIM. Thank you guys so much. I've combined all 19 videos of this year for you guys to binge. And if you've never even seen this series, welcome and enjoy the journey of the Clue Chunk UIM. Here's to another year. This is a chunk. A chunk is a 64 by 64 game tile square. I've divided the entire RuneScape map in chunks and randomized every chunk with a value of 10 to 50. By doing clues, I gain clue coins to unlock these chunks. The worst part of it is, I gotta do this on a UIM. Welcome to the Clue Chunk UIM episode 1. Before we start, I actually have to go over some details, of course. As you can see, every chunk on my RuneScape map has a value. I randomize this later in the video. This is how many clue coins every chunk is going to cost. I get these clue coins by doing clues, of course. A beginner will give me one clue coin, an easy 2, medium 4, hard 8, elite 15, and monster 20. On top of that, any new collection log unique that I get from clues will also give me one extra clue coin. With these, I can unlock any chunk I want as long as I can get to it, because here's the twist. I'll be playing my own version of a chunk account. That means I can under no circumstance enter a chunk that I have not unlocked. However, if I can telegrab or farcast something in another chunk, I can do that as long as I don't step foot in it. If a cave or dungeon is located within a chunk that I have unlocked, the entirety of that cave or dungeon is unlocked. And the chunk I unlock next does not have to be bordering my already unlocked chunks. I can unlock whatever I want as long as I can pay for it with clue coins and I can get to it without entering any other chunk. I'll be doing all of this on an Ultimate Iron Man, which I've never played before. And the final goal of this series is to fill every stash unit in the game. Feel free to theorycraft together with me in the comments, because I have no idea what the best route will be, because I'll be randomizing all my chunks in just a second. So please, help me out, because I've never played a UIM, and I don't know the best route of this chunk man. Let's get into it. Meet Clue Chunk Boy. Here he is, in the flesh, all ones, no items from Tutorial Island, ready to take on the chunks. And this is my chunk. As you can see, everything on the map is currently red. The only unlocked chunk is the one I got here. And everything around this chunk is grayed out, so we can't enter that. Thanks to Pilsip, we have a website that randomly generates the chunks. At this stage, it's super, super, super basic, but if you guys look in the description, you can do this for yourselves, and you should be able to save the map and everything. So if you want to try this out, there's a link in the description for this very website. As you can see, when I just refresh the page, it randomizes everything again. So the chunks can either be 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50. And uh, if this was the one, this is not the official role. This would be a pretty shitty one to start off with because I got 50s around me, a 40 on the ham hideout, and 10 on the swamp. I mean, I guess I'll unlock fishing here. Anyway, let's do the official role. This is going to be the map for the entire series. <sighs> this refresh is going to decide the future of this account. Let's zoom in the Lumbridge. Oh my god, I feel like we've got a beautiful one. 10, 10, 40, 30. 10 on the way to Varrock. So we've got a double 10 there. That is beautiful. Unlocking hand members is going to be rough though. But let me put this on Photoshop and get ready to hop in. very first unlock we need at least 10 beginner clues so let's get started and let's go kill some goblins i guess or maybe the spiders in the basement to get our stats up first i think that's that's probably better i'm pretty sure these drop clues one in 128 too oh yeah i had to go for the neck beard emo look by the way because obviously i'm playing a uim so the first level of an entire journey is going to be coming up soon here we go one more attack and there it is, the first level two attack. I think I'm going for base, like fives, maybe base. I'm just going to say 10, but there's no way I'm going to stay here for that long. I mean, I've never played a UIM. How do I even do this shit? Yeah, we are killing these 
massively quick right now. The accuracy is insane. Yeah, I'll stay, I'll stay here for as long as necessary, and then we'll go to the goblins, get some upgrades. Just kill the peasant for this guy, which sounds awful. And we got a letter hose on top. New fashion scape. Oh my god, it actually fits so well. Stat update. Five attack, three strength. Let's keep going. All right, it's time to move on. No beginner clues from these spiders, however, but I'm killing these too fast. Yeah, so you can see the respawn timers on the screen. I'm basically one-shotting them right now, so it'd be nice to go to a stronger enemy. So let's go to the goblins. Oh, damn. We just, we just got an easy clue. The very first clue of the series. Um, I gotta think about this. I really gotta think about this because I feel like the Port Serum route isn't too expensive. But also, if there's a lot of steps in Lumbridge, it might be better to just do one step in Lumbridge and juggle it or something. I don't know what to do with easy clues, man. I didn't expect to get one. Well, I did, but didn't think it through. Let's check the map. Now, the easiest way for me to get to Port Serum is probably get 40 combat, teleport to pest control, which costs 20 points, to then take the boat to Port Serum. In total, that would be 30 coins to unlock Port Serum, which is very fine. And then we could complete that step. It is six out of 155 chance that I can complete the very first step of an easy clue in this chunk that I currently have, which translates to about one in 26 easy clues that I get, I will be able to do the very first step. Having an easy clue step that's only 30 coins away might be worth to keep. I think I'm keeping it for now, and I'm gonna continue focusing on juggling beginner clues. So I'm gonna be done here with my very first trip of the goblins. Also, I put one of these spicy loot beams and all the clues I'm gonna be getting, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm hoping these and sold goblin ha um, heads actually sell to the store. As I said, I need some coins for axe and battle axes and all that stuff. There we go, 347 coins. Hang on, do the chef's hat sell for anything? They don't. I will, however, keep one for the beginner clue step. So possible to put it in a staff unit. So that's good for the cooking's guild eventually. Let's keep going until we get a beginner clue. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need this beginner clue. <laughs> get back. It's actually nice to have an account that can die for once after having played the hardcore for so long. Give me my beginner clue. Let's check if it's a step in Lumbridge. Ooh, and that's five prayer. Reldo Strange Device. That's unfortunate. We gotta drop this one for sure. We gotta look for a beginner clue that is completable within our borders. There he goes. Beginner clue is another Reldo step, dude. Oh, God. This would have been the perfect scenario if this clue was actually useful, man. We got another beginner clue within the time that we got the first one, like the previous one. This one is completable. Oh my God, we got our first clue that is completable. Holy shit. Time to get another and then another and then hopefully... Ooh, dude, I'm excited. Okay, okay, okay. If you guys don't know how clue juggling works, by the way, let me quickly try and explain it. As you can see, you can't get extra clue scrolls when you have one in the inventory. But if there's one on the floor, you can get another one. If you drop a clue to the floor and another one appears of the same kind, you pick it up and you check it, then both clues will be on zero steps. Even if one of them is on like four steps, it'll reset back to zero. It'll reset to the newest clue steps. That being said, if you complete a step on the one clue, the other clue will also have a step completed. A beginner clue has three maximum steps you can complete before you get the guaranteed casket you can get one from one you can get one from two but it's guaranteed after three so if you have three beginner clues on the ground with steps you can do you can do one step of each and the last one will give you a casket did that make any sense i hope it did anyway that is why we need three beginner clue scrolls with three steps we can do in this chunk to get our first completion guaranteed we could also risk it with one or do it with two but it's way safer to go for the hundred percent Oh my god, you're kidding me. My beginner clue luck is ridiculous right now. Can we do it? Bah! We keep going. All right. Moment of truth again. Ugh. Reldo, man. I'm gonna have nightmares about Reldo later. This is the first time I can juggle an easy clue. This is why I've been dropping it. There are, as I said, six clue steps that I can do in my area. Taverly, that's a bit far. <laughs> All right, boys, it's happened. This is clue number two, two that I can do. We now have to juggle two beginner clues in the hopes of getting a third. This uh, is a 60% chance of us completing the beginner clue already, but I have some time. I think three should be doable. We're so close now for our first clue completion. Oh my God, this could be it. I just got, oh my God, I got four on the floor. What just happened? What is going on? Oh my God, I could complete a clue. Holy shit, what about this one then? Is this also a... Okay, this one isn't. But we've got three. We, we, can, we can complete our first clue. Holy shit, that was super fast off the other one. Not even a minute. Not even a minute. All right. Um, shit. 
The stat check is as follows. 18 attack, 19 strength, 17 defense, 14 prayer. Some fletching and woodcutting levels that I trained while I was AFKing. So that is going pretty well too. I would say how many goblins I've killed, but I forgot to re reset my rune light tracker. And so I think I have killed about 1,200 at this point. From this point on, I am tracking the goblin loot or the amount of goblins I've killed. But unfortunately, it merged with my only trails loot. So I had like 5,000 goblins on the tracker. So that got messed up, unfortunately. All right, here they are. The three beauties. The first clue we're going to be able to complete on the series. We'll start off with hounds. It could be a one-stepper. And then we have two to still juggle, which is pretty crazy. But uh, we'll see. Okay, so it's definitely one that we cannot complete on this next one. There we go. We right-click this clue and it's got one step completed. So if this one is a... Oh, uh, it is actually a three-stepper. So we're really, really lucky. And we cannot do this one. So we're really lucky we went for three. This is the last clue. A guaranteed casket. This is why we kept the bronze axe. And there's the very first casket of the series. Now, I remember I got clue coins for opening these caskets. I'm also pretty sure that I got an extra coin if I got a unique out of this casket. But I gotta, I gotta learn where I get these clue coins. I've heard of a guy that's somewhere... Wait, there he is. A guy called clue coins. Yo, who the hell are you? Want to earn some more coins? Sure, what are these used for again? You need clue coins to unlock these other chunks. How else did you think you're going to get them? I mean, I kind of just explained that in the intro, but... You want to come to me almost every time you complete a clue. I'll give you these coins you want so bad. Why is he talking like an NPC? Is this guy even reacting to what I'm you saying? You know what? Because I like you, I will also throw in some extra coins every time you complete a milestone. How about every 10 clues you get 2 extra coins, every 50 you get 10, and every 100 you get 20. I mean, I kind of like this Slayer Point-esque system because the early game grind is going to be rough. Thank you, man. Now leave me alone. You and all those tile cums are disrespecting Jesus, man. Okay, the sorry, guy. dude. Whoa. Language. What the hell, bro? You never mind. I'm going to just open this casket and leave you alone, bro. What the hell? Let's see if the very first casket of the series will either be an upgrade or unique for an extra clue coin. Can we start with two? No, we can't. However, I think the Steel Battle Axe is a big upgrade. There we go. You know what? I will go and claim my clue coin right now. God damn, every time since this swamp boy came to Lumbridge, it's been nothing but chaos. Oh shit, something super interesting just happened. I just got a better easy clue. I just got an easy clue that I can actually do in this area. <laughs> one out of 26, bro. Uh, I guess I'm flipping this one now, and this also kind of changes our idea of what we're gonna do. As I said, the original plan was to teleport to pest control at 40 combat. By the way, stat check, almost 20 base stats, and then go to Port Serum, but maybe we... This frees up a lot, man. This doesn't tell us to instantly go to Port Serum. I guess I'll keep flipping this easy clue. Maybe we can get two in the area and try and get lucky with it, but we're gonna be here for a while anyway. We still need nine more coins the coins are not currently in my inventory sorry to break your immersion but someone's still making the plugin so the coins appear in my inventory <laughs> but yeah i'm guessing we're letting this support ceremony despawn which is sad even though 30 clue coins is quite a bit off still like 29 beginner clues but still it was somewhat achievable and here we go again boys we've got three not that long it took me about an hour to get three that is ridiculously lucky we are going to hit dry spells on this account probably relatively soon but it is amazing to see that we're getting these first two done so quick i gotta watch out though there is one step on the beginner clue that is talk to hands and also the easy clue has a, a uh, talk to hands step so we gotta watch out that we drop the easy clue before we do that because i believe that the easy clue has priority over the beginner even when it's not activated i might be wrong on that though uh but i'm not willing to test it out and lose my easy clue step so we're not gonna do that it's not a one stepper the second step we cannot do, but that's not a big problem. Drop the beginner clue, go grab the other two. Another three stepper, and can we do it? We cannot. There's my boy Hans, drop the easy clue, make sure the easy one, uh, the beginner one is activated. And there is the casket. I'm just gonna open it right here and claim my clue coins later. If this is a unique, we already have three. If it's not a unique, we'll be on two. Let's see what we get. Is it an upgrade? Steel longsword or something? Oh. That's pain. I mean, to be fair, silver lining as uh, my first piece of range gear. Time for another upgrade on the series. We are going to switch out this steel battle axe that we got from the first beginner clue for a mithril battle axe, which should allow me to basically one shot most goblins. Kind of exciting. Almost 30 strength too. Killed a good 1,500 goblins by now. Oh, this is a good time for an evil bob random actually. Is this the fishing one? I don't, I'm not sure. No, it's not. All right, so I'm going to get some uncut gems, I guess. All right, let's see. Maybe runes. I don't know. 500 GP. 
Yeah. Well, this is very unfortunate. A dragon imp in my chunk. Don't go out of my chunk. No, it is lost forever. We will meet again when I guess I can train hunter or have more chunks available and have a better hunter level. I didn't drop my clues. That's a waste of a goblin kill. I unfortunately have to go and I only got two beginner clues on the floor. Both have a lumbridge step, so I'm hopeful that I can get a two-stepper going. It is risky. That one, unfortunately, is a Charlie the Tramp step. I'm going to hit Charlie when I get the Varrock finally, man. That guy has cock-blocked me for so many clues. Both the other ones were three, so maybe we can get lucky for this one. You know, um, sometimes I'm a gambling man, and that is not a good thing to be. You know, a one-stepper would be even more beautiful, because then I'll keep the, the step I got in Lumbridge still. Any caskets? No, unlucky. Is the second step maybe in Lumbridge? It is not. Oh, that's pain. That is such pain. Oh, <laughs> that's the waste of two clues. Oh, that's rough. It do be how it do be. And with that prayer level that I just got, I just got 40 combat on on goblins. I got two beginner clues here. Let's hope we get a unique next time and let's hope I can finish this one. Oh, talking about it. Lumbridge step. Oh, dude, what a timing. That's insane. Okay, um, let's go. All right, Hansi boy, you're becoming my best friend slowly but surely. That is already a step we can't do, so it's not a one step beginner. What? Dude, I just come here and smack a goblin and I get another beginner clue. Shit. Oh no. That beginner clue might have reset. Oh no, that one might have reset the steps. Fuck, dude. Oh no. Oh, that's awful. What do I do now? Do I try to go for a two-stepper or do I- Oh, do I start from scratch? That was so stupid. All right, note for the future. Do not start randomly smacking goblins. <sighs> This is so dumb. I'm just gonna hope for a two-stepper, man. That's my only redemption. Be four hours wasted if it's not. Oh, yes! Oh my god. Oh, that makes so much. Okay. Okay. All right, then it doesn't matter. Please be unique. No, however, I think this gear is better. This is a gear upgrade. So that's not even too bad, man. My first genie after I think five or four days of the account. Uh, by the way, don't mind all the clues on the floor. These are all useless. I still don't really know what I want to lamp. I'm very much leaning towards Hunter and I'm thinking of instantly pulling the trigger on that one. Another easy clue. What is going on when I record these clips? The other idea would be construction because I have no idea when I can train that. Feel free to help me out in the comments, guys. I think it's gonna be until I get to Varrock, which it's gonna take a long time. I can get to the Champions Guild. It's 10 clue coins to unlock this chunk, which is beautiful, which is by the way, also a wheat field. So if this one can get crop circles, which I'm pretty sure it can, I can already unlock Puro Puro. I'm already gonna make my first important UIM decision, and that is to drop the later hosen. <laughs> I'm sorry, the first iconic item that we got on the UIM will be dropped. The inventory is getting kind of full. I also should just wear these bronze bolts, by the way. That was a decision that I should have made about 20 hours ago. Oh my god, it just happened. I just got another Lumbridge easy clue, and I have no idea what to do right now. I have to, I have to try. The chance of completing this easy clue, as you guys know, is only 33%. One in three, basically. I don't know if that's the actual math. Maybe the first, like, the chance of being lowest steps is, like, lower. I should know this is a clue, man. I don't. However, we're gonna try and complete an easy clue, which would be two clue coins, which is absolutely massive at this point of the account. I'm not hopeful, but this might be our first easy clue completion. That is so unfortunate, but it is what we expected. I know I'm going to sit here for at least two more weeks before I can get out of this chunk anyway, so it was worth the attempt to speed it up. A beautiful moment on the account, as always. Three clues from Lumbridge. Let's go trade him in. Hey, nice. It was a two-stepper. I already got the casket, and that leaves me with another beginner clue that's in Lumbridge for the next juggling session. That's pretty sick. I just did a multi random event in between. It was kind of scary with three clues on the ground. Getting close to halfway. Now, if there's unique, we are halfway. That'd be five at that point. That's how math works. Almost 10k cash, too. Quick stat update before we open the clue. 40 attack, almost 40 strength, and 32 prayer. We're actually going to get protection prayers on this account from Goblin Bones, so that's pretty insane. All right, can we get our first unique? 
No, not yet. We do get an oak longbow, though, and a couple mind runes. Um, hard leather body is good. Two clue steps for a hard leather body and none for the leather body, so we're just gonna drop this. We can already wear this, so if we get to range training, that's also very nice. So that's a good swap, actually. A last clue session of the day, as usual. Two more beginner clues. Let's get lucky. All right, Cook, give me the lucky casket. Ooh, gee, we already, we, uh, what? We got one. Number five, halfway to our first 10 clue coins, which is our first chance to look at the map properly and see what we maybe want to unlock. Maybe we want to keep saving up some clue coins for the 20 or 30. Here we go. Ooh, actually, the wizard hat might not be too bad. The iron pickaxe is our best in slot at the moment, but I don't think we're going to be mining soon, and I kind of want my inventory space. The wizard hat, though. Can I get a blue wizard hat from an imp? I can, so I'm just going to sell the wizard hat and the iron pickaxe. There's no use that we have for this currently. Two milestones in one go. Get up, get the beginner. Oh my god, I almost lost a beginner. Two milestones in one go. One, I missed my first level <laughs> of the series. Two, we got base 40s. We are combat 50 now, so uh, it's getting kind of crazy now. We've also killed 5,100 goblins at this point. No champion scroll yet in sight, but I am very confident that we will be getting a champion scroll uh trails editing here sorry to break the immersion but it is actually not possible to get a champion scroll drop pre 32 quest points you have to be able to enter the champions guild so just wanted to set that straight keep enjoying the video also click the subscribe button if you're still watching thank you I just missed, and yes, even in this series, I miss levels. I just missed 37 prayer, my first protection prayer by burying bones from the goblins. I'm struggling today, guys. I know I don't want to do too many goblin updates because I feel like by this point, you guys have probably seen enough goblin running around, but it's been a struggle day today. I've been really lucky on my first clue coins. The RNG is coming to bite me in the ass. I have not gotten a second beginner clue that starts in Lumbridge in about the last 1,200 goblins. We're at 6,000. 1,068 goblins killed right now. My RNG turned around. I gotta watch out now because it's a lot of clues. Like, I think I think this is probably the most clues I've juggled yet. We've also managed to again get two more easy clues in Lumbridge. We have three beginners, so we definitely got another clue coin. Hopefully two if we get a unique. I'm not sure what I want to do on the easies just yet though. It sucks to be using these easies, man. It really does. If I could get a third step and I can complete an easy this early on, That'd be clutch for the account. We're gonna be unlocking chunks so much quicker if we can do an easy clue. Let's do it. So this one is now rendered useless. Here we go. Are we gonna waste another easy clue or is this gonna be a casket? <sighs> Shit, man, we tried. That's a third step though. Uh, Port Serum is back in the cards. The thing is I'm going to constantly drop it and if I get a new easy clue, then it'll reset back to zero. But who knows, maybe we go crazy dry on easy clues. <laughs> I'll keep it around, I'll keep it dropped, but uh, keep in mind that when we get another easy clue, that just resets back to zero and we have to drop it anyway. Oh shit, I just got a one stepper and that's predicted. There goes the easy clue steps and it's also not even Lumbridge. Here we go. Oh, it is! That's amazing, dude. One unique. That's what I wish for right now. Six and seven beginner clues. That's a steel axe, that's a sell in the store and seven clue coins. Still no unique. Yo, what's this guy doing? Boys, it is with insane excitement that I can tell you that right here, top left, you can see the clue coins. The plugin is finally accepted on RuneLight. I mean, I mean, uh, clue coins has finally given me my, my coins. The plugin is called Personal Currency Tracker, and you can change the coin type to whatever you want. From now on until the end of this account, you'll be able to follow how many clue coins I have on the bottom left. All right, so this does work. This is actually a pretty decent go-to AFK method. Unfortunately, we can't do that beginner clue, because we'll, so we'll be dropping it again. So even when AFK and woodcutting, I can still try and get beginner clues this way. Lads, what? I didn't even think this was possible, but I got nine law runes from the Prison Pete random event. That opens up so many chunks. I can teleport if I train my magic and look at the runes I have. Yo, that's actually huge. Just got 40 prayer. Oh, you can see it. I've completed seven beginner clues. And at this point into the account, we have seen over 145 clues. Remember, I reset my counter at the start of this, so you gotta add about 500 or 400 goblin KC there. But yeah, seven beginner clues with an average of 14 steps total in 145 beginner clues. Oof. 
We'll keep trooping. Something weird just happened. As you can see in my chat box, I have not gotten a beginner clue drop yet. But when I logged in, I got the message that, was, that I got a beginner clue as a drop, and this clue was already there. However, I went to bed yesterday with a beginner clue on the ground, and when I logged back in, it is it was still there. So I'm going to try and completely close down Runelight when this thing's supposed to be disappearing and see if it's still there. So I did get the message again over here on the other screen. You guys can't see it, but it does stay. Is this a new discovery? I genuinely didn't know that. So your untradables, or at least clues, stay on the ground if you log out. So I don't know if it's about that new update where drops are now player bound instead of like server bound or something like that. But that's good to know. So if I log out and have a bunch of beginner clues on the floor that I'm juggling, they would not disappear. Also, I can now go to the toilet while I have clues on the ground. This is a revelation. I could get my first bit of fishing XP here, which is... Pretty sick because I believe I cannot train my first levels of fishing in this chunk. So if I can somehow get 15 fishing, then we might be able to get the uh, the fishing going on the account. It is 650 fishing. That means seven fishing in one go. Yo, that, that random event is OP, bro. Oh, you can't imagine how happy I am. You know, you know that it's been a very long time since I've gotten three beginner clues when the three I get are the exact same step on all all of them that's when you know the rng was just not with me bro <laughs> i'm very lucky that i went for three because it was a three stepper no beginner clues in the inventory anymore these two i cannot do do we get our first unique we do not oh man we are now at ten thousand. oh i missed one I have a chunk in mind that I want to go to. However, it is 20 clue coins. All right, unfortunately, the two that I just completed didn't give me another Lumbridge step, but this is going to be the third step, and Hans is going to give us another casket, which is going to be clue coin number nine. If we get a unique, it'll be 10 clue coins. Dude, come on. Not yet. No first unique. By the way, one more beginner clue, and we get two extra points from the 10 completed milestone. Beginner clue number three. 10 is on the floor. Chance of it being a one or two stepper? Relatively high, lost two or three steppers, so. It is a two, that's great. So we leave this place with one more beginner clue. So this is gonna give us 10. We're gonna have to go over to that weird clue coin guy and get our two extra points for having done 10 beginner clues in a row. If we get a unique out of this one, that is three added points skyrocketing us straight to 13. Dude, that's four extra points. One for opening, two for the 10 milestone, and one for a unique. Four points in one clue could happen. And it didn't. We can get rid of the ultimate Iron Man stuff. And also we have a steel full helm to sell in the shop and an earth staff that might actually be best in the slot mage. We might be able to train mage on the next episode. Well, we will be training mage on the next episode with a staff. There was no other way for me to get a staff around here, I think. That's amazing, actually. Holy shit. The day has come where I get protect from melee in my spawn chunk. 43 prayer. Quests are no problem anymore now with this protection prayer. It's about 12,500 bones that I buried. Let's get a unique so we can get an extra point. And I'm juggling an entire library again. Look at this, five clues on the ground. This account is crazy, man. Hey, a two-stepper, I save a beginner clue, that's beautiful. About a thousand one hundred goblins later, we have another beginner clue. Again with a staff of earth. Oof, so one stepper. Let's open it to see if it's a unique. Pain. I'm starting to really regret going for those two easy clues that I did before. I should have just waited for three. There's an easy clue, has a lot more uniques, and I could have just gotten like three points off the bat from one easy clue. That's 50 defense. Now we're switching back to attack. The combat stats are basically all 50s right now, which is pretty sick. The combat total is 64 and the prayer level is 45. We are still out here. Oh my God. I can't believe that it took so long. You guys remember that last one where I it was only a one stepper and I got two extra clues? Well, it took me without over exaggerating at least 35 beginner clues before I got a step that was in Lumbridge. Do we get our first unique? We don't. 25 air runes. It's two steps. Beginner clue number 15. Can we get 17 coins or do we get a unique? Oof, that's a big casket. Man, I'd love to be able to complete this easy clue. I want to give it a try, but I'm too scared of trying it with two. One of these easy clues is from the next chunk I'm going to unlock, so I've been juggling that along the way. Two of them are in Lumbridge, but I'm too scared of trying for the lowest possible. I'm going for three. 
Oh, we've got our first back-to-back. -back. I was just talking about it. Nice. So we're going to leave this clue once again with another free step, just like the last one. But that's the first back-to-back -back Lumbridge step I've ever gotten. That's amazing. So what I've got now is still one beginner clue with hands on it. Can we get our first unique? Here we go. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit unexcited. It's just that this grind has been going on for so long. I'm so excited to be so close. Come on. I guess the blue wizard rope top isn't really too bad. I'm not not mad at that to be honest 18 clue coins we're starting to taste that first chunk now oh my instant casket i got two more beginner clues on the floor do we try and finish it right here right now we could go for the two-stepper and take the risk but i will literally throw two days out of the window if i try and go for that right now it could be done here and now if i get a unique out of this casket so let's open it first and then think about it <laughs> oh my god God. 19 clue coins, one more until we unlock our first chunk, and I think I'm not going to take the risk. I think I'm going to keep juggling beginners until I get another Lumbridge step. Oh my god, we're done. That was so quick. 15 minutes after- sorry, I'm yelling, because the room still has a little bit of echo. I'm fixing it, all right? That was the right decision to wait. Dude, that's so lucky. I spent three days trying to find one Lumbridge step before this, and then now today, the next two beginner- I have to drop one, but the one after that was another Lumbridge step. That is ridiculously lucky i'm so happy we're gonna get out of this chunk dude we would have actually been fine with the two clues we had all right let's open this one and get our 20 coins to buy our very first chunk boom we're not ending with a with a unique but that's all right 20 clue coins let's head on over to mr clue coins wait he's not here Guess I'll just leave the clue coins here for when he comes back. There we go. We're back on zero clue coins. We bought our very first chunk, and that chunk is going to be Barbarian Village. There's many reasons why I want to unlock Barbarian Village, and now I can also show you guys the clue I've been juggling. We've got three easy clues, one of them being in Barbarian Village. There we go. So we can actually try and complete this easy clue next episode. So let's visit the chunk. A monumental moment where we will take the canoe and go to our very first unlocked chunk, man. I'm so excited. I can't believe it suddenly went so fast at the end. By the way, we've killed 22,252 goblins to get here. 374 total beginner clues of which I've probably dropped over 300. Any more stats? We've got the full stats over here. 55 attack, 55 strength, 50 defense, and 47 prayer. <laughs> Who says getting protect from melee on an early level account is difficult? You can just kill goblins, bro. Without further ado, let's step onto the canoe. Let's push it in the water. And let's head on over to our very first chunk. feels good to be here. Congratulations on your first chunk. Oh, Jesus. Last episode, we unlocked Barbarian Village. But why? Well, I didn't only unlock this chunk for the noted tin ore, copper ore, iron ore, or law runes from Barbarians. I also did it because there is a total of one beginner clue and two easy clue steps in this area. Some people in the comments wondered why I did not unlock the 10 chunk under Varrock, but I did some testing and unfortunately, the canoe puts you in the 30 chunk. I also updated the world map because I completely forgot the Temporos minigame area and rolled a random wheel to decide the value. Welcome guys to the second episode of the Clue Chunk UIM. I am still ridiculously excited because I just came back from our newly unlocked chunk, the Barbarian Village, which is cool because it's so far away and we can efficiently get there and get back. Now I want to continue where we left off, which is the easy clues. As you guys know, I've juggled three easy clues along since I've had 15 clue coins or something like it's been a long time and it's all because of this one. We have three easy steps An easy clue, as you guys know, hopefully is two clue coins each and we also get one extra clue coin every unique we get and there is a pretty big chance for an easy clue to drop a unique so we can get our first new clue coins this way if we get a little lucky easy clue is two to four steps so let's hope we can complete this one there he is this could already be the casket which would be amazing it is not. So now it feels really good to not have to juggle a clue wherever I go. I can just hold on to these and go to Barbarian Village, my new chunk. And hopefully this third step is going to give us the casket. If it doesn't, then I've been juggling three easy clues for no reason. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's so painful. 
That is so painful. So goodbye, three-step easy clue. You'll be missed. On a positive note, let's discover this chunk. We obviously got the entire stronghold of security. On top of that 10k, which we don't necessarily need right now, we have an extra easy clue step, this closed chest over here, and an extra beginner clue step, which is one of the reasons why I picked this initially. On top of that is that these barbarians have a drop rate of a 1 in 128 for law runes. If I'm juggling clues all over the place, then I'm going to need a bunch of law runes, and this is actually pretty convenient. They also drop beginner clues and easy clues. So that's what I'm going to be doing for now. I'm going to be dropping my beginner clue and training some magic on these barbarians in the hopes of getting some law runes. Now, I do have to watch out that my magic doesn't go over level 50 because if I get the evil bop random event, I do still want to get 15 fishing before I get 50 magic. Because if you guys didn't know, I didn't know this, so this is news to probably a lot of people. The moment you have over 50 magic, the evil bop random event will not give you any fishing XP anymore. Hey, it's Immersion Breaking Editing Trails again. It's actually when your mage goes over level 50, there's a 50-50 chance of you getting fishing or magic XP. Before that, you always get fishing XP. By the way, have you subscribed yet? Let's get some magic levels. I've just unlocked my best spell for a very long time because I'm not going to be able to get fire runes very easily. I could get them from the flesh crawlers in the second layer of the stronghold, but I don't know if I constantly want to go to the flesh crawlers to try to get a couple fire runes. They're also on the barbarian drop table, but they drop every five, so that's also not really <laughs> that consistent. So I'm rocking up with my earth staff. I'm really happy I got one of these from the beginner clues because it's actually my business lot staff for a while. We just hit 17 magic, which unlocked wind bold, but with my three chaos runes, I'm not going to be able to do much. I haven't gotten a maze random yet. In fact, I feel like I've gotten a very small amount of random events. Now, I think it's based on XP gained in total. And because I haven't been getting a lot of combat XP in general, killing goblins, I think that has something to do with it. Any of you guys knows more about random events, please let me know. Hey, there's my first beginner clue from the barbarians. Any step we can do? No. Shunk Boy has achieved 400 total level. Actually getting somewhere now on this account. 26 mage. We can use a Varok teleport. Hey, the first law rune drop. That's what we're looking for. Also, I also got a second beginner clue that I can do. Funny thing is, it's actually the beginner clue here in Barbarian Village. So that's the exact reason why I unlocked this chunk or one of the many reasons. There it is, hunting up there. The chunk is paying off. We have our last beginner clue step here at hunting in Barbarian Village. So there we go. We're going to get our first clue coin in a while. Not our first unique. And I think these two have the same stats. And the blue wizard rope top is an easy clue requirement. So I'm going to drop the black rope back to one clue coin. While killing some minotaurs, I just got my third lamp. But <laughs> I still haven't figure out, figured out what I want to do with them. However, I'm in a massive brainstorm session right now, and I feel like I've got an idea. What if I unlock the Varrock Square? Now, hear me out. I know it's really expensive, but the Varrock Square not only unlocks two more beginner clue steps, but also seven easy clue steps. And I haven't even told you the best part. Within this chunk, we also have the Varrock Museum. Now, as you guys may know, if you go downstairs, you can do the natural history museum quiz. By completing this, you get a thousand slayer and thousand hunter XP. This means I can start lamping hunter from level 9. When we get level 17, we can unlock baby implings. This is our opportunity to unlock hunter very early on in the account, but is going to require another 19 clue coins. So let's get grinding. <laughs> Twentieth beginner clue. That means I get two extra coins from this. So that means I'm guaranteed to get three coins in one go right now. If it's a unique, we could get four. Twenty beginner clues? You're getting the hang out of this, huh? Oh, cabbages, that's unique table roll. Uh, guys, I'm gonna try it again. I'm scared. Three easy clues in Lumbridge. And I've failed this twice before. Let's please get an easy clue casket. I'm shaking, dude. I'm, I'm actually shaking. The Doomsayer is here. It could be the casket already. It's not. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, dude. This is close even. This is even more frustrating. Okay, it has to be this one. I'm going to be so upset if it's not, dude. Here we go. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, we've got an easy clue casket, guys. By the way, this is still the beginner clue from all the way at the start of this episode, I'm pretty sure. Without further ado, no milking, can we get a unique two clue coins from one easy clue casket? Here we go. Oh, it's not even a unique, dude! Oh, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. However, the first easy clue on the account is done. I'm gonna drop the trout, I'm gonna drop the body runes. I'm keeping the amulet of magic until I'm going to be doing smithing. I will be probably dropping it at that point. But two extra clue coins. We're on seven now. The thing is, I've also just realized that the black plate legs are probably more of a nuisance than anything else. And I've been doing this entire series so far, the full four days and 13 hours with armor on, which probably is not the play. It's so much more run depletion. <laughs> and I frankly don't really know why I ran around for four days in game time, constantly wearing armor. It really isn't necessary, so I'm gonna sell the black plate legs and I'm gonna go about my day naked. So please don't judge. I want my haircut to be flying in the wind or something. And uh, shit, I just took training bow and arrows and did not get the runes. Three more clues on the ground. Uh, we still got the Barbarian Village step, but we, we'll keep that lost. And we have two more steps in Lumbridge. I'm kind of hoping that these three clues free up my inventory. I hope it is a three-stepper, to be honest. And that's the first time I'll ever, and maybe the last time I'll ever say that, but it'll clean this beginner clue off my inventory and we can focus on the smithing grind. I want to have as many inventory spots available to me as possible. So that's already one. Is it going to be? Oh, if this is a back-to-back. -back, oh my god, it actually is a back-to-back. -back, so I am. Oh my god. <laughs> so I guess I'll still have a beginner clue in the inventory. And it is still that same one as literal days ago. Let's get our eighth clue coin. Maybe even the ninth if this is a unique 22nd beginner clue. Here we go. Ooh, it is an oak longbow. Actually, I was waiting for that. This is absolutely perfect. Also a cabbage roll though, so that could have been a unique. The reason why I'm so incredibly hype about this is because in the efforts of trying to clean my inventory, I was also looking at cleaning out these arrow shafts, which I'm gonna drop right now because I could get those at any point in time. And also getting rid of these bronze arrows. So I'm gonna train some range right now. Oh crap, you need five range, I forgot. We find ourselves back at the spiders. Is this part of the redemption arc where the main character of the manga returns to where he was born. In the same vein of cleaning my inventory out, I've also casted my Lost Earth Strike, dropping my Air and Mind Runes, and I'm also going to be selling my Wizard Rope Top and my Amulet of Magic. I realize that the Wizard Rope Top is in a chunk that I'm not going to be unlocking anytime soon, the Sinclair Mansion. I want to get 15 smithing because Charlie the Tramp is in this next chunk and he has a clue step that requires me to make an Iron Dagger. So I figured I've got a bunch of noted ores, why not use them, right? So there goes the Wizard Rope Top and the Amulet of Magic. That's five range, so we can finally switch to the Oak Longbow now. I'm gonna try and kill the goblins, see if I can get some extra easy and beginner clues before we return to the Minotaurs to get our lost couple ores for 15 smithing. The first skill we're actually gonna actively train on the account, apart from AFK and woodcutting and fletching, of course, it's come to an end. We've got 16 range. I mean, if I picked up a couple more bronze arrows and stuff like that, I could get 17 or something. But we've got iron arrows in our inventory. We'll do that another time. Now, I freed up 13 inventory slots, which is one... One too little. I'd like to get an even amount of spaces before we start smithing here. Um, do I drop the oak longbow? I probably drop... Wait. Oh, this is difficult. I'll probably drop the cut rubies because we're so far from making stuff with rubies and we'll still have the uncuts. We're going to have to make the painful decision to drop the cut rubies. It is what it is, man. It's this, this is the UIM life. Am I doing it good, guys? <laughs> Just got our last tin ore. 100 copper, 100 tin. I uh, still got a clue that I need to juggle, uh, but I think I've got the right amount of inventory slots to actually get going. So the way I got to do it now is I go to the bank, I fill up seven inventory slots, I unnote, then I drop those seven extra spots, and then I unnote the other ores. Man, that's, <laughs> that's interesting, man. UIM is something else. Let's get the smithing. The nice thing about this is that there's an anvil right here that you can only make bronze items on. So it's pretty nice to have that right here. Well done. Ooh, casket. So that means we save another beginner clue. It's always lovely to see that. Let's see if we get our first unique. I know I say that every single time, but I can't wait for the moment that we get something good. You know what, I'll actually wear this. 
While getting some ores to get this final smithing level, I did get another three beginner clues. Somehow I got really lucky and I'm getting a bunch of good beginner clue steps. I'd like to get a slot filled in this one. 24th beginner clue, here we go. <sighs> All right, my inventory is getting a bit full with lamps now. Uh, I, I gotta stop getting these genie randoms. <laughs> I can't wait to get the Varrock. And this should be 15 smithing, which has unlocked iron daggers. So that's that Charlie clue step taken care of if we ever get it and we get the Varrock. On that note, the only thing that lasts us to do is get 10 more clue coins and unlock said chunk. Back to the goblins we go. Another day, another clue scroll casket. There we go. Maybe we should open it on top here. Hang on, let me get on the balcony. Blue coin 11 and three law runes. I'll take that gladly. And 50 prayer. Mr. Hunding going to give me my 26th beginner clue. Also, a little misconception on the previous video is that I uh, people thought I was going to get two extra coins from getting 20 clue coins, but it is based on clue scrolls. So in about, well, after this one, four, I will get an extra two coins. What do we get? A completely below average casket, even for me and her clues. Get that on the floor. Here it is. A big moment. This is goblin number 30,000. That's going to bite the dust. 30,000 on the tracker. Four mil estimated by the loot tracker. Oh my god. It's happened again somehow. We got one easy clue in Barbarian Village, two easy clue in Barbarian Village, and one in Lumbridge. We're actually gonna try our hand in another easy clue. I can't believe it. Let's go. We got more easy clues today than beginners. All right, now we're gonna have to be really quick. We're going to have to complete these two very quick in Barbarian Village and then get back before these two despawn. The helmet shop first. This could already be the casket, which would be absolutely fantastic. Shit. Give me the casket. Come on. Yes! We completed an easy clue, another one. <sighs> easy clue number two. All right, now the moment of truth. <laughs> We already got two clue coins from the casket, but we also won that unique. It'll skyrocket us to 15 coins, which is five off of the chunk we won. All right, good. Here we go. It counts. It counts. That's unique. It's on the shared collection log, I'm sure. Three clue coins, baby. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, that was exhilarating, dude. What a day again, dude. Yesterday we did two or three beginner clues. Today we did one beginner clue and an easy clue. And I think we've earned burning one of these logs to celebrate. The first unique of the account. Oh, four fire maker. We're even getting some fireworks. We can now light candle lanterns. Ah, yes. Look at that. Standing around the white fire that we've just earned with clue beams around us. Alrighty then, another beginner clue. That is beginner clue number 27 that's coming up. Okay, let's see, a jester cape or a shoulder parrot is the dream from this casket. Here we go. A double iron pickaxe, all right. This is clue number 28. Two more until the two extra coins from the 30 in a row. Can we get 17 or maybe 18 clue coins? Nope, still no collection log slot. I feel like I've been finishing my beginner clues at hunting here every single time for the last four or something. I am very, very happy we chose this Barbarian Village chunk because it's been making us like six clue coins this uh, this episode. All right, let's see our 29th beginner clue. The next one is 30, which will get us two extra coins. Do we get a unique? No, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Gross, drop that thing. Let's get back to Lumbridge because I got an easy clue on the floor there. We are out of the chunk. 34,476 goblins killed. A lot less than last time. That just proves that the Barbarian Village unlock was a big one. I mean, that easy clue that we did there was also quite insane. So without that one, we probably killed like, we probably would have killed like 6,000 more goblins. But still, man, it is time to go to Varrock. The most ideal situation is that this is a one stepper because then I still have three steps and a guaranteed casket to do. But unfortunately, it's a step I can actually do. Oh my god. All right, so if this is a two-stepper now, I still have a guaranteed casket waiting for me. This is getting complicated. Casket? Oh, yes, it is. All right, so we can still complete a beginner clue now. 
Boom, 25 water runes, gorgeous. Let's drop that to the floor. That means two extra coins. That means that casket was worth three coins. All right, let's trade in our coins to Mr. Clue coins and unlock our next chunk. One coin left over. Let's unlock the chunk we've been waiting for. Look at how much there is to do here, man. This is incredible. Click, click, and we now have three chunks unlocked. All right, so what we're going to do now is check what we're going to get from this beginner and then juggle all the clues over to Varrock. This chunk boy will be arriving soon, and when he does... I'm not gonna give him a single iron dagger step. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, uh, Charlie, what are you talking about over there? Yeah, no worries, mate. Just talking about how glad I am that you're here. You can trust me. Trust the old Charlie. You'll remember this. What if I unlock the Varrock Square? Well, we did unlock the Varrock Chunk. This episode, it's time to think about the longevity of the account. We need to make sure that we can consistently get around at all times. And that's why we're focusing on Law Runes and the Barbarian Scepter this episode. I've also got my eye on the new chunk. Um, I'm just going to try and complete all clues I have on me, I think. I'm going to juggle all of them to Varrock and then also try to complete the easy clue because it'll be so much nicer for me to explore my chunk without having any clues on me. So just for convenience purposes, maybe this is not the most efficient for clue coins, but just for convenience purposes, I'm going to juggle all of them there. We're in our new chunk. And wow, look at how big it is, dude. Beautiful. Dude, this is so cool. I can't wait to explore this chunk. I mean, I know Varrock, but it's different to do it on this account. Imagine if this is a one step or two, that'd be ridiculous. Back to back, maybe? Oh, I can do it. This is another guaranteed casket. We are racking up the clue coins right now. This is ridiculous. All right, let's go and try the, the easy clues. Considering the luck I've been having on these beginners, I think the chances are pretty slim that we can complete this easy clue on the lowest step possible. It's two to four steps. We just have two. Unfortunately, we didn't get another one. It's going to be a massive day if we can complete our third easy clue here. All right, so the first step, maybe we can get a back-to-back -back step if we're really, really lucky. Any back-to-backs? Sports Serum? Nope, that's a drop. The second easy step. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Is it a step we can do? It's, of course it's not. So yeah, before I complete this beginner clue, I'm just going to do all the stuff I can do around Varrock. All right, it is time to throw away the weapon that has killed 34,477 goblins and take out a new best in slot. I believe the adamant sword is better than the long sword. Look at him, the new era of the clue chunk boy. Absolutely powerful he is right now. Goodbye, mithril battle axe. You were more than great, but it is time to get more powerful or something. I don't know, I, I wanted to say something inspirational didn't really work. Next up, the thing we've been waiting for for even longer, and that is using all of these lamps. The plan has been in the works since the beginning. I wanted to lamp hunter, but then I thought, hey, if I unlock this chunk, why not do the museum quiz, get 909 Slayer, and start the lamping from 900 onwards? This is going to get us such a high hunter level, and it's going to get us so close to the 17 hunter we need for baby implings. Let's do this! Before we claim this Hunter XP and we get even more dopamine, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of dopamine before that. The casket. I completely forgot about it. I mean, we have a second here, but we'll do this one first. Why not? No first unique just yet, man. 31 beginner clues, no unique. What a scam. Two clue coins. And now let's tell Orlando that we are done here. Oh, that is a juicy bunch of XP. Nine Hunter, but the best is yet to come. First, we smack all the lamps on Hunter. That gets us 10, maybe even 12. And then on top of that, the book all the way to 12 and a little bit. All the lamps now are going into Hunter until we reach 17 Hunter. And then it is time to look for a weed field chunk. Maybe the one under Varrock, actually. It's only 10 clue coins, so we can enter the weed field and enter Puro Puro for even more beginner clues. 
I completely forgot about this archery shop. I can buy every single short bow here, right? Oh my god, range training is gonna be so good. I still got 2,600 iron arrows in my quiver slot from all those um, minotaurs. This is gonna be really nice for range training. Maybe that's what we're gonna do soon. All right, so now that we're browsing stores anyway, I'm gonna go and grab myself a fire staff over here. I'm gonna have to really start collecting my runes, the mage tutor and lumbridge, because my next plan for law runes is killing ankus and barbarians. The only way I can get to this chunk is by teleporting. There's a pretty crazy mechanic for Ankus. In a free-to-play world, it's a 1 in 5 instead of a 1 in 25 for law runes. If that's true, being able to farm Ankus sounds pretty AFK and sounds like a great way to stack up law runes. Uh, I just decided to fletch a little bit to wait till my home teleport timer uh, ran out and I just got 40 fletching. Grats me. <laughs> I know you guys almost forgot. But we still have a two-step beginner clue here for beginner clue number 32 without a unique. It's the day-to-day. -day. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna bother, man. There we go. The most important decision of the account. Obviously, like, I'll take the colorful ones, but also I will instantly destroy them because they're an inventory slot. I'm sorry. But now we don't get any questions anymore at the doors normally. And now it's time to go for the staff. Now to make the scepter, I need four pieces. Each of them dropped in one layer of the stronghold of security. The scepter has 10 charges and has a direct teleport to the barbarian village. This item is absolutely necessary if I want to juggle clues into barbarian village. I'm looking for the bottom of the scepter. There we go. I was just about to record a clip, but apparently that is not necessary anymore. Let's go over to the next floor. I just got a medium clue. The first medium clue on the account, but it's in Hosidius, unfortunately. So down it goes. I think I'm gonna kill some goblins and train some range right now. Granted that I kind of want to clear up some inventory spots because my inventory is starting to look disgusting again. And um, we're gonna need range probably for the catabolopons that we're killing. I still don't have the third scepter piece and my runes are out. So <laughs> this is going pretty quick, actually. It should be really good. Hey, we just got 21 range. And with that 500 total level, I mean, 500 total is not that impressive, and I feel like we're still at the start of this, this journey, but it's going fast, and I didn't expect it to be this fast. 500 more total levels, and we can lock in our UIM permanently. 30 range! We can finally use the Maple Shirt Bow. That frees up another inventory slot, and crazy hits right now. I think it'll almost be as fast than it was with the Mithril Battle Axe. This is fantastic. We are in Varrock. A chunk, once again, is spaying off like crazy. Two Gypsy Ares clue steps do we get a casket here no do we get it back to back we don't we could check out what the charlie is though if this is an iron dagger we can do it and one of the only times that i can actually check this is if i'm in varrock for a clue so let's see if a raw herring i'm sorry charlie i can't do that for you man it's a one in nine whether or not i can do a charlie the trap clue step so i usually leave them on the ground clue scroll number 33 can we break the dry streak of a unique Charlie wanted those har herrings. Let, let's go bring those to Charlie. That's unfortunately not how it works. And we're getting a step closer again to a hunter level. Love seeing that genie random. I was making a thumbnail. That's why I'm wearing this UIM armor. And suddenly a genie appeared. So, oh yes, I've been waiting for this. Let's go. That's 10 fishing. I believe two more evil bulb random events and I'm 15, maybe three actually, but I can now fish herrings. Unfortunately, there's no way in my chunks currently to get a fishing rod. I can get fishing bait from the men and women in my chunk, but no rod as of now. Beginner clue number 34 is <laughs> Pain. Plan right now is to just get a bunch of law runes. I'm going to go to Barbarians, uh, get a couple range levels. I want to get about 20, so I'm somewhat comfortable teleporting in and out of Varrock, because I have yet to complete a beginner step slash easy step in Varrock for this episode, but I don't want to run out of law runes when I can actually get one done. As you guys can see, I forgot to add the clue coin here, but it'll get added a little bit later in another clip. Let's slay some Barbarians and get some law runes. <laughs> Could be a hunter level right here. 
Boom, 195 XP, 1400. We're getting kind of close now. Three more levels and we can enter Puro Puro. There's 40 range, U Shortbow and Green Dehyde. Now, that's going to take a very long time before we're there. But uh, I think we're done with Barbarians for just a little bit. I'm going to move over to Ankus. See if we can snipe a little bit of Laurens there because I didn't get a single Laurun drop in that little range grind. I will come back and slaughter more Barbarians. But for now, a little bit of a change of scenery. I figured I'd just come to the Goblins and get this crazy level 52 prayer i've burned over 31,000 normal bones to get smite not that i'll ever use it but it's cool so we just got our 20th law rune which is absolutely amazing i'm looking for a beginner on easy clue to complete so i can juggle my clues out of here and back into varak so i can buy some runes to go and fire strike some more ankus there's another beginner clue casket in varak one I've been waiting for, and we also only waste one law rune because we can still home teleport, so that's amazing. Let's see what it is. Another blue wizard rope top, which step is way too far away to keep. So we'll just get rid of it. Uh, guys, uh, as you can see my chat box, I've logged in for 20 minutes. I just got two clues and both of them are in Lumbridge. I, I promise this grind is difficult, guys. I, I mean, I promise. Do you believe me? You guys are not going to believe me anymore. I'm glad the modded server is doing its work. <laughs> Okay, if this is a three-step clue, I just got to Charlie the, the Tramp step. I could try and check if I have to go to Varok anyway. See if it's actually an Iron Dagger step for Charlie. So let's see if this is a, um, a three-stepper. Okay, no, it's not. So I'm just going to let the Charlie one despawn. We'll test it another time. Beginner clue number 36, total clue 38. So two more until we get two extra clue coins. Here we go. I'm currently juggling the most clues I've ever juggled. Seven clues on the ground, four easy, three beginner. Two of the easy clues are in the chunk that I'm going to be unlocking next, so now might be a good time to explain to you guys which one that is. It's going to be this chunk at the start of Alcarid, and after that, I'm probably going to go to the Alcarid mine. I want to be focusing on easy clues more and more because they give me a big amount of clue coins, and this first chunk will give me three completable easy clue steps. One of them is an emote clue step that I cannot yet do, but the stuff I need for for the emote clue step are in easy clues, so maybe I get lucky. After that, we will probably go to the mine where we unlock one beginner clue and three easy clue steps. In total, this is 20 clue coins, and in total, it will give me six completable easy clue steps and one beginner clue step. I think that's worth. Okay, hear me out. I'm gonna try and do these easy clues. I might as well. I've got two steps in Varok. If I get a casket, that skyrockets me up in clue coins. If I don't, I just keep these other two easy clues, one in the inventory so I can get a new one, and the other one on the floor. And then we just keep the same amount of easy clues that I've already got. You'll get it. Let's get this easy clue completed. All right, step number two. This could already be the casket. Oh my God, it actually is. Holy shit. A two-step easy clue casket. Without further ado, let's see what's inside. <gasps> Dude, that is probably one of the best uniques to get. With my prayer level getting basically the best prayer gear in the game, this is gonna be massive. The only problem is that it is another inventory space though, but... Sheesh. Okay, I've got a two-step beginner here. We just gotta go to the Barbarian Village, so let's do that one too. And that should be our 40th total clue, which will get us another two clue coins. So yeah, by the way, I get these clue coins every total clue milestone, not for every tier. Guys, I'm sorry, don't hate on editing trails, please, but I don't have the clip for my 40th total clue. But this is the loot, and so this will add three clue coins. One for the beginner clue opening, and two for the milestone of 40 clues completed. The next one is 50, which will give us 10 clue coins. We do love our genie randoms. Another hunter lamp. Boom. You guys remember what the goal of this account was today? Getting a Barbarian Scepter and Law Runes. And here I am again at the Goblins just stacking up so many clue coins. This is not intended. I want to get rid of these two easy clues I've got. So I'm looking for a third easy clue to complete. And I just keep getting completable beginner clues. <laughs> this is such a luxury problem right now. So let me recap real quick what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to kill Goblins to get an easy clue. So I have three completable easy clue steps. So I can actually go to the Ankus without having the juggle clues. I'm doing Ankus on a free-to-play world, so I can't even juggle my easy clues there. So I just want to get rid of them so I don't have to juggle them anymore. Does that make sense? Looks like I'm having a really bad recording day, because this one also didn't record for some reason. This is beginner clue number 38. I've got 39, though. Here we go. That's not great. If only that was a black pickaxe. Another beautiful day to get a hunter level 15 hunter. We're getting really, really close now. I can smell the yimplings. Damn it, we can complete another beginner clue. <laughs> Wanna get rid of this easy, man. Beginner clue number 40, can we get a unique finally? No, 
Let's see, do we get a casket for it? Oh, it's a one-stepper, actually. Guess we'll still have two beginners on the floor. Let's open this one. Do we get our first? Oh, shit, the Black Simi. I would have loved that a couple weeks ago. That would have been my best in slot. It's a very cool weapon, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do with it at the moment. Wow. We just got another casket whilst still having two clues on the floor. The two same ones, because we just got a back-to-back. -back. This is crazy. We're going through these so fast. Another clue coin, plus having the two same beginners on the floor. <laughs> We're steaming. Not a first unique, though. Okay, hang on. We finally got an easy clue that we can complete, so we can finally go to the Ankus. We gotta give this a shot. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try and complete this beginner clue. Um, it's only two steps, it's not three, but I'm, I'm all focused on this easy clue, so I don't really mind if this beginner clue doesn't go through. And then we're gonna try the easy clue. Even when both of them fail, I'm happy because I can finally go to the Ankus and get some law runes. <laughs> I've been juggling these for like the last, I want to say week, to be honest, and have been completing a good amount of clues, but the goal was to get rid of them. Any luck? It's a three-stepper. Pain. Can we do it? No. So the beginner clue is on the ground. Now the easy clue is the only one we really care about, though. Luckily, right about still in our chunk. Oh, this is close, but unfortunately not possible. Okay, let's check on the other two. All right, for this next step, we have to unlock a new chunk. The Alcarit Silk Trader is right here. So, uh... Let's take away 10 clue coins and let's go through the gate. Hey there, welcome to the desert. Oh shit, Rakeen, what up dude? Not much, just making sure you know whose territory you're entering here. Let's see, you got the silk trader over here. If you want to buy some gems, you got this weird looking gem guy. Over to the north, you have the mine. But if you go this guy is really right, lonely here in the desert, huh? Trainer. Yeah, hey, thanks man, I appreciate it. No problem, man. You know where to find me if you get lost. I'd love for this to be a casket. Two to four steps for an easy clue. Please! Oh, no! Already, unfortunately, impossible to complete. So it all depends on this one barbarian step. Is the barbarian village chunk again going to prove us that it's the best unlock that we've ever done so far? Once again, we find ourselves in barbarian village for a possible easy clue completion. I don't think it's going to be one because we've gotten too lucky with the previous ones, but come on. Yes! We did get an easy clue. Casket, let's go. Oh my God, that's two more coins again. Only one unique so far. So it's two clue coins for an easy clue completion. An extra one if we get a unique. The fourth easy clue. I think that counts. Yes, 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 yes. That counts, baby. It's a very bad unique, but that's good because we can drop it. It doesn't use any inventory space. And finally, we've gotten rid of all the clues in my inventory and we can head on over to the Yankus. Let's hope this one in five drop rate is right. Hey, okay, I feel like it's uh, it's worth it, guys. I feel like it's worth it. We already got two Laurens, the start of a journey. Maybe we can get 50 or something, man, that'd be sick. Hey, I've got the left half now. So one more piece from the Cataplepons later. I don't wanna say Cataplepon wrong, guys. We just hit 50 Laurens, so that's that goal done. I'm gonna stay here until I get 49 magic and close to 50, so like 49 and a half. I'm just gonna farm as many Laurens as I can before I'm 50 magic because I've explained this in the last episode but I'll say it again. If I have 50 magic the evil bulb random event will give me a 50-50 on getting me fishing or magic XP and I just want fishing XP so I can't get 50 magic. This is an absolutely incredible way of getting them by the way. It's an actual one in five. I was a little skeptical. We've killed 101 Ankus and we got 44 Laurens. So that's almost exactly a one in five. So I am going to regret this later down the line. There is no way I don't, but that is 50 magic. And now I've been hammering down on this fact where I'm not guaranteed to get fishing XP anymore from the evil bob random event. I did have one big goal for this episode, and that was finishing up the Barbarian Scepter. The goal of this episode was transportation. And so while we've already unlocked the chunk, I do want to round it up and get the Scepter. So I don't have to kill these Cataplepons anymore because I don't really like killing these. They have a little bit too much defense. Ankus are way easier to kill. And even though I did maybe ruin my chances at doing this fishing troller teleport anytime soon, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> There it is. Let's make the scepter. There we go. For the first time, let's invoke it and let's teleport to the barbarian village. You can charge it up. Wait, I guess you can only charge it up when it's empty? I really hope I can. We're gonna have to find that out next episode. Many plans, many ideas, 11 clue coins, 
and my own construction. See you guys in the next episode. Last episode, we finally got our Barbarian Scepter and unlocked the chunk in front of Alcarid. This time, as pointed out by you guys, we have to rush construction. Stash units will free up so much inventory space, and the costume room will make it so that I don't have to drop my unique items when I finally get one. Feel free to keep brainstorming and leaving suggestions in the comments, because I love reading them, they really help out. Collectively, you guys can think of way more possibilities than I can alone. In the description of this video, you can find the current map and a website made by Pilsit, of course, or you can follow along with the progress. Here you can see my total clues, the uniques I've unlocked, and just an all-around overview of the account. I update this website after every episode, so you can look at this at any point without it being a spoiler for the next one. Guys, I know it's the absolute start of a video, but we're already gonna unlock a chunk. I've got 11 clue coins, and I've got a clue right here that asks me the panic in the Alcarid mine. I don't know why I said that so weird. So I just irreversibly spent 10 clue coins to unlock the Alcarid mine chunk. It unlocks three easy clue steps and a single beginner clue step. It'll get us to complete these couple clues we have on the floor. And also that's chunk five. And again, I'm prioritizing completing clue steps before anything right now. But after this chunk, I've got my eyes on construction. First clue step in the new area. Getting the back-to-back, -back, not bad. Yo, I got another back-to-back -back from that one. We're starting to be able to complete beginner clues, guys. <laughs> Soon enough, we'll be able to complete more than half. Guaranteed casket, here we go. A leather cowl. We're still not getting uniques this episode, I see. This is getting speedy. This is not even 15 minutes later and I already got another beginner clue that we can complete. Can we finally get a collection log slot? 44? Is that a lucky number for someone in the comments? Please let me know. So this is exactly why we got the Skull Scepter last episode. Look how nice it's going to be to do this clue step. We invoke and we get Casket. Then we teleport back. Also, the reason why I'm unlocking more chunks around me for easy clue steps is because I don't want to cheese this whole series and constantly be doing beginner clues. Because if I was really boring <laughs> and I wanted to cheese the entire thing, then I could just farm beginner clues until the end of time. I definitely don't want to do that. There's actually nothing stopping me from doing that apart from content creation. I know that just doing beginner clues is just really incredibly boring to you guys. I'm trying to unlock more chunks around me to unlock easy clue steps now so I can move on from beginner clues as soon as I can. I was thinking of locking this account out of beginner clues completely when I complete the log. So let me know what you think about that. Anyway, number 44 is once again, nothing. I'm gonna try something cheeky. All right, I've juggled all my clues all the way over here. Wait, what? That's not even in my chunk? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wow. I should have checked that. Nice, another casket. We quickly got to go back because I went to the Barbarian Village to complete the first step of uh, this beginner clue. And then we got a back-to-back -back Varrock step. Everything else is still on the floor. I've also got three beginner clues that I can do. Let's open the beginner. 45. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Still no unique. A back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back clue scroll. We're going through these so fast now, man. It's getting really, really viable to get these beginner clues now. All right, let's pick up our stuff real quick before they despawn. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 46. This was my 50th total clue. I've done four easy clues and 46 beginner clues. If I recall correctly... How about every 10 clues you get 2 extra coins, every 50 you get 10, and every 100 you get 20. Hey, clue coins! Alright, we're getting really close to construction now. The plan for construction is to unlock the Northern Varrock Chunk. Not only is there an estate agent there, but there's also a saw spawn, which is absolutely huge for the account. If this saw wasn't there, I would have to unlock the lumber yard, which is 40 coins. I've got a pretty cool plan to get from 1 to 12 construction for the beginner stash units. Because thanks to this 50 total clue milestone, we went from 5 all the way to 15 clue coins. That means we only have to get 5 more. 50 total clues gave me 10 extra clue coins. We're already really close to that construction chunk we're looking for. Couple more beginner clues, and it's time to meet the estate agent. Get your grasses ready, guys. 136,000 prayer XP. Just burying normal goblin bones. Big level coming in. 
65 strength. That means we're at one, 77 combat, and two, I can now enter the Warrior's Guild. The Warrior's Guild by just killing goblins. I know back in the day when I was but a mere RuneScape noob, which I probably still am, but still. The Warrior's Guild was like the ultimate goal, getting 65 strength and 65 attack, and now I got it on 170 hours of just killing goblins. <laughs> and a couple Minotaurs and Barbarians, but still. I actually got another one stepper, which means we still have two beginner clues on the floor in Lumbridge, man. This is actually going rapid right now. About three clues completed in two and a half hours, which for this account is incredibly impressive. I mean, we came from doing about one beginner clue step every two hours. Did we finally get something? Okay. Holy, we just got another one step beginner clue. Here we go. Again, cabbages, man. Come on. 17 clue coins, though. Here we go. I think that's another hunter level. Oh no, we're so close. Almost 1600, almost there. 17, I can smell it. Another first stepper. That is three in a row. All right, beginner number 48. 49 even. Again, pure and utter trash. This is our 50th beginner clue. If this is a unique, it unlocks our next chunk. It would also be the very first one. Why do I even bother, man? I think I just unlocked my new chunk, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I just got a, this, the exact same clue back to back. This is going to be a really, really cool clue session. Because not only am I going to get 20 clue coins and unlock our construction chunk, we're also going to be completing these easy clues. Because we got four steps that we can complete. Okay, I'm going to have to be really quick right now. Boom, that's one. Oh my god, that's a back to back. Okay, wait, hang on. I got to do my second hands clue now. There's a second one. Casket, nice! That's terrible. 51 beginner clues done. 20 clue coins. You guys hear the ice cream van behind me? What is this timing? I'm in the middle of a super important clue juggle. I'm gonna try this two-step beginner too. I like just getting rid of all my juggles before I start training a skill. So barbarian village, barbarian village. Let's go. Here we go. That's an easy step. Oh my god, that's a back-to-back. -back. I'm actually gonna be able to do that one. This is ridiculous. I think we're actually like on a roll on the account. It's gonna get faster and faster from this point on. Like easy clues are even getting somewhat viable. So I've got the Varrocostle clue here. I've got another Varrocostle clue here. This is an Alcarid chunk clue. And this one is also the same. So we've got two of the same easy clues. If this isn't a casket, then unfortunately we have failed with the beginner clues and we've wasted two steps, but Oh my god, it's still a casket. Beginner num clue number 52. <gasps> Our first unique! Holy shit! Okay, I gotta, I gotta stay focused because we gotta do a step on this easy clue. 52 beginner clues for our very first unique. Look at that, the sandwich lady bottoms. Man, these new chunks have been paying off so much. I don't know if it's because I'm getting really lucky or because I just don't realize how good they are before unlocking them. I'm kind of lucky I went for four, even though we got a back-to-back -back step. If that wasn't the case, I would have just wasted three possible easy clue steps that I could do. So I'm very, very glad I didn't get impatient and I went for four. And this should be the easy clue casket. Let's see if it's got a unique for us. This is easy clue number five, I believe. And it does! I don't know why I'm always so hesitant. I always want to check it out and like, hey, is this actually on the uh, shared treasure trail reward? Of course it is. I'm getting a collection lock slot. That is another three coins already. Two for the easy clue, one for the unique. Holy crap, we're getting coins quick now. This is amazing. Let's go buy a house. It feels good to be able to walk over there. We also have unlocked the Varrock sewers right now. However, I don't think that's going to be useful. It would be nice if I could get to the Edgeville dungeon from there, but the agility shortcut is like 51 agility to get through the pipe next to Vanaka. So we're going to have to skip on that. I'm going to drop the nature runes, the mithril arrows, probably the dragonstone jewelry scrolls. I won't be needing those for a long time. I'll drop the steel axe, the knife, the spade for now. I need to clean up some energy space if I'm going to train construction. I think that's it that I can drop at the moment. Caselius starting house in Remington? I would love that, dude. There we go. Now all we need is earth runes and we can teleport to house and start building. Now the biggest problem is getting planks. Training construction is not going to be the worst. I'm going to explain to you guys in a bit how I'm going to do that. But the only viable way I believe I will be able to get planks to make stash units is going to be by teleporting to fishing trawler. I said this somewhere in episode 1 or 2, but I need 15 fishing to do that teleport. And I don't have 15 fishing. I haven't gotten a evil bob random event in ages. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna do right now. One of the best ways to train construction 
from level 1 onwards is making exit portals. It's not going to be expensive, it requires 10 iron bars to make one and it gives 100 XP. It's also in the garden which will make it relatively cheap, so all I have to do is just stack up a bunch of noted iron ore. Luckily, flesh crawlers drop those. Problem is, as you can see my HP, um, I just did one trip and they hit pretty hard, so I might have to finally upgrade my gear a little bit. I'll grab a training shield, I'll grab the UIM armor, I'll drop my chef's hat, and buy a mithril full helm, I think the Addy is a little expensive, and buy a steel plate body. There we go. This Chad looked like he's ready to kill some, uh, kill some flesh crawlers. <sighs> I realize I need 10 infantry spots to make 10 iron bars. I need 12 actually, including the hammer and the saw, so I need to clean up the inventory again. And I'm gonna sell the diamonds. I'm also gonna temporarily sell the staffs that I've got. Nah, screw it. I'm selling the hard leather body. I can't do it. I've just been staring at my screen for two minutes thinking about this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. The exact amount of spots we need. Oh, let's go! I could just drop the shards actually. The fragments. Wait, my... Where's my staff at? <laughs> Wait, can I not charge it without having the diary done or what? Oh, wow. You imbue the scepter by using it on the cradle on the final floor of the stronghold of security. That's my honest mistake. Let's get it back. God damn it. While trying to get my scepter back, I just got an easy clue that I can do. So now I'm back to juggling. I'm just going to attempt a two-step easy. I know it's an absolute waste, but I really CBA. <laughs> Sorry, I, I really am not going to wait for a third easy clue to complete. Let's get the lumbridge. The fact of the matter is that I'm actually going to have to get a canoe to get back. <laughs> this sucks. I just killed like two. 200 barbarians to finally get a fire rune drop so I could get the Varok again. Uh, selling my fire staff was maybe not the brightest idea. Can we get lucky? Maybe with the back to back? Ah, unlucky. It would have been too lucky if we actually got it. I also have to try this one step beginner clue I just realized because I'm going to need 13 inventory slots, one to teleport to my house constantly. So we're going to attempt the one step beginner clue. This is also probably a waste, but I just got this from the Minotaurs when I wasn't even expecting one. So maybe we get a back to back. Oh my god, we do actually get a back-to-back. -back. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, you're kidding me. That's insane. A back-to-back -back unique? Oh, I got my fire staff back. Um, but that's an absolutely free clue coin. Okay, so this is the moment where we're going to see whether I'm going to really, really, really regret getting 50 magic or if I can still get fishing XP. Oh my god, I still got fishing XP. I might be one evil Bob random event away. Oh shit, that, that means I, I don't want to train my magic up to 51 now, so maybe it actually is from 51 onwards. One evil Bob random. It could be the next random event that we get 15 fishing. Yeah, baby. This genie is going to give me the hunter level that we so desire. One more dunce or two more lamps, and we are into Puro Puro, baby. All right, so how do I imbue this thing? Do I talk to this guy? Scepter imbued. Now it's time to fight some flesh crawlers and get iron ore. That took way too long. Oh my god, I actually got the event relatively soon after the other one. This is like the fourth random event after I got this one previously. This could put me all the way to 15 fishing. And it did! Holy shit! So as you can see in the inventory right now, I've been killing a couple flesh crawlers pretty consistently. 443 iron ore right now. This should definitely be enough to get 12 construction. I do have to get rid of a couple extra things in the inventory though. Alright, so I'll be wearing the ancient rope top, dropping the bone fragments, um, destroying the UIM plate legs, wearing my leather chaps again, uh, and selling the steel plate body back. Now hopefully we have enough law runes. We have 73 currently. So what we do is we we unnote, then we start doing a superheat item. This is nice, man. This is kind of nice. There we go. Then we teleport to the house. And can I just remove the portal? No. <laughs> so we need to make another one. We build to construction. Let's go. This is where it's going to start being really, really painful. Because now I'm going to have to use the Lumbridge Furnace. And if I don't get... 10 iron bars and I have to go to the bank and it's just gonna be annoying. Now I'm gonna really be feeling how the UIM way is. Luckily I only need two more construction levels. Let's see if it's possible for me to sell and buy from the general store. Problem is I think iron ore might be really expensive. 19 coins. Oh wow, so I can't sell and buy it again. So I've just been hopping to a PvP world now because the bank is a little closer and this method is actually a little bit better. Now I cannot forget to hop back to a non-PVP world, because this could be absolutely brutal. Remove portal and put it back, and that is 12 construction. We can now make 
beginner clue stash units. This is insane for the account. Now for only 10 coins, we can step out of this portal and unlock Remington. But is that going to be our next plan? No, because what we really want to do is we want to get planks for those stash units first. Port Cazard is going to be our best bet. There's a two plank spawn right there. I needed 15 fishing to use the fishing troller teleport to get there. And luckily, we actually got that this episode. So the plan now is to grind out 20 clue coins and unlock the Port Cazard chunk to make our very first stash unit. I was saving up some caskets, but that will just get it confusing with the clue coins if I open a bunch, you know? I'm just gonna open them right here, right now. The cool thing is, this is going to be 60 total clue scrolls, so it's guaranteed two extra clue coins. Here we go. 59, and number 60. Ooh, six long runs, I'll take that. Two clue coins from the two beginner clues, and two clue coins from the 60 total. Uh, the basically impossible just happened. I just got a back-to-back -back exactly the same easy clue. You can still see both of them in the chat. I've got three out of my four easy clues on the ground that are in this Lumbridge Duke room, dude. This is insane. I'm still smiling because it's so unlikely. It's a 1 in 24,000 to get a back-to-back -back same step in Lumbridge. Uh, we got four easy clues on the floor. I could complete another one. This is absolutely mad. All right. This is going to be weird because it's going to be the same thing three times in a row. There's gonna be a bunch of clues on the floor here outside of the Duke's bedroom. He's gonna step out, he's gonna be like, what? It is a casket. So we have one easy clue that we can still do on the ground. 60 clues total, so no extra bonuses unless we get a unique item. This is two clue coins. And we do get the black pickaxe and the black axe that is required for a stash unit, I'm pretty sure. So this doesn't count, but the black pickaxe definitely counts. That's three clue coins. Black pickaxe is not necessary for any clue step, so I'm just going to be selling that one. But that was a juicy clue coin that we got for that, so I'm not going to be complaining about that black pickaxe at all. I feel like I got to update you guys more on the total clues we've got for the milestones. We're only on 61. Clue coin number 14. Or is it going to be 15? It is going to be 14. Yo, this is absolutely madness. Four completable easy clues without a single beginner clue that we can complete. What a day. This is the first time that's happened. Guaranteed easy clue casket right now. I knew that unlocking these easy clue chunks were the way to go. We are now 80 combat. 66 attack. Here we go, the easy clue casket number five? Number seven already. Woof. Two clue coins to open. Are there any uniques? Wait, is that a double? <gasps> That's a double unique. Holy crap. Plus four clue coins from one easy clue. We were bound to get the purple sweets eventually. That is amazing. 18 clue coins now. Plus, I just realized we have an extra tree patch to rake right now we're really close to a farming level so let's get some raking done i hate chasing hands hey there is beginner clue casket number 56 i promise i didn't have to look it up by the way i just realized when i checked the log over here we do have the black pickaxe on the beginner clue log when we got it from an easy does that count for an extra clue coin no it doesn't obviously it's every new unique collection log slot and even though that's two i don't think it'd be fair if we get another one that being said we now do have two beginner clue collection log slots do we get a third we do not. We are on 19 clue coins now, which means one more until we can make our first stash unit. Yeah, this is the unfortunate part. We just got the Varric Palace step. Unfortunately, I can't get a Ham's Robe and I have to drop this one. I'm not planning on unlocking the Ham Hideout for a while because a good way to get easy clues will be from Gourmet Implings when we finally enter Puro Puro. So for 30 clue coins, I feel like I could get a better unlock, like Edgeville, for example. But yeah, it's rough to see that clue step knowing that I got the chunk, but not the items. Here they are, the final couple clues. Oh shit, back to back, nice. It's kind of annoying considering I'm going to be exploring my new chunk in a bit so i'll probably try and just complete these two beginner clues that i still have too so as you guys know i don't have to juggle while discovering something new please be casket ah yikes oh it's a back to back again <laughs> all right let's grab casket number one and then let's see if we can get lucky with uh the other two oh wait it's a charlie step i can actually check 
Ah, cook a trout. Can't do it. Also, this next chunk will unlock this easy clue. So what I'm going to do is also complete or try and complete this easy clue. As I said, because I don't want to juggle anything in the new chunk. We got to hope for a two-step easy clue and a two-step beginner clue. So let's get the clue coins real quick. Give our 20 clue coins to him. Haven't seen him in a while. And then lock our new chunk. So let's open this one. Get our last clue coin to get the 20. Then go to clue coins in the Lumber's Graveyard over here. Give him the 20 clue coins. I've said clue coins a lot. <laughs> and unlock fishing trawler. There we go. No, don't walk over there, dude. Sorry, clue coins, I gotta go. That side. First time in a while that I actually got zero clue coins right now. Thank God we got 15 fishing from the Evil Bob random event, though. It was actually on the dot. Like, I didn't get any extra Evil Bob fishing XP or any lamps or stuff like that. So I got the exact perfect amount. This is amazing. We now have access to planks. And not only that, we also have access to the charter ships, which is going to be great to get around the map. But also, they sell fishing rods. This means when I hit 25 fishing, I can actually train it and catch pikes. On top of that, we have a very easy way to train crafting with molten glass right now. This is massive. First thing we'll do in our new chunk is check this easy clue step right here. See if it is enough or if we wasted um, two easy clue steps that we could possibly do. If I get the casket, I'm going to be really happy. If I don't, that's it. Oh my God, yes. What a fantastic way to start this chunk off with an easy clue casket. Eight total easy clues, 58 total beginner clues. That means clue number 66 six is coming up here we go it's not a unique and it's the worst easy clue we've had so far however it's not too bad for cash which i could definitely use all right let's do what we've wanted to do and why we've unlocked this chunk since the start of this episode let's pick up some planks and make our first three beginner clue stash units all right, I just picked up the saw. This means that for the first time in the account, we're working towards our end game goal of filling every single stash unit in the game. Let's build our very first stash unit and let's fill it up. There we go. Next, we save another inventory slot. This is going to be so nice for inventory spaces. We just got a construction level even. And then the last stash unit is the one in Lumbridge. Here we go. We just buy another bronze axe, take off our leather boots and build the stash unit. This episode, we've spent 50 clue coins unlocking chunks, which is by far the most we've ever done so far. And the next episode, I've got my eyes on my arch nemesis. I killed Bryophyta so many times on my other account. So let's do it again. This green beast has been the subject of my nightmare for months. But alongside of being my arch nemesis, she also has a crazy good drop table, many best in slots, crazy money, and a 100% guaranteed drop of a beginner clue. Bryophyta is unfortunately incredibly good for my account. Welcome to episode five. We were on our new chunk and I have a very big goal for this episode. I want to kill my arch nemesis Bryophyta. Now, before we do that, I want to clean up my inventory, namely these sapphires over here. And luckily, this new chunk that we've got has a crafting method for us. In the charter ships, I can buy supplies for molten glass, which is a very easy one crafting method. I don't have to spin any wool or all that BS. However, this brand is going to be passive because there is no furnace here. So I'm going to have to go to Lumbridge and every 30 minutes get back to fishing trawler to do my crafting. So I've not really figured out a plan to kill Bryophyta yet. I'd assume that I need some decent food. So maybe I'm going to try a quick fishing trawler game to see if I can get any good food. I'm only 15 fishing and I think think it is based on what fishing level you are, which food you can get, so I'm not expecting much. All right, sick. I never knew you could get construction XP on fishing trawler. Maybe that's just me being a noob or not, but this is a construction level. I'm also kind of hoping I don't get an angler piece because I can't store it in the house and I, it would just hurt me physically to drop it. All right, finishing our first fishing trawler game. Fishing trawler actually has double the chance of a heron pit than any other fishing activity, so imagine if we get it here. That is not great. The nice thing, however, is I get raw food here in the catch. I can just pick it up and then go and cook it on the eternal fire over here. So that's not too bad. 
I completely forgot that we still had a one step completed beginner clue in our inventory from the last episode. So let me go and check if I can actually complete this one. Take the stuff out of the stash unit and let's get in there. If this is a two stepper, then we can definitely get the casket. Otherwise we, oh, there we go. Very, very, very nice. Let's get that third clue coin and let's see what the casket holds. Leather chaps. Well, it's a clue item, I guess. As you can see in my inventory, I've got a bunch of planks on me. I'm here in Varok to pick up a saw because we're going to build a larder in our kitchen to complete our very first quest on the account. In the same vein of getting some skilling done today, I cannot deprive you guys of some quality raking content. I'm not trying to steal versus shine, but that is too farming. Waiting for my home teleport timer to come back has never been so productive. We are superheating some iron bars to make, I forgot my hammer. We're superheating iron ores and iron bars to make nails to get our larder made. I'm going to be dropping the iron ore that I've collected, which kind of hurts, but also it took me about half a day, maybe a day to get this many iron ore from the flesh crawlers. So I'm going to leave it on the ground and let's teleport to the house and train some construction. We have arrived, let's make the kitchen, make the larder. Wait, 50 construction, that is the level of the tool storage, so I don't have to get a hammer or a saw anymore if I can get two oak planks to make that, that's sick. But now, what we came here for, the milk. This is what's going to complete our very first quest. We actually have to go and kill imps right now. This is what makes me love these types of accounts, man. I've found an imp spawn that we're going to camp out until we get an egg and a pot of flour. Because with an egg, a pot of flour and milk, we can obviously complete the cook's assistant, one of the most legendary quests of the game. There's the imp, stab him up, and we get 10 prayer XP. Hey, there's our egg already. Just the flour left to go now. That was after 20 total imps. It's a lucky day. Wow, apparently this store in Port Kazard sells a pot of flour. It actually does. Wow. Okay. Sick. I don't have to kill any more imps. That was a shout out to the Twitch chat for that one. This chunk again is paying itself back tenfold, man. While we're here, we might as well pick up our crafting supplies for a little crafting run and get back to Lumbridge because here we're going to complete the cook's assistant quest. There it is. And now we got our very first quest point. We're on the road to 32 quest points to unlock champion scrolls. I said it in the first episode. I'll say it again. We've killed about 50,000 goblins, but we cannot get a champion scroll because you need to be able to enter the champion's guild to get one. We would have had about eight, but we need to get the quest points first. The first crafting level. I did forget my glass blowing pipe, which kind of sucks. So now I gotta wait until I can get back to Port Kazard. All right, with Protect Mage and then the rabbits from the charter ships, I should be able to have enough food for Bryophyta. I'd love to get a strange fruit random event so I can get rid of the poison too. But while we're waiting for a minigame teleport to reset so we can get some more crafting gains, we are going to try our luck at the Moss Giants and see if we can snipe a little early mossy key. Hey, we just got our first upgrade, the black square shield, baby. Look how cool we're looking right now. The first upgrade from Moss Giants. I don't think there are many actually. This might be the only one. It's a 1 in 150 to get the mossy key that we want. So let's keep grinding. I'm very glad I got the uh, the ancient rope top for uh, some prayer bonus. So these rabbits from the charter ships actually heal for 5 HP, but if you burn them, they turn to burnt meat. I'm also going to be selling the emeralds and the uncut rubies to the store, I think. Just because I want to clean out my inventory. I've been dragging them along for too long and I don't know, they've not really served me a purpose and they're not that difficult to get back. Plus, I need the money to buy runes. I think the plan for now is to make some money and what better way to thieve the local population in Lumbridge and then maybe thieve Vara guards or something for a little bit of coins so I can buy runes. Then I can save spot the most giants and stay there forever, basically, and use the nature runes to high alk the drops I get from the most giants. I think that's the best way right now for me to make some sustainable money. If I get rune item from the Bryophyta kill, then even better. Or some like four Addy Plague Bodies or stuff like that. You get some really good alchemals from Bryophyta. So without further ado, let's get another first skill level. And there's two thieving. There it is, six thieving. You might think, hey, six thieving is not that important. Well, we got 600 total level. 2.2 million XP on the account gathered so far and about eight days of playtime. Possibly the biggest magic level in a long, long time. High alchemy unlocked, which is good because now I can actually use the nature runes I get here at the Moss Giants to be alking the stuff I get from here. This is huge, dude. We've killed 124 Moss Giants after this one. No mossy key just yet though. We are officially over the drop rate. 
151 the most giants killed. All right, Ophita is scared. It's very obvious. All right, this is great, but also super annoying. I've got three beginner clues on the floor. One is Charlie the Trank, but the other two are in Varrock. So I'm going to have to juggle three clues all the way out of the Varrock sewer right now. What is that really, right? I just got a beginner clue from the rat I randomly poked. And it's completable! What the fu- Alright, I finally juggled these clues to the Varrock Square. Let's complete them now. Alright, that's casket. Let's open it. Hmm. There it is. Three farming. We can now grow barley. Ah, yes. Are you kidding me, dude? Give me my goddamn key. I mean, this is not bad, but I can't trade it in. Well, I'm gonna piss everyone off right now. I'm far away from the Lost Tribe because I need the Goblin Diplomacy quest. I mean, the um, Goblin Village chunk for that. So, <laughs> thanks for the 15 prayer XP. Let's see if we actually get fishing. Yes! 17 fishing! Let's go! Oh my god, finally, boys! It exists! A mossy key, it is time! Let's go to Bryophita. <gasps> Only trails? Backseat boy? The dead hardcore? Hey, I've got a name, man. You got this, kid. Yeah, this isn't Cerberus, you got this. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I've killed 545 of these things. Now it's your turn. Continue my legacy. I'll make you guys proud. I can do this. Godspeed, baby. Godspeed. I can't believe I paid a bond to log into this account. We did what? That's such a bad investment. What? You should bring the series back, man. All right, here we go. We're switching the free to play because there, Bryophita cannot poison us. Uh, considering our food right now is literally cooked chicken, I think this is the best play. I'm going to have to flick. I'm going to have to pl uh, play my A game, but I think we can do it. Let's fucking do this, baby. Here we go. I should have. Uh oh. Oh, I can't use my death. My, I can't use my dust runes. God damn it. Okay, bad start. Just for, I realize I forgot my axe. That's all right. Doing good. Doing good. Okay, growthling time. Ooh, I can block him. Look at that. I can block him behind Bryo and kill him like this. It's like Jad healers. Big brain strats right now. Gosh. Come on. Only one more growthling session should be okay. Big hit. Big hit again. Okay, lost growthlings, I assume. Come on, this is it, baby. Oh, I have enough. Oh, shit. Okay, got him lined up, got him lined up. I'm gonna get this combat achievement where I kill all of them in like five seconds. Please! Start hitting, baby! I can't do another growling sesh, I think. Fuck. Okay, one shot, nice. This is intense, man. Come on, 10 HP, baby! One more. Yes, that should be it! Nice! Ryo feed it down! Oh, drop the beginner clue, damn it. Oh, we got a room bar drop. <laughs> That's not great. That's not great. Ah, oh, damn it. That could have been way better. But we did get our Bryophita kill, guys. We did it. <laughs> Look at all these common achievements. We did it in a free-to-play world. That is a complete personal victory. It did not help the account, the Runite bars, unfortunately. But that is a victory I'll take any day. Okay, now that we've killed the big Bryo boss, I want to unlock my next chunk, which is going to be Remington. Remington has many things going for it. A crafting store, a new quest to complete, easy access to Port Serum, but on top of all of that, also a wheat field, which gives us access to Puro Puro once we hit 17 Hunter. All of this for only 10 clue coins. I'm so sorry, I'm a terrible YouTuber. I completely went over 50,000 Goblin KC, and that's definitely a noteworthy milestone we should celebrate. So, 50,062 Goblins, yay! We actually just got the first completable Charlie clue step. After losing my five clue steps and we have enough Lawrence, I was like, screw it, man. I got a Charlie. I'm going to check it out and we can actually do it. So we do leave the day with a completable clue step. 
Okay, and luckily, relatively quickly, we got three new beginner clues. I'm still pretty upset about the three easy clues we lost, but a one-stepper will make me happy again. This is beginner clue number 69. Nice. One more until the plus two bonus of 70. And it is an iron pickaxe. Oh my god, it's actually the mine and iron ore step. Um, shit, I'm gonna have to juggle my clue to the Alcarid mine now. Oh my god, this might actually... No, it's not. Yes, it is, I think. I think this might be Pure Pure Unlocked, guys. Oh my god. There it is. 17 Hunter. You can now catch baby implings while we're juggling this clue. Holy crap, Puro Puro is unlocked with this next chunk. We are going to Remington and we're going to be using the weed field to get to Puro Puro. No more lamping hunter. I only just realized that I don't have 15 minings. <laughs> so I'm going to have to train mining with my clues on the ground here in the Alcarid mine. Oh my god, is my client crashing? Holy shit. There's 15 mining. Let's do this clue step. This was very quick. Thank you for the casket, Mr. Charlie. This is going to be total clue number 70. That means we get two extra coins when we open this beginner clue. Hopefully we get four because we get a unique roll. Here we go. Cabbages is always so disappointing because that's on the unique table. This is the first genie that we get that we're not going to be putting on the hunter. But what do I put this guy on then? All right, yeah, let's speed up this fishing grind. We still need 20 fishing. Even if we unlock Port Sarum off to Remington, we still need 20 fishing before we can actually actively train it. Fishing Trawler is giving me 40 or 35 XP per game. So uh, I think we're going to pull the trigger and hope for another evil bulb random event or whatever, but we're going to try and go for, uh, for 20 fishing. So let's do this. All right, here we go. Possibly clue coin number 10 for the new unlock if this is a unique i don't know i'm not expecting any uniques anymore but let's open it oh man so unlucky with the beginners but another clue coin this could be the one come on baby are we unlocking remington with this clue yes we are let's go the new chunk is upon us all right boys and 2.7 percent girls it is time to get our last casket before another beautiful chunk unlock we did not only kill bryophyta and unlock puro puro we also got another chunk is this 10 or 11 clue coins it's going to be 10 but i am happy with that let's get rid of our clue coins and unlock another chunk. Here we go. Remington is going to be unlocked. Next episode, we'll check out what Puro Puro and our new chunk is all about. Last episode, we managed to slay my age-old nemesis, Bryophyta. This episode, we get to enter the promised land of Clue Scrolls, only to be hard-stopped by a sapphire necklace. Starting off the episode right with a little bit of a farm run. Let's go check out our new chunk. Let's teleport the Remington and get over there. There is an easy clue within this mine and there's also one on the crossroads, but for the crossroads one, I don't think I can get the emote clue items to do that one. The Witch's Potion quest is right here, so we're definitely going to be checking that one out and completing our second quest a little later in the episode. But let's go to the thing that I'm most excited about, Puro Puro. We got 17 Hunter last episode, so if we go to this wheat field right here and we world hop, we should be able to find a crop circle sometime soon, and that way we'll be able to get into Puro Puro and catch our very first implings. I'm so excited about this because it's a different way to finally get clue scrolls. No more goblins for now. There is the crop circle. Let's get in and discover the Puro Puros. I also get a 30 minute bonus of pushing through the wheat faster. It's called Farmer's Affinity. You only get this bonus if you enter Puro Puro via a crop circle in the overworld world. But here we are. If you guys didn't know, by the way, you can go to this uh, gnome here on the side and he will give you your first butterfly knit and a couple of jars. I believe it's option three and then option four. Yep, there we go. I think the plan of action right now is to just stack up a bunch of jars while training hunters. So we're going to try and find baby implings and then trade those baby implings up for jars and we can store them right here in the quote unquote bank of this gnome guy. All right, so let's start off by tagging all the baby implings and then we are ready to catch the very first impling of the series. No, okay, there it is. The loot is trash. 
Babies have a 1 in 50 chance of dropping a beginner clue, so it's definitely not our best way to get beginner clues. Our actual best way will probably be young implings, a 1 in 50 for easy clues and a 1 in 25 for beginners, and that is really not bad. At this rate, young implings will probably be better for us than gourmet implings, because gourmet implings only drop easy clues, and young implings drop both. Okay, that is my third genie of the day. Uh, we're putting these in fishing because I want to get the trouts as soon as possible. So let's put that there. 18 fishing, two more levels to go. Look at how fast I'm sprinting through these weeds, man. That's so great. I can already hear you guys wondering and worrying that clue juggling clues out of Puro Puro is going to be an absolute pain. I'm sure we're going to have to juggle a couple today. But this farmer affinity boost is going to really help out. And there's the first hunter level of many, 18 hunter. This is going really fast. It feels amazing to be able to train this skill. Big level coming up, that is 22 hunter. And we can now catch arguably our best impling for a long time. The young impling, beginners and easy clues this guy drops. And it only took us 137 baby implings to get there. There's our first beginner clue, very nice. Let's see if we can do it. No, north of Faldor is a way too expensive chunk. It's very nice to be grinding, Hunter. And oh my god, we just got another easy clue. Wait. Oh, it's not doable, though. I didn't know baby implings actually had a chance of dropping easy clues. Apparently, it's a 1 in 100. That's pretty sick. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can do it. Yes! It's a hands in Lumbridge step. Oh no, now we're gonna have to juggle a clue outside of Puro Puro, man. This is gonna be shit. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna need someone or an alt account to scout a crop circle for me. Let's check if we actually leave on the same crop circle. I should have checked this before. Okay, good. We are still in Remington. Imagine if I got put in a random crop circle in the world. That would have been really bad. I should have checked this before, I know, but I was fairly confident this would happen. Now we find another crop circle and we juggle the clues outside. Very luckily, I had them very early to the- Wait, uh, holy shit, that was quick. Luckily, I had them very close to the entrance already. So all my clues are outside of Puro Puro. Now I'm going to teleport them to Lumbridge and go back to the goblins for this last beginner clue. We got two beginners we can complete in one easy. The goblins are just good old reliable, man. The 65th beginner clue is the first beginner clue that we managed to complete while getting the clues from Puro Puro. Let's see if the casket holds anything good. No, it doesn't. But our first clue coin of the episode is in. 170 young implings, 152 baby implings. These are stacking up quick. I've also got an easy clue already in a chunk that I can do, so that's nice. I just got my second oak plank, which means I can make a tool store in my POH. Every time I get two oak planks, I'm just going to passively make those and get some passive construction XP. You can also see on the ground that I've got a bunch of clues. There's 28 hunter. So let's juggle the clues out of Puro Puro. Make the tool store in the house and try and complete another clue. This is a guaranteed beginner clue, a casket. It's also really good that we are already in Varrock right now because I gotta go and pick up the saw so I can make the tool store in my house with the two oak planks that I got from Young Implings. Let me grab this hammer too and then open the clue. 66 beginner clues and still only one unique. There's a tool store, 120 XP. And every time... Wait, did I make it now? Where is it? Wait, where the hell is it? Did I not just make it? It's on the other wall. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so we can now get a saw, hammer, chisel, and shears. That's pretty good. So I can drop the saw and a hammer forever. And every time we get a young implant now in Puro Puro and it drops an oak plank, I, just, I can just quickly go into my house, get 120 construction XP, and then go back. There we go. That is 16 construction. We remove again and we get another free XP. Can I name a tile? Good. Trash. This is the ones we keep and we put the trashy clues on that tile. There we go. A fish pie? <gasps> Wait, I can boost fishing with that. If we get Port Ceremony, we get feathers and a fly fishing rod. We can actually fish trout already. 32 hunter. That is a milestone. That is barehanded young implings. So when we're killing goblins and we see a young impling fly by, we can drive by and catch it and get another chance at the clue scroll. That is really nice. Alcarid mine! Doable. Okay, guys, we got a beginner clue completion. Now, if I could get the third easy clue, that'd be sick. Man, if only. Oh my god, if only. Come on, baby. <sighs> We've got a beginner clue we can complete and a three-step easy clue. Let's do this. Uh, so we got Hans, 
and then it would be this one. So these two I want in a pile. Is there any Alcarit step I got? So these two are Lumbridge. Here we go. So that's Barbarian Village. Yep, let's freaking go. Any back-to-back -back easy clue getters? Port Kazard! Wait, 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 wait. Doable! Oh my god, that's a guaranteed easy clue casket because we got that step. That's incredible. Okay, this could be easy clue casket. <gasps> it is. Okay, so even without the back-to-back, -back, we would have been fine. All right, are you guys ready? I'm super excited for this one. This took about, I want to say, three hours to get a full easy clue and a full beginner clue done. That is unmatched, man. Puro Puro is absolutely huge for the account. Here we go, the beginner clue first. Of course, it's nothing. And then the easy clue. Oh no, it's also not a clue coin. Oh, this is a big moment. This is a big moment for the account. There is 20 crafting. That means I can finally get rid of these sapphires in my inventory. <laughs> I'm gonna cut them and then sell them to the gem store, I believe, if that's possible. But no more crafting runs for the time being, because we finally got the level we wanted. All right, here we go. The first sapphires I will ever cut on the account. This is big XP. 50 XP per, and how much do they sell for? Okay, I hope it's more than 150. 175 coins. That is fine. That's not amazing. I don't know why I kept the sapphires for so long. At least we cleaned some inventory spaces, right? 36 hunter. That is earth implings unlocked. We got three easy clue steps and three beginner clue steps. Let's try both. If I don't get an easy clue casket, I am going to cry, but that's how the world works, man. <laughs> beginner clue casket. Yes. Nice. Now we go to fishing trawler real quick. Two step easy clue, maybe? Uh, dude, two Falador steps I get. That is rough, man. We need to unlock Falador somewhat soon because these all these easy clues seem to be in Falador. For this step, we need to go back to Fishing Trawler, but we can't because we have to wait for our minigame teleport. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to kill some Catablopons. There we go. I said it right this time. Because I want to get an Eye of Newt to complete the Witch's Potion, which is going to be the second quest we'll ever complete in this account. And there's five farming. We can make onions now if we have an allotment patch. All right, before we go to the Cataplapons, let's open this beginner clue. I can't stand having this on me. On the clue, man, I can stack this so easily. But now on this account, I, I just want the clue coins. Are we going to get our second unique in like over 60? No, of course we're not. Oh my god. Six clue coins. Let's get to the Cataplapons. Oh, dude, I thought that was an Eye of Newt for a second. You see that? That little blue? It's an Uncut Sapphire. All right, no Eye of Newt yet. Not lucky. We've killed about 20 to 30 Cataplapons. But now my Fishing Trawler teleport is ready, so we can actually try and hopefully complete this easy clue. Moment of truth. Here we go. This is a three-step easy clue. If this is not the casket, I just wasted three easy clues. Yes! All right. That's... Freaking amazing, dude. Completing an easy clue is still so, so, so sick. This is going to be our 78th total clue. Let's get a unique. No, it's not a unique. What a shit casket, by the way. Wow. Plus two clue coins from the easy clue, though. Two more to go before we can unlock Port Serum. Hey, there's the Eye of Newt. Let's pick it up and get our ass to Remington. Or first, no, I first got to get a cow out of its pen in Lumbridge. Oh, there's there's one, there's one. I just got to grab it with Fire Strike. There we go. And then we can actually cook the meat twice to get burnt meat, and then we're ready for the quest. All right, let's talk to Hetty and start the, the Witch's Potion quest. It's not that I really need to complete this quest for XP or anything. It's just that completing as many quests as possible within my chunks is just a must. I want to get these champion scrolls and, and stuff like that. So if we can complete a quest in our chunk, then I'm really happy. I just give the ingredients to Hetty and then I drink from the potion and get 800 mage XP, which is not even close to a level, but nevertheless... Oh, it's 300 mage XP even. It's two quest points! Four clues on the ground, two that we can complete, and two Charlie the Tramp steps. If one of these two Charlies is completable, we will get another clue coin. Charlie, please be nice to us for once in your goddamn life. Leather chaps, nope. Let's check out the other one. Not completable either. However, I am going to try and complete these beginner clues, even though it's going to have to be a two-stepper. I want to get back into Puro Puro, and juggling clues into Puro Puro is a lot worse than juggling them out. Both are Panic at the Alcarid Mine, so let's head on over there. All right, here we go. Is it a one-stepper? It is actually a one-stepper. Holy shit. I can keep the other beginner clue. Let's open it instantly. Clue number 69. This has to be the unique, right? 
Oh my god, this is disgusting. This is the beginner clue that make us that will make us unlock Port Saren. We had to grind three and a half hours to get this beginner clue. My god, I went dry on a doable step. But we are there. This is gonna be our 10th clue coin. And on top of that, it's gonna be our 70th total, no, our 80th total clue, which also means that we are going to get plus two clue coins when we complete this casket. And it's a two-stepper, of goddamn course. <laughs> it is a two-stepper, so we could have done this clue about three and a half hours ago, but it is what it is. Clue number 70, which will give us three clue coins if there's not a unique, four if there is. And of course, it is one of the shittiest caskets I've ever seen in my life. And that is 12 clue coins. One for the beginner clue, and two for the 80 clue milestone. Okay, now I gotta think because I kept some easy clues on the floor and all of these easy clues are in Port Sarum. Now there's one of these easy clues that requires a sapphire necklace, which requires a golden bar, which in turn requires 40 smithing, 40 mining to make. I could also get a Captain Arav random event, which I'm kind of hoping on, but I'll probably try and complete all the easy clues that I've got right now up to the point where I have to make that sapphire necklace, then grind for that and keep that clue on me so when we have the sapphire necklace, we can complete the entire clue chain that we got on the ground right now. If by any miracle this is a two-step easy clue, all the better. Otherwise, we're due to a big crafting, smithing, and mining grind. Now that I'm editing it, I feel like this entire episode is just chaos. So what's the plan? First up, I got this easy clue that requires a sapphire necklace. So we're gonna have to train crafting, smithing, and mining. Simultaneously, while doing that, I wanna save up 40 clue coins to unlock the Falador chunk. Falador is by far the best possible chunk I could unlock right now. 11 easy clues and three beginner clues. However, it's gonna be quite the grind to get there. All right, let's unlock Port Sarim, and look how beautiful and clear it looks now. First things first, let's go to Barbarian Village to complete this step, and then get back and teleport to Remington to get to Port Sarim. Maybe lucky on a back-to-back? -back? Oh, man, I've seen that clue step way too much. Let us venture to our chunk. We've got all the easy and the beginner clues on the ground right now. This is gonna be a pretty crappy juggle to go all the way to Port Sarum, but not only does this unlock fishing, it also unlocks seven easy clues and one beginner clue. Absolutely massive. We are in Port Sarum, dude. This looks cool. Let's see if this beginner clue is going to be a two-stepper. If it's not, then unfortunately we're gonna have to get rid of it, but uh, I think it's worth a try. It could also still be a back-to-back. Ah, it's a drop. That's unfortunate, but we cannot always be lucky. Only easy clues right now. Oh, we unlocked the legendary music track too. I didn't even realize. Sea Shanty 2, baby. All right, so where's the step again? Oh, this is the one that we need to get the sapphire necklace for. Ah, it's over there. All right, so we got two of the same step. So one step, not a back-to-back. -back. All right, second time. Here we go. If we're really lucky, we get a two-stepper. We don't. Oh my god! Please tell me this is in the chunk. It is! We just got a back-to-back -back in Port Sarum. Holy crap! Oh, that means if this one isn't completed, um, we get a guaranteed clue anyway. That's holy crap, that's lucky. Okay, the face. Just give me a cosk at this point, right? Please? <gasps> Dude. What, what the fuck? We just got another one in Port Sarum! Dude, this unlock is insane! Every time we unlock a chunk of this series, it pays itself back within the first hours. It's unreal. Let's get the casket open. Oh my god, that's surreal, bro. All right, here we go. Two clue coins, three if I get a unique. And there is... Oh my god! Holy shit! That's a double unique! And what a unique dude, and a monster clue. <laughs> Four clue coins, we'll start with that. A beauty and a monster clue in Prif. <laughs> I would not rather solve the clue. Thank you very much, but oh my God, what a clue was that. So I'm going to have to drop this ancient page too, and I'm going to have to clean up the inventory. Uh, this shop doesn't... Wait, is this overstocked? Oh, it is overstocked. I can sell this though, right? Let's discover the chunk. Is there anything else we can do over here is the question. I can buy flour here, which is not useful anymore, but it, it, it would have been useful if I still had to do Cook's Assistant. Okay, so it's fishing is unlocked at this point. If I get a fishing pie from Implings, I can boost to 20, and I can buy feathers to fish trout. So that has been unlocked, which is really nice, which unlocks another two or three Charlie the Tramp steps, which is big. 
There we go. 38 hunter, which I believe is some kind of bare hand impling, isn't it? 38. Did I say 31? 38 impling. 38 impling? I can't speak anymore. You know what? Never mind. Next clip. All right, so we're gonna have to be catching earth implings here. There's a one in 100 chance of them dropping a mithril pickaxe. And if we're going for this mining smithing grind of getting a gold bar, which is 40 mining, 40 smithing, I might as well get my best pickaxe that I can get in my chunks, which is going to be the mithril pickaxe. One in 100 from earth implings. Let's catch them earthy boys. Yes! 70, no, 67 earth implings caught, and we got what we came here for. I'll quickly go to Alcarid and chisel some gems from the gem shop to quickly get this level 22 so I can already make the sapphire necklace. Okay, so hopefully this store is not overstocked. I know bots are buying these, but I got lucky there and I got a sapphire. So there we go, that's 22 crafting. We can now make sapphire necklaces. So that's the crafting handled and an inventory slot cleaned out. There's 21 mining. We can now actually use the mithril pickaxe and we don't have to use the bronze one any anymore. And I think this is a straight run to just power mining iron to 40. I'll see you guys at 40 or when something exciting happens, which is maybe like a medium clue geode or something like that. And there is 40 mining for golden ore. That went very, very fast. As you guys know, power mining iron is meta. It's really good. And now you probably expect me to get 40 smithing, but nope. Ah, yes, it is a casket. We love to see that. 70 beginners, only one unique, and we do not break the streak. I'm gonna elk the mithril pickaxe, guys. It served its purpose. It's I got 40 mining, so there it goes. We are going to be killing a Bryophyta, number two. This time I did it in a member's world. The rainbow and the Karam ones. Five adamant played buddies. Bunk. Made, bro. 50k. Uh, can we do the beginner clue? We cannot. Look at that. The cash stack is zoom in. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing smithing now. Can we finally get our second unique at 72 beginner clues? Does it exist or does it not? I just missed 70 attack, man. <clears throat> <clears throat> and that's 70 attack. Unfortunately, I cannot get a whip in this chunk, but just noted iron ore. I'm also picking up the silver bars from the flesh crawlers right now because I just got 23 crafting by cutting these sapphires that them dro they drop and I can get a tiara mold in Remington, I believe. So it's just free crafting XP that I'm picking up while getting these bars. Maybe I can get to a ring of forging before I get my iron ore stack. That'd be great. Here we go, tiaras. How much XP do they give? 52? Oh my god, that is so free! Dude, we're actually gonna get the crafting level of emeralds, I think, by the end of this grind. Do they actually sell to the store? That'd be even crazier. They sell for 40, not even bad. All right, we've got four completable easy clues on the ground right now. One of them being the step that we've been working for for the 40 smithings. So the plan is to complete the three steps, maybe already get a casket. But if we don't get a casket out of those three, then the fourth one, which is the easy clue that we're working towards, will be the last one to get for the casket. So we'll do that. I am, however, going to be trying to get one more beginner clue that we can complete. So we have an easy and a beginner clue completion in our inventory. I have to juggle four easies anyway, so it doesn't hurt. They're just Bring one beginner clue along too. Ah, there is 42 hunter. That means we can now catch essence implings, which is absolutely huge because they have a one in 50 drop chance of dropping a medium clue. But not only that, they're also traded in for a magic butterfly net, which has a higher catch rate than the butterfly net I'm currently using. So let's go catch some and get a new net. Boom, that should be the magical butterfly net secured. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the new net, also log into an alt and try and find a crop circle and then juggle these clues outside. Unfortunately, we didn't get a third beginner clue step, but we'll see that we maybe get lucky with another two-stepper. The port serum chunk is paying for itself again in full, man. The amount of times I've gotten this clue step is ridiculous. This is the second easy clue step and could already be the casket. It is not, is it a back-to-back? -back? No, it's gonna all rely on these last two clue scrolls. All right, this could be casket. If it's not, then, oh, it is! An easy clue casket, two guaranteed clue coins, and any unique will give me an extra one. There it is, another clue step. 
And it is completable, so I can let the beginner clue that is still on the floor in Lumbridge despawn, and I can just complete this beginner clue right now. I don't really care. The last one that is on the floor there in Lumbridge is another Charlie the Tramp step, so I'm not even gonna bother checking that, because that's gonna cost me a law rune for no reason. So let's complete this beginner and open the beginner and the easy clue that we've got. Let's see how lucky we can get. Can we finally, after 73 beginner clues, get our second unique? Yes! We can! The Sandwich Lady Top completes the set, almost. Just the hat left. Two clue coins from that clue. All right, I sold everything to the shop. Let's check out what the easy clue is going to give us. Oh, dude, I need to keep the black pickaxe this time because you can store that in your POH. It's actually surprising that the beginner clue is better than the easy clue. Either way, that is 12 clue coins and I do have to keep this black pickaxe this time. This might be the last update until we start smithing. We're at 818 iron ore right now, but I got another evil Bob fishing random event and somehow I'm still excited about maybe getting 20 fishing. I can already train it by using a fishing pie and fishing trout, but it'd be nice if I just could get the level. So let's see if we can actually get fishing XP. Or if we get magic, we get magic. So I guess the higher your magic level, the less likely you are to get fishing XP. Um, I might have to train with Brawl's Bars or something to save law runes, I don't know. But as soon as my nature runes are up here, we are gonna have a problem. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board and see what I can do. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm going to go to Puro Puro and train my hunter up to 50 and just get the gold bars from the Eclectic Implings. Now, I know that just completely tramples my entire plan of the whole smithing thing we were gonna do this episode, but also, I need smithing anyway, eventually, down the line, so it's never, it never hurts to train it. And I will keep these iron ore, and every nature runes I get, I will make into bars and smith it, so we can passively get 40 smithing. Oh, dude, if this is a golden bar, then we're stopping right now and we're going to kill goblins and start grinding. Oh my god! Okay, shit. So we got a golden bar for the easy clue step now. I just got a full ranger outfit clue scroll. 74 beginner clues done. 13 clue coins. I guess we're just gonna... Wait, you know what? I can actually use this right now because I'm gonna kill some goblins. But before we do that, let's do what we actually did this entire episode what we spent this entire episode dodging, really. Let's make the sapphire necklace. Let's get this guy. Boom. That is the sapphire. So we buy the necklace mold. And now all we need is a furnace. There is the sapphire necklace. I don't think I need to enchant it. Nope, we got it. Now we just need the steel plate skirt. Something I completely overlooked. The steel plate skirt is only obtainable at 46 smithing, which we already pussied out of. But also, it is also a drop from beginner clues. So let's unlock Falador next episode. All right, here we are, right where we left off in the last episode. It is time to use all my iron knives on the goblins and get a shitload of beginner clues so we can unlock Falador and get those steel plate skirts back. All right, um, for the first time in a long time, we are again juggling the most clues we've ever juggled on the account. We finally got three beginner clues we can do. I've been checking Charlie the Tramp steps, but I think I'm gonna stop doing that. These two are both Charlie the Tramp, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, no, holy shit, I almost juggled the wrong one. Uh, I might as well try and complete the easy clue steps too, because I gotta juggle four things around it anyway, and otherwise I gotta juggle all four of them back. Here we go. Is it going to be a two-step beginner clue? It is not, and it's a Charlie step, and I've kind of had it with these Charlie steps, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, dude, I'm getting dizzy from all these clues on the ground, I'm not even joking. Oh my god, it's a back-to-back -back easy clue step, nice, that's a guaranteed casket, holy shit. Wait, that means we can actually check the Charlie the Tramp step, because we're gonna be in Varrock anyway for this easy clue, hang on. Mine a piece of iron ore, holy shit, doable Charlie step too. There is a beginner clue casket, um, right, we juggle again the billionth time today. Preferably we get a casket here. This is step number three. If we don't, then well, it's going to be a full four step easy clue, which wouldn't be too bad. But then again, I'd prefer it to be a three stepper just to be sure. Uh Oh, all right. There's going to be a four stepper. I mean, at the end of the day, it's less juggling for me, so I don't really mind. Okay. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to try and complete this second beginner clue. Um, I'm hoping for a two stepper. One is a barbarian village step. One is a Charlie step where I need to go to Puro Puro and get a fishing pie so I can boost my fishing to 20 and catch a raw trout for Charlie. Uh, another skill we're gonna be able to train finally, but we do have to go into Puro Puro and get a fishing pie to do it. So uh, we'll do that in just a second. But first, let's complete this first step and the easy clue. I haven't had a one 
step clue in a very, very long time. So if hunting could hit me up right here, that would be legendary. Or a back-to-back -back hunting, you absolute beautiful specimen. That's a guaranteed, that guaranteed us another beginner clue casket. This is huge. Oh my god, another back-to-back. -back. I'm keeping the Charlie step that I can do. So we don't have to go into Puro Puro to complete it. It was worth it juggling like six clue stacks. This is going to be the biggest clue opening we've ever done on this account. Two beginners and one easy, man. Huge. That is a guaranteed four clue coins, but if we get any uniques, that's an extra one. Let's see. Steel dagger is horrible. We need a steel plate skirt, preferably. But the beginner clues were awful. Let's check out the easy clue. That is even worse somehow. However, we do leave with 17 clue coins, which is really nice, but I can't lie when I say I did expect a little bit more from those. That is dreadful. I think we might be really close to a new total milestone. Yeah, one more clue until another plus two. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I wanna go to Puro Puro and get that fishing pie, but I really need to clean out my inventory because it looks absolutely disgusting. So I'll probably sell the blood runes to a general store, but for now, I wanna get rid of these emeralds and I need 27 crafting to make them into cut emeralds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just buy this one sapphire, cut it, sell it back to the gem trader and hope worlds and do that until 27 crafting. There is 27 crafting. That actually went really fast. We're chilling on about 11 and a half K XP per hour, which is not even half bad so let's unnote these emeralds and finally get rid of them it's gonna be really good money too to be selling these emeralds but i'm very glad they are finally out of my inventory so what we're doing now is we're gonna go to puro puro we're gonna passively work towards 50 hunter but at the same time we're gonna be catching a lot of gourmet implings not only for easy clues but also for a fish pie so we can boost our fishing level up to 20 plus so i can do this charlie the tramp step oh we got it nice all right let's get back to the main world all right, so I want to make use of this fishing pie as much as I possibly can. So I'm going to try and hit this fishing pie on the exact moment when the boost kicks in. So I just drank a beer to see when these levels tick down. And at the very moment that it ticks down, I'm going to eat the fish pie to get the maximum out of it. I know, sweaty. Oh, there it is. No, the spot changed, you fuckers. This is mad XP. Holy shit, this is crazy. Yes, we did it. We are level 20 and we can now forever... Do this Charlie the uh, Tramp clue step. That's sick. We're gonna get 750 total right here, actually, on this next strength level. Boom, that's 750 total on the clue chunk UIM, baby. This is clue scroll number 90. If we get a unique, this is gonna be a lot of points. Plus two for the 90, plus one for the beginner clue. So we're guaranteed three. I don't want to talk about it. We are, however, on 20 clue coins right now. Halfway to the Falador chunk. Oh my god, I just got a back-to-back -back easy clue. And I still haven't gotten a beginner clue in the last 30 minutes. What's going on? Yes! Doable. Holy shit. Okay, okay. We can do this easy clue now. Wait, I just got a... Huh? I assume that was a two-stepper then. Wait, what was the first step? Oh yeah, the dig at the Alcarid mine. Nice! Two-step easy clue. Okay, let's see if we can also complete this beginner clue. If not, then I was pretty stupid to try and do it. Has to be back to back to be able to complete. I can try. It's gonna waste us so many law runes though. To check if this Charlie step, but I mean, it's a three step or I have to check. Can we do this Charlie step to save this beginner clue? <sighs> That's pain. That's pain that not only wasted us two law runes, it also wasted us two beginner clue steps we could do. <sighs> pain, absolute pain. But we do have an easy clue casket without a unique. Damn it, that was a painful streak. 22 clue coins though. Boom, boom, boom. No! I sold my coif and that's a clue item. And I can't buy a coif anywhere else. So now I gotta hope I get a f***ing coif again from an easy clue. Boom! A double wizard hat. We are looking for that steel plate skirt still. Uh, so I'll just be dropping these. Little cameo from Impling only here. Oh shit, Charlotte, I was gonna... I was gonna have a cameo from you in this latest video, I completely forgot. Yeah, you little bitch. Guys, I've come up with a verdict. Please don't hate me, because it was the entire point of the last video. But I am going to be dropping this easy clue. The one we grinded for the entire last episode. Because I sold my two coifs, 
and I need to do easy clues to get this coif back, it is hindering me to complete more easy clues because I constantly have to keep this one on the floor. So I'm gonna drop it, I'm gonna let it despawn. Please don't hate me. It's for the greater good of the clue coins, all right? 93rd total clue, 79th beginner clue. 4D nothing. 24 clue coins, 16 more until the big Falador. And seven more until 20 clue coins from 100 total clues. The 80th beginner clue with only two uniques. Can I get my third finally? I can not. Stay there, Ali. Yes, stay in my chunk. Yeah, don't move out of it, you piece of shit. I'm scared. Yeah, got him. Hey, easy clue casket. Let's go. We've got an easy and a beginner clue casket right now. Let's open the beginner. Four, not a unique. Time for the easy. Wow. I mean, I'm not going to complain about Lower Runes, but that is a shit casket. Four more clue scrolls and we're at 100 total clues, which will give us a massive boost in clue coins. Another beginner clue. The log is still looking the exact same. 81 beginner clues, two uniques. This is number 82. Oh, yes. Dude, that's also not an inventory slot. That's amazing. That's so good. That's the best thing I could have possibly gotten together with the shoulder parrot. No inventory slot wasted and a unique, baby. Look at this, dude. This is so exciting. 10 more clue coins to go. And we are in Falador. And the Jester Cape era has begun. 48 Hunter. A 50 Hunter for Eclectic Implings to get Oak Planks noted for the construction training for easy stash units is very, very close now. Another beginner clue. We are absolutely stacking up the clue coins today. Another unique. No more uniques, but still beautiful. 83 beginner clues done. 31 clue coins. 98. This is going to be clue number 99, which means one more clue before a massive bonus in points and before we unlock Falador. We're getting ridiculously close. Let's see if a one-stepper still exists. It actually does. You know what? I'm going to try and complete this in one go. This could be the Insta Unlock. This could be the Insta 100 clue. Back to back? It's back to back. We actually got Falador. Not even joking. We did it. The 100th clue. But this beginner clue is going to be the second we stacked. And it's going to be number 100. How crazy is that? 20 clue coins. We're gonna have to pay a visit to clue coins. Let's open these two beginner clues and get our final clue coins to get into Falador. Something we've been grinding for for quite a while. The one and the two. No new uniques, but two more clue coins. And if we world hop, we should be able to see the big total clues, which is one... 100 total clues. We will have 53 clue coins once we get back from clue coins. Yep, there you go. That will be the last time. Uh, what do you mean last time? I've decided I'm going to stop giving you handouts on every clue milestone. What? You, you can't just decide that. Yes, I can. Why? You will do fine on your own now. I'm gonna miss you, man. Maybe we'll meet again someday, but for now, this is goodbye. Oh, one more thing. I love you. Thanks. This is the most amount of clue coins you'll ever see on this account. There we go. The big Fally. With Falador unlocked, there is a new goal that arises. I want to move on to easy clue stash units, because in case you guys forgot, the end game goal of this account is to fill every single stash unit in the game. Easy clue stash units require 27 construction, so the goal now is to get 50 hunter for eclectic implings for noted oak planks. This will be the key to the new stash units. Look how beautiful it looks, man. One day, one day this dragon imp will be mine. That'd be nice for Edgeville teleports when we finally unlock Edgeville. Which, by the way, is the next plan. Mm -mm. Oh, could it be the fourth? Yes! Falador is paying itself back again, dude. It's happened every single time on this account, man. Whenever we get a new chunk unlock, it pays itself back in the same episode or in the next one. 
we do have to be in Falador for this clue, so we cannot do without quickly going into our new chunk. Look at how beautiful it looks. We'll take a closer look very soon, but luckily this clue step is within the chunk. Unfortunately, the uh, stash in it here does not, it's not in my chunk. Luckily, we did go for all of the clue steps or four easy clues on the floor is what I mean, because it is a four stepper. So I'm very glad we saved up. A stash unit will be able to build very soon. We do need a second golden necklace, though, because there's also a beginner stash unit that requires it. There we go. There's Casket. The total clues don't matter anymore now. 100 total clues. The 16th easy. Here we go. It's a unique and it's a good one. An Emerald of Magic Tea. That means I can drop this one, actually, or sell it. Let's go. Another clue from the new chunk that is paying itself back. If it's a casket, we are zooming. It is not. Is it a back-to-back? -back? It's not even a back-to-back, -back, man. There is the casket. Let's get back to Puro Puro. But before we do that, let's open and see if we can get another unique. No, that is one more clue coin, though. Putting us back to 17. I don't know why I said like that. 13 more and we're already at the next goal. This is going so fast. All right, lost catch. Here it is. Eclectic Implings are going to be unlocked with this catch. 50 Hunter. There is the Eclectic Impling level. Holy crap. That is amazing. That's a lot of XP from Puro Puro. And here is my first Eclectic Impling cat. No, not yet. All right, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and complete this two-step easy clue. Chances of me completing are almost zero because it's the lowest amount of steps. Actually, it's 33%. But still, I want to go and fire strike some Ankus while I'm AFKing because I really desperately need law runes. So I want to not juggle easy clues because I'll be on a free-to-play world. So that will be an absolute pain, constantly having to hop to a member's world to juggle my easy clue. That's not an option. So uh, let's try. Maybe we get really lucky. No, we didn't get lucky unless it's a back-to-back. -back. It is not. We got to drop the easy clue, but it was for a good cause because right now I'm going to buy some runes and spend the rest of the day fire striking Ankus to hopefully get a decent law rune stack again because that one's dwindling quick. And especially now with Falador, we're going to need it even more. There we go. I got myself 40 law runes now, and I'm absolutely ready to start training construction. I'm going to be catching eclectic implings for noted oak planks. I need 106 of them to get 27 construction for easy clue stash units. So next episode, we're focusing on construction again. But for now, it's time to clean my inventory. I'll see you next week. Last episode, we spent no less than 40 clue coins to unlock the biggest city that we've unlocked yet, Falador. This time, we're venturing a little bit deeper into our endgame goal and complete easy clue stash units. While doing that, we also end up juggling the most clues we've ever juggled. Also, have you subscribed to the channel, by the way? I will only subscribe if Tedious comes walking past yelling the collection log. What are the chances of that happening? The collection log. Oh. All right, I'll subscribe. We are back here in Puro Puro. We're going to be highlighting the Eclectic Implings. And it's time to video game. 107 Oak Planks. Let's do it. Ah, uh, now I feel at home, dude. Opening Eclectics. There's the first couple of Oak Planks. Also a very easy way to get Mithril Pickaxes here. A Rune Dagger. That's a sick Alk. I should have kept my Nature Runes. Damn it. Dude, I'm walking the earth for this Essence Impling. It better be worth it. Okay. <laughs> That's worth it. Hey, that was the last couple of planks we needed. 108 oak planks. I need to get one more easy clue, preferably, so I can give the easy clues that I got on the ground right here an attempt to. So as long as I have jars, I'll try that real quick. And then we're going to do the construction grind. Easy clue. Yes, the squire. That is from Falador. Holy shit. Let's go. There's the beginner completion. You know what I'll actually do? In order to not waste a law rune, I'll just keep this beginner clue for now and uh, start training my construction. I gotta do, I gotta train my construction here anyway. And maybe by the time I'm done, I can just use my home teleport again. I don't think there's anything I can use my mini became teleports for. Here we go. One beginner clue, one easy clue. That is a special one. And the easy clue. No uniques either. However, we're now at 20 clue coins. 10 more to go. Oh, I got the coif back. Holy crap, I completely forgot. Yes, coif is important. We just need the steel plate skirt for the easy clue now. All right, so what we're going to be doing for construction is just the, the easiest way possible. Get piles to unnote our planks. Get in building mode. Build tool storage. 
Easy. This is gonna be the most relaxed skilling grind I've had to do yet, because it's the exact same as I would do it on the, an Iron Man account. 23 construction. This is going rapid. Sitting at a solid 46k XP per hour. There it is. 27 construction. That should be easy. Clues, stash units. There we go. I need two more inventory slots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport to Falador. Uh, I'm going to be making these gold bars into golden bracelets. Clear up this inventory slot, this inventory slot, and the water rune inventory slot. Uh, then we can go pick up planks and then make the stash units. Man, UIM is so much preparation. AFK XP on a UIM. Is there anything better? 28 crafting. Hey, by the way, we've got a 100k cash stack for the very first time on this account. Mainly from the uh, alchemals from Eclectic Implings. All right, at least we can now make the golden necklace that we need for the Remington uh, thingy. So we have a golden ring and a golden necklace now. Now we just have to get the bronze spear from the goblins over here and we can make that stash unit. There are five easy clue stash units that I can build. Only one that I can fill up though, which is the Remington one with the bronze spear, the golden necklace and the golden ring. However, as I just said, I will be filling all of them or I'll be making all of them just for the construction XP and for convenience purposes. Stash unit that I cannot fill up number two. Number three, stash unit number four, and the final stash unit that we can actually fill up in Remington. Boom. There we go. Now we're just lacking 10 more clue coins for the next unlock. Edgeville and the looting bag. Hard focus on easy clues now, by the way. Easy clues are the best points, especially now that the milestone rewards are not there anymore especially with the 11 steps that we've unlocked in Falador. Boom, another medium clue in the ranging guild. Man, 14 medium clues from Eclectics. Not a single step that I've been able to do so far. I've not calculated yet how many steps I could do from uh, medium clues, but I'm assuming it's not many. It's 10 in 153. Hey, there's 30 crafting for, well, not really anything. You know what? Screw these three golden bars. How about that? Nah, never mind. I'll bring the gold bars. Oh, I'm still in the PvP world! <laughs> I never thought that would happen to me, to be honest. Hey, yo, we can complete a beginner clue. Um, but I still want this lost easy clue, actually. Oh my god, this is also completable. That means we got four beginner clues that are completable on the ground right now. Um, what do we do? I just, <laughs> shit. Did we just keep going? Do I try for a three-step easy? Maybe that is the play. If this beginner clue is completable, man, I swear, I could... <laughs> There's no way, right? Oh my god, are you god- Are you kidding me? What is this? Oh my god, this is a mess. I All right, I'm gonna go complete the beginner clue because this is insane. Watch me get a back-to-back -to -back too. And it's a one-stepper too. Oh, another beginner. There is no shot. I get a back four back, right? No absolute shot. This is the back four back. Oh my god. What is going on, bro? And also completable, bro. I've just got a back five back beginner clue. The last five beginner clues I got were all completable there's the second clue stacked and completable again bro what do i do i'm actually gonna try these easy clues oh i'm gonna be so pissed at myself if this is not a three stepper i'm gonna be so 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 upset but i'm too impatient i've got clues to open man another beginner clue another completable beginner clue with that hello hairdresser First time I get your step done, and that is three beginner clue caskets stacked up and still three beginner clues on the floor. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't build this stash unit, but the items are pretty easily easy to get, so that's nice. However, I would have loved to stash these items. It is what it is. It could be a two-stepper, please. Oh, no. Back to back. Oh, no. We need that three-stepper now, guys. This could be absolute maximum pain. Oh, dude, that's Cosket. Holy crap, look at how many we've got stacked, dude. Now, all the excitement of the beginner clues aside, the most important clue that we have in our inventory right now is this easy clue. Two steps completed. <sighs> we need that three-stepper. If it's a four-stepper, then we've wasted three possible easy clue steps. Come on. No! Oh, <sighs> that hurts. Oh, F in the chat boys all right before we continue we have four beginner clue caskets to open here we go this is the most we've ever stacked that's one clue coin that's two clue coins that's three clue coins these are terrible and that's four clue coins all right 
Nothing unique, but we're inching closer to that Edgeville chunk. Now that the milestone rewards are gone, beginner clues automatically become less valuable to me. I do want to focus on easy clues now. So what I actually said two episodes ago where I would lock myself out of beginner clues so I couldn't farm them is actually not that relevant anymore because easy clues are the thing that I'm supposed to farm right now, just naturally now that the milestone thing is gone. So that's nice. Hey, another casket. Absolutely phenomenal. <clears throat> My fourth unique right here. Oh man, this game sucks. All I need from beginners is a steel plate skirt still for that sash unit. But I forgot the build last episode too. 25 clue coins. There's the fourth step. Easy clue completed. What easy clue number is this? 17 easy clues completed. So number 18 is right here. Two clue coins for the completion. Any unique is plus one. What do we get? Oh my God, that's awful. What the? Are we gonna get a two step beginner clue or not? We are nice. We're keeping one beginner clue. That's always nice. And the good thing is I'm going to go to a free to play world and get some more law runes at the Yankus now. So let's open a clue. Boom. Oh, no, that's a dupe. No, that's not an extra clue coin because it's a dupe. So out of the three beginner clue items we've got, we got a dupe. Are you kidding me, bro? Only one clue coin. It's not a new collection log item. Boom, there is the casket. I kind of want to risk it and uh, try and go for another two-stepper on these two clues. I'm going to do it, guys. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to try and unlock the chunk with just three clue scrolls. We need two more clue coins. So if we get a little lucky and we get either a back-to-back -back or a two-step clue casket, we've got the next chunk. I'd love to get a one-stepper. That's been a very long time, but it's only a 10% chance, I believe, from beginner clues. Here we go. Not a one-stepper. Is it a back-to-back? Uh-oh. Guys, I'm getting scared now. I, <laughs> I don't know if this was a good idea. Moment of truth to see if I majorly fucked up and have to get three new clues again, or if it was a genius play and we instantly unlock Edgeville. Here we go. Oh, it is the completion, dude. We've got Edgeville unlocked. Let's go. Holy crap. Guaranteed, even if we get a unique right now. All right, two clues to open and then Edgeville to discover. Let's see if we get anything. We got the steel plate skirt back. Wait, but where's the coif? Didn't I have a coif? Did I sell the coif again? Am I goddamn kidding me? Oh no, what did I do with the coif? They're like, yeah, normal 50K a year job. I'm like, 50K a year? Hello? Mm, any completables? <gasps> oh, we can complete an easy clue, boys. We can complete an easy clue. I just unironically pogged in real life. There's no way I lost it again, right? All right, let's open the second one. Steel plate, buddy. At least we got the steel plate skirt. So now we do really have to focus on getting that coif. <sighs> anyway, let's get to our new chunk. First up, let's unlock it. And the beautiful thing is, it's not going to cost me any law runes to get there. Zero clue coins. It's been a lot while since we've seen that. Let's go grab our looting bag and finally clean up some inventory space. I think this also unlocks a good amount of easy clue steps. About four, I think, in the chunk. And in the Edgeville dungeon, you also have Vanica now, which is an easy clue step. But the entirety of the Edgeville dungeon, that's pretty hype. We also have unlocked Obor now. I have a range here and a furnace very, very, very close to a bank. And as I said, the best thing possible is that this doesn't cost me any law runes. It's way closer than Falador with the furnace. But that's absolutely fantastic. We are in the Edgeville dungeon and we are quickly going to grab ourselves our very first looting bag of the account. Let's hope no one comes to PK us. That's level 85. See engineer, please stay away. I might want to bring some food every time I do this just for safety. There it is. The most beautiful item on this account. The looting bag, baby. This quite literally changes everything. Steel plate legs. Yes, I understand how it works. Sapphire necklace. Probably don't need the ancient rope top. Definitely don't need these. I'm gonna drop my second pair of sandwich lady bottoms. I'm sorry, I know it hurts, but put my iron ore in there. Oh shit, I accidentally put bones in there. Oh, whatever. Put the black pickaxe in there for now. And I think we're good, guys. I think this is the inventory right now. Holy crap. Cool, man. So currently we've got <laughs> these bones, eight coins. Uh, the steel plate skirt, the sapphire necklace, the ancient rope top, the full sandwich lady, iron ore, and the black pickaxe and the looting bag. I think that is absolutely perfect. The inventory is looking clean as shit. Not that shit looks clean, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the hill giants. Ooh, an uncut emerald. That's free XP. I can actually make that. 69 hit points. Like Verf would say. Nice. 
Hey, there's a giant key with a beginner glue. What a drop. Holy crap. It's not doable, though. <laughs> that kind of sucks. All right, let's see if we can actually get an incredibly lucky beginner clue completion here. Either we get the back-to-back -back or it's a one-stepper. It is a back-to-back. -back. Holy shit, there's actually a chance for us to complete this e uh, beginner clue. So we're going to 1 HP, then we're going to Lumbridge. We're going to pickpocket until we fail, let the man kill us, and then pick up our stuff again. I don't think there's anything that will break. We just have to get our looting bag back. Oh yeah, by the way, I can complete this clue maybe. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, what do we get? Another steel blade skirt. Okay, kill me, please. <laughs> R.I.P. Clue Chunk Boy. Now we have to rebag everything. This is the first time I'm actually playing like a UIM, guys. All right, let's rebag everything and get ready for Obor. Okay, we got a new looting bag. Let's make sure we put everything in there that we will not need for a bit. All right, that's it. Let's go to Puro Puro and get some food and then go to Obor. Here we go. I am prepared. A bunch of food, the most I've ever had in my inventory. Unfortunately, no Karam ones. I got 20 death runes and 10 or 11 blood runes that I just quickly got from the Ankus. So we have some waves and some blasts and we got a couple snares. I hope it's enough. Let's go. All we got to do is snare him and protect range. Snare him, trail, snare him. I gotcha, bitch. This guy hits over 30s, I believe. Okay, I've not, I've not splashed a snare yet, which is fantastic. Fantastic. All right, I think we comfortably got this, guys. Good, let's get that club or the rune longsword. And we got nature runes. I mean, I, I guess that's okay. What's the clue step? All right, let's check if we can do the clue step, mate. Screw it. I'll waste a law rune on it. Any two-step completions? Dude, another two-stepper. We are the luckiest goddamn UIMs there are ever. That's so nice. All right, let's open it. Unbelievable, but true. We got a clue casket from a doable Charlie step. I believe this could be close to beginner clue number 100. It's 98. Let's see what we get. Uh, I'll actually wear the wizard hat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Good timing for that. Hey, I got a medium clue. Did I finally get a medium clue I can complete? You guys reckon it's worth it to go for medium clues? 10 out of 153, and you know what? That's a 1 in 15. I don't think that's too bad. Is that weird to say? A 1 in 15 for medium clues. I'm juggling the medium clue, fuck it. There is the second beginner clue of the day. Not a bad session so far. Do we get four clue coins or five? <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty funny clue, I'm not gonna lie. We'll check on the implings maybe real quick, now that we're almost 54. That's a lot of implings already, guys. Holy crap, look at that. 3,442 young implings, 1,400 gourmet, 433 eclectics already, 606 essence. Somehow 250 earth and a lot of miscatch, mis miscaught babies. <laughs> Wait, that sounds not right. Let's see what we can get here. Three juicy caskets. Two beginners. Five nature runes, that's not too bad. And a steel plate body and a wizard rope top. All right, not horrible. Over 100 beginner clues though. Easy clue. Yeah, baby, a collection log slot. That is three clue coins from that easy clue. Let's fucking go. Ooh, it's also a three stepper. That means we have two more easy clues right here to keep juggling. So I guess I'm just gonna go back to the Minotaurs. But first, we are going to do something beautiful. Because we're going to get our 10 clue coins. No extra collection log slot. But we now have 11 clue coins. And that means that we can unlock another chunk. And without further ado, I'm just gonna unlock this chunk right next to Barbarian Village. That was 10 clue coins for that. And it's kind of annoying that I've got two clues here to discover or to explore it but i mean it's not too far so let's jump into our clue i've already unlocked the music track by accident because i crossed this line unfortunately because i was killing a barbarian a long time ago so please forgive me over here there's a beginner and an easy clue step in between these so that's a guaranteed unlock there i just wonder if we can complete this medium clue in the next episode today i finally listened to you guys we're unlocking the ham hideout i've just unlocked the chunk so i've got one clue coin at the moment that means i need to get 29 more this episode episode because the ham hideout chunk costs 30 coins so let's get into it there is a beginner clue casket oh cabbages again bro that's always painful look at this finally being able to do this step i felt like i got this step so many times so it's a beginner and an easy step i'm very happy and it will give us a casket so it is paying itself back already man i love to see that let's open it 
Yo, another unique. Let's go. And a really good one too. Four clue coins and a monk's rope top T or bottom, I mean. Let's go, dude. Look at this prayer gear we've got right now. This is crazy. Boom. There is the easy clue. So before we go back to Puro Puro, I'm going to open this one and also bag my monk's rope tea and also going to be bagging this unique I'm about to get. He calls it, baby. Bronze full helm tea. Three more clue coins. Two for the easy clue and one for the bronze helm. Two things that we're going to be bagging now. It's going to be scary. The looting bag is going to be pretty full. All right, easy clue casket, but it might be at the risk of not having my other easy clue anymore. Come on, baby. Run. Is it still there? It is still there. Don't, please. I don't want it to, I don't want to see it re despawn in front of my face. Run, 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 run. Get it, get it, get it, please. Please, please, please. I got it. And open. Another collection log slot. That's 10 clue coins, baby. All right, let's get 25 fishing and 20 cooking so I can get that pike step done from Charlie. A little bit of skilling, finally. 25 cooking, 20, uh, 20 cooking, 25 fishing, done. And there is the cooked pike. I'm gonna quickly bag the ancient page and then I'm gonna go back to Charlie. And casket. There we go. Let's open it. Boom. Not the collection log pop up, but the black plate skirt? I think that's super rare. Dude, I've almost never seen that, I think. Oh my god, it's a two-stepper. Holy shit, that's nice. Ooh, that is a bit gross. <laughs> but still two clue coins, so that's not too bad. Couldn't get lucky on every single one, of course. Easy clue casket with two more easy clues on the floor. So we're absolutely gaming once again. Let's see what this gives us. Is Cassie going to be lucky? All right, we're never opening at Cassie again. That was ass. 15 clue coins, though. The clue stacks on the floor are getting a little ridiculous right now. I've got a second completable be uh, medium clue step, which is absolutely crazy. I'm going to attempt this beginner clue and this easy clue at the same time. I've only got three steps on the easy. I'm hoping for a back-to-back -back or a three-step easy clue cost. Okay, let's get lucky. Oh, and it's a back-to-back, -back, boys. It's a guaranteed completion. There we go. We got super lucky. Oh, two-step beginner clue casket. That's nice. I hope I have enough law runes to complete this easy, though. Hey, there we go. It's even a two-step easy, I think. Crazy. We still have so many clues. Look at what's still on the ground. This is a surreal. <laughs> we just got two caskets, and there's still, like, an abundance of clues on the ground. I'm gonna open them inside of Puro Puro. I've only got four law runes left, though. That's scary. Let's see if we can get another unique when I've juggled these in. Quick surprise beginner clue! Okay. 105 beginner clues already done, man. Kind of magic. But now we are in the place of clue scrolls. This is where I will definitely get another unique. Leather Chaps G for the cl extra clue coin. Lovely to see that. 19 total clue coins right now. Let's freaking go. Also, an upgrade on the look right now. All right, so I need to get an Iron Kite Shield. Um... How I'm gonna do that is probably kill dwarves for iron bars, and when I get three, I'll make them in Varrock, question mark? I could also kill hill giants for them, actually. And is it a completion or is it a waste? Oh no. Oh, it's doable, holy shit! Dude, I thought we had to throw away all those steps and I grinded for the Iron Kite Shield for nothing, but there it is. Beautiful. Let's open the beginner and the easy clue. This is going to put us over 20 clue coins. A beautiful moment because we only need 30 for the ham hideout. So here we go. Oh, dude, the cabbage rolls are always painful. And the easy. Another unique. Wait, it's maybe even two. It's two uniques. Holy shit. Dude, holy crap. That's amazing. And that is why we don't have the clue milestones anymore, guys. Because, you know, it's not necessary anymore. And it would just make it so much easier. At least we have to grind right now. If we had the milestones now, we'd be already at 40 clue coins easily. So I'm glad that's gone. There is 70 strength. We can <laughs> wear Abyssal Bludgeons and we can go do... Bandos. No shot we're doing that anytime soon, but 70 attack, 70 strength. The way to the Warriors Guild is only 50 clue coins, so maybe we'll make our way there eventually, but for now, I'm happy to see these 70s. 84 combat on mainly Minotaurs and Goblins. <laughs> this account is insane, man. There's another clue, but I gotta be really quick and get back to my other clues that are on the ground. Let's make sure we pick everything up, especially the medium. And this is still open even. Let's go. All right, let's open the beginner. 
No collection log sounds. Staff of water though. I guess I'll just alk it. 25 clue coins, five more. Oh, medium. Oh my God. Oh my God. We've got three medium clues. We've got three medium clues that we can do. Holy shit, a one in 16 chance. Oh, bro. Hey, we're finally gonna get rid of these medium clues, Juggle. That's great. Okay, um, now we gotta really think about this because I only have six law runes. So we have an easy clue completion and an attempt at a medium clue completion, which is absolutely insane. However, I'm gonna have to camp some essence implings first because I really do need a law rune drop before I can continue here. This sucks. But it is what it is. Look at these clues on the ground, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> How many is that? Two, five, eight, nine clues? Oh, beginner clue? Doable! Okay. <laughs> Let's fatten up the stack, boys. 11 clues rejuggling right now. I think I need to spin before I catch it. Look at that. Tick perfect. It worked! We got law runes. Let's go! 11 clues on the ground. Without a doubt, the most clues we've ever juggled. And finally, after nine episodes, a chance of getting... A medium clue completion. Very low chance, but there is a chance. Shit, the scrub circle's not here anymore. Problem. All right, it's time to start juggling, finally. So, okay, where do I need to go? Is there anything in Port Sarum? That's the first thing we need to check. I know all those are in Ver... Oh my god. Leave Charlie the Tramp here what is for on now. These? I believe these are all my Vero clues. Uh, yes, but I need to drop these. Okay, I think we're ready. Uh, I think this is the easy clue. I'm not even sure anymore. Yes, easy clue. It's actually a back-to-back, -back, so that's already... Pretty shit, because I'm gonna have to keep juggling now. But oh well. All right, here we go. The most important one is this a back-to-back -back medium? Uh, it is not. So the medium goes on the ground. Okay, now we gotta check Charlie. It is an iron dagger. I can do that, but I need an iron bar. <laughs> but we'll see what we can do with that. All right, it's very annoying that I'm juggling in Remington too. Uh, all right, any chance this medium is back-to-back? -back? No. Also a drop. So the next medium is the one, guys. The next medium is the one. If that is a casket, I'm going to be over the moon, but I'm not expecting it. A miracle needs to happen for us to get a three-step medium. Okay, Charlie, please don't waste all my time and please get into my chunk right now. Oh my god, double Charlie too. Okay, that means I have to go and grab a fishing rod and fishing bait here in Port Sarum. <laughs> oh my brain, dude, it's hurting. I'm glad I got some law runes, guys, because this uh, this would have been a problem with all these Falador teleports. This could be casket and it is that's the easy clue done i think i still got three easy clues on the ground so i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a shot and i am going to try to uh get another easy clue casket let's do the lumbridge sequence here guys this is the moment of truth are we going to be able to get a medium clue completion on the account or not the moment of truth was it worth it are we going to get our first medium clue casket or not no pain bro absolute pain hey it is what it is we tried so hard but it, it's not meant to be <laughs> am i gonna even make it to the alcarid mine wait i just got another easy clue that was a two-stepper at least we're gonna get 30 clue coins we're gonna go straight to the ham hideout we've got a definite beginner clue completion and we got two easy clues so the next chunk is unlocked though no, don't burn all of them. Are you kidding me? All right, so we got two easy clues and two beginner clues now. I don't know what the fuck to do with this. I think I'll just go back into the stronghold and get three. I think that's going to be the plan. But for now, let's open the beginner clue and open the two easy clues. And that should unlock us, regardless whether we get uniques or not, it should unlock us the ham hideout. So let's go start off with the beginner. One easy clue with a collection log slot. That's three clue coins. And the other beginner, uh, the other easy clue is another collection log slot. 32 clue coins, baby. I need to stack up a bunch of law runes. If we're gonna be pickpocketing hand members, we are going to be teleporting around. I think easy clues are gonna be coming in like crazy. I just don't wanna juggle. The tactic is killing free to play Ankus for law runes. And as you know, I can't juggle easy clues in a free to play world. So I gotta get rid of these. So that's the plan. Maybe we butcher it. Maybe we lose two clue steps that we have the steps for, but I don't really mind. I think they're gonna be coming in like crazy on the hams anyway. So I'm gonna be killing these dwarves here for an iron bar so I can uh, do the smith an iron dagger step for Charlie. Gib iron bar, please. Oh my God, I just got a beginner clue. That's a one in a hundred. That wasn't my point, but hey, all right, we'll see if we can do it. No, we can't. Iron bar, there it is. On the drop rate almost, 32. I kind of need four iron bars because I need to make an iron kite shield too. So I'm going to test my luck for a little bit longer. Hey, 
the beginner clue is completed. That's fantastic. So we only have the easy clues left now. I'm gonna have a clean inventory after this. That's amazing to see. <gasps> no, I don't have the black axe. That's unfortunate. I, I even dropped that last episode, I'm pretty sure. I'm an idiot. I gotta drop it because there's no way I'm gonna get a black axe. Maybe from this beginner clue, actually. Let's go. Black axe. Steel axe. That's unfortunate. Inventory is cleaned up. Let's do this easy clue and let's get severely disappointed by not getting a casket. A two-step easy clue is way too much to ask for, but at least my inventory will be freed of clues and I'm really, really happy. What I'm going to do after this is just grind out Ankus again, get a bunch of law runes because I've been struggling. I'm going to try and get over 50 again. But before we do that, let's live in the here and now and let's get a casket or a back-to-back -back step. Come on. It's not a casket. And it's not a back-to-back -back step. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's head on over to the Ankus. I have a very important announcement to make. We're gonna get so many easy clues, baby! Let's go and look at members! Look at the clean inventory. Let's get there and let's absolutely... Oh wait, hang on, I don't have 20 thieving. Three, a two, and a one. There is 20 thieving. Time for hand members. Now I know I can already do hand members at 15, but I didn't really want to pick and choose which hand member I pickpocketed. Plus, it'll give me a bit more of a uh, moving space between not getting caught and all that shit. So let's get some uh, cooked chicken. Let's get an over to the ham hideout. Real quick before we go to the ham members, I am going to be bagging these two things so I can actually wear some ham robes. So this is going to be a nice inventory safe. Here we are. The beautiful area of hams. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to be able to drop a bunch of easy clues. It's going to be amazing, man. Look at this. I'll go to my favorite spot, which is the bedroom. Because of efficiency purposes. No other reason. And there's my first ham member pickpocket. In case I get yeeted out, out of this chunk, which I don't think is possible, but if it happens, I will be forced to unlock that chunk next. How about that? Without any question, if I get yeeted into a chunk that I don't have, I'll be forced to buy that chunk. I mean, we haven't been thrown out yet. Oh no, we're still in the chunk. Close though. Little close for comfort there, but we're good. We're good. We're still in the chunk. Okay, that's deep into my chunk, so that's all good. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're still good. Ooh. But yeah, keep it. Oh my god, this is close. Hey, yo, there's another patch to rake here. That's right, I forgot. I haven't even raked the patch in this new chunk yet. Let's get some farming XP while we get thrown out. 28 thieving already. Wait, doesn't that unlock anything? Oh, I was thinking of monster farmers. That's 38. Hey, finally another easy clue. And it is actually doable. So we need one more easy clue before we have our first full ham member clue completion. Ah, there are the boots. Now I got full ham. So this should reduce the chance of me getting kicked out. Finally getting somewhere. I hope this goes a little better because I've been here for like, what, three hours? And I've only pickpocketed uh, not even 500 ham members. <laughs> oh, yes. The first clue from ham members is done. Let's open it. Oh, gross. Starting off the episode with a little bit of obor, we still need 10 clue coins for the next chunk, which is going to be the wizard's tower. Let's see if we get something. 20 limpwords? At least the beginner clue is uh, not completable. Oh my god, that's awful. An iron ore, let's go. Thank you, Charlie. Do I just try and go for a one beginner? Maybe I could get a back-to-back-to-back -back -back step or a back-to-back -back step and we're fine, right? I'll try it. And casket. Boom. Okay, that's a double drop. All right, this could be easy clue casket right here. There it is. The easy clue casket from the hand members. I think, I believe that's the second one. The first time we've actually stacked four easy clues from the hand members. Last time we did three, but it is slowly paying itself back, even though it's pretty slow with 33 thieving. I'm not gonna lie, I get thrown out a lot. Anyway, let's stop complaining. Four clue coins are enough for the next chunk. And that is one of the worst easy clues I've ever seen. However, we did get our coif back. So we can now build that stash unit. I just got my wizard's tower unlocked. The next chunk. We got an easy clue casket. We even have an easy clue on the ground still. Two stepper. So very, very nice. Anything that we get out of this, we'll get 10 clue coins. So maybe we can get an extra coin. No, that's pretty awful. 10 clue coins. Let's put that in the zero and unlock the next chunk, which is the wizard's tower. And we can get to the wizard's tower via a necklace of passage. Now we do need a silver bar or a silver ore or any of those things. And then I've already stacked up two jades so I can make that amulet. If we ever get a wizard tower clue now, we are good to go. Let me check how many steps there are in the wizard's tower. Ladies and gentlemen, the wizard's tower will unlock us two beginner 
three easy and two medium clues steps. So that's really not too bad. Along with that, we can also complete rune mysteries. So let's do that. All right, I just got my second silver bar, so that's beautiful. I also, in the meantime, got an extra two beginners and an easy, so we're gonna try and complete those before I start crafting these jade amulets and then enchanting them into a necklaces of passage to check out the new chunk. But this is the reason why I came here and not just did, did the uh, Alcarid mine, because now we can actually maybe get a couple more clue coins. All right, we're out of Puro Puro. Let's start off by doing the easy clue that's right here. Then buy the amulet mold, do the clue that is in Port Serum, and then hope we can actually complete the clue because otherwise they, I've just wasted two easy clue steps, but uh, it is what it is. Back to back? No, so this one is a drop already. This could be Casket. I mean, two to four steps has been a very long time since I've got a two step easy, but let's see if we get a Casket. Oh no, it has to be a back to back. And it is not. That is pain. Edgeville Monastery. Let me actually check how many clue coins that is before I throw this guy on the floor. Where is Edgeville again? Edgeville Monastery is 40 clue coins. Yeah, never mind. See you later, Mr. Easy Clue. Hopefully this beginner gives us more luck. Let's buy the necklace mold and uh, get this beginner done. And is it a back to back? It is not. So we drop this one. Man, if we can't even complete this beginner clue, I'm going to be pretty mad. <laughs> Come on, please tell me I can complete this beginner, man. Hunting, hit a brother up. Oh, yes, at least the beginner clue is completable. Let's see what we get. Ah, a standard range set. And this is why easy clues are starting to become priority now on this account. Good thing is we don't have any clues anymore to juggle now that we're going to make these necklaces of passage and stuff. So that's nice. Can I get a jade necklace, please? Yes, sir. An easy clue from the hand members. Maybe we get a little lucky. The collection log. That is a collection log slot. And that means, and also two coifs. Just to rub it in that I dropped my coifs last, <laughs> last time. That is two clue coins from completing an easy clue and one clue coin from getting a unique in the collection log. So that is three more clue coins and we're getting on our way to Alcarid. I think we gotta switch it up a little bit. I've been unlocking chunks just to do more clues the entire time, but I do also want to progress the account. So for the next chunk, we're meeting our first boss, Temporos. It not only gives me new rune items as a best in slot, it can also drop clue scrolls and in the minigame, I can train my construction. Not only that, the boss also drops a ton of planks. The problem is to get there, I still need 80 clue coins. The Alcarid main chunk, the Temporos main chunk, and then the minigame chunk, or the boss chunk, whatever you want to call it. That's a ton of clues, so let's get grinding. 36 more clue coins, that's a lot, but hey, <laughs> we're getting there slowly. Guys, I didn't miss it, I promise. I got 40 thieving, you all saw it. You saw me get the level, right? What is it with me unlocking chunks and them paying themselves back? Out of these three easy clues, two of the three are in my newly unlocked chunk and the exact same step. <laughs> What did I just say about clues paying themselves back? This step is also Wizard's Tower. All right, right click to the Wizard's Tower. We go and look at this. I still have to do Rune Mysteries. I kind of forgot about that whole plot we wanted to do a little bit ago, but hey. Here is another clue scroll and let's pick up the other two and complete our very first clue scroll in the Wizard's Tower chunk. There we go. That's the easy clue casket. All right, opening the easy clue. Wow, that is not great. I've seen beginner clues that are way better. However, it is two clue coins a little step closer to the next chunk. All right, what I'm going to do for a while now, if I've done enough ham members. I'm going to be catching eclectic implings so I can actually get the construction level and stack up the oak planks to make the costume room so I can actually store my easy clue uniques because the next goal is 40 clue coins for Berthope or Alcarid, probably Alcarid. So I'm gonna get even more easy clue uniques. Problem being, I'm not gonna have the inventory space to put them all in my looting bag or my inventory. So because we're doing a massive clue grind again, I do wanna put those away. And I think the first goal or the first call to action is getting this construction level. All right, lads, I got a surprise for you. Two stacked easy clues and an easy clue and a beginner still on me. So we get two clue coins for every easy clue, an extra clue coin if we get a unique collection log slot. It is time. Let's see if we can get any tedious the collection logs. That is pretty bad. And wow. Those were my easy clues of the day. All right, as a little break from the implings, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna, whoa, I can't speak anymore. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna complete rune mysteries. 
The reason why we're doing so many quests on this account, by the way, is because if we get 32 quest points, we can actually get champion scrolls, because then we can enter the, ch enter the champion's guild, and that is a requirement to get champion scroll drops. So our 60,000 goblins would actually maybe finally be able to drop champion scrolls after this. Either way, we have now completed Rune Mysteries. Another quest point added to the list. Yo, we're getting to the point where we can just have one beginner clue, and we can just complete the entire thing without having to juggle. It's pretty great. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that's trash. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. I should really tell you. Oh my god, I should have never done that. That was so stupid. A room medal, best in slot. Worth. Worth. We got a new best in slot, guys. Oh my god, my hands are trembling. Why the hell did I do that? All right, before we do these three Obor keys, I still have a beginner clue on me. And as you guys know, Obor is in an instance, so I can't even juggle clues into it. So I have to complete this beginner clue before I go back in. I spent some time at the Hill Giants, so this casket is from the Hill Giants, and we're getting Law Runes. I'm never gonna complain about Law Runes. I'm gonna be honest, that's nice. I need some magic gear for Obor, so I'm going to have to suicide, and I have not done this before, and I'm scared. I'm gonna have to suicide here at the Nettles, get a Bronze Axe and Lummy, and then get back. Oh no! We're also finally making this stash unit here in Port Serum with the coif, the steel plate skirt, and the sapphire necklace. We grinded for that like two episodes ago. There he goes. A beginner clue, and I got a easy combat achievement. Maybe I should check out the combat achievements again. Kill over on a free-to-play world. Um, I could, but I kind of want to be a little bit more confident before I do that. Let's see if we can actually get one of these three clues completed. The first step is already doable. It's the second one, though. And it is! And, uh-oh. Yeah, doable! Holy shit! Completable beginner! We can do about 50% of beginner clues, I'd say, now. Let's put this back and open it up. That is pretty trash. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I not just- why did I not just snare? Why did I not just snare? Okay. Way too close, man. These fights are actually kind of close. I had so much food. This guy slaps, man. Hey, medium. Five Obor kills. Still not even really a good drop. However, these death runes I can use for the next kill, I guess. But no rune long sword, no Obor club. And the beginner clue is not completable. Coins and another beginner clue for the third kill. It is doable, however. Unfortunately, I have to drop the clue here. Uh, and we will probably go back to Puro Puro now. There's 58 Hunter. We can now catch Nature Implings, which one, give heart clues, but I don't think that should be our focus. We can, however, get a Jar Generator now. First Nature Impling catch. Uh, never mind. Look how beautiful this is, man. I just run out of jars. I click the jar generator. Boom! I've got some new jars. This is gonna be beautiful. All right, an absurd number of clues on the ground again. Let's do them. Also got my first medium step that I can do again in a while. Yeah, that was a terrible haul. None of the three beginner clues that were from Charlie were completable. This easy clue was a two-stepper. And, um, yeah, one we couldn't do. It was in the Shane Mill shop in Falador. I don't know why I said it that weird, but, uh... I don't have this chunk, so we couldn't do that step either. So a little bit of a disappointing haul after all those clues on the floor, but this unique is going to make up for it. Oh my god. <laughs> really, nothing beats goblins, man. I've been here for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and I've already got, what is this, five completable clues. It's, it's unfortunate to think that I unlocked a ham hideout when, in reality, I don't really do the ham hideout much. Granted, that did unlock me to Wizard's Tower, which one of these two beginner clues leads me to, but still, goblins stay the best way to get clues. Right, so we're gonna have two beginner clue caskets and one easy clue casket, and a nice thing about this plugin now is that Mr. SeaWorld Ender from the stream, who actually created the personal, wait, personal currency plugin? Personal currency tracker plugin. He made it so that you can actually automatically let your clues opened add to your clue coins. So if I open this beginner clue right now, boom. It should automatically add two clue coins. Look at that. We got an amulet of defense T. Let's go. And I love how it automatically adds it on. And look at that beauty. Absolutely fantastic update to the plugin and an insta check if everything worked. Two clue coins from that beginner clue. Uh, we get some law runes out of the next one. That's also really good. I'm very happy. And look at the clue coins automatically going up, dude. That's awesome. Easy clue is a bit trash.
But again, I'm so, so, so happy that this plugin now automatically counts your glue coins, so I never have to forget. <laughs> Not that it happened during the series, but still, it's very, very nice quality of life. I actually only just realized this. In the next chunk we're going for, which is the middle of Alcarid, it will also unlock catching a raw herring from Charlie, the leather body, and the leather chaps, which makes it so that I don't have a single Charlie step that I cannot do anymore. That's actually huge. Let's fill up the looting bag and clean the inventory again, because as you can see, I've got almost 10 beginner clues and two easies. I'm going to open them when I get 10 beginner clues, and that is going to skyrocket up in clue coins. And now I can actually stack them up because it will automatically add them up, which is the reason why I haven't been stacking clues up for the longest time. So let's clean up the inventory because there is a relative chance that we get some uniques from all of those. Looting back check. Still have three spots. So that's nice. There we go. I just got my 10th beginner clue. I didn't even have to juggle it. Just went for one and we got it. So let me clear out the inventory a little bit more. If we get six uniques, we've already unlocked it. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Here we go. That is, uh, one. Okay, I love how this is automatic, man. I can't get over it. Number two. Nothing. Number three. <gasps> no, is that a dupe again? You're kidding me, bro. The pain is real. Oh my god. All right, all right. We'll keep it for now. Number four. Is that another dupe? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start throwing things right now. What is this? What is this? Another unique back to back to back? No, of course, we're not gonna get any uniques anymore now, are we? We're not gonna get any uniques anymore, are we? I hate this game, dude. At least we got 30 clue coins now. I'm just gonna drop everything, man. I can't be even arsed to sell them. All right, but then the redemption. Three uniques in both of these. This game sucks. Six more clue coins until the next chunk. All right, I'm in a bit of a predicament because I just got this easy clue at the chemist in Remington, right? The place is 10 clue coins, which is ridiculously cheap. It also has direct transport to Artie Square. Probably one of my only transports there. Plus, it is also necessary for a quest and there's two mediums and one easy clue there. I'm gonna coin flip for this. I, this is probably not how you should do account progress on RuneScape. Coin flip heads or tails. If it's heads, I'll spend the 10 clue coins, take a little bit longer to unlock Alcarid. If it's tails, then I'll leave the chunk B and we'll focus on Alcarid. Mint is tails, by the way. Cop is heads. Here we go. Heads is unlock it. All right, we're not. Let's get back on the grind. Two more beginner clues. Hopefully we get a little bit more lucky than the 10 we previously opened. Ah, yes, a good old cabbage and mind runes, man. I understand why you guys don't like beginner clues. Either way, four more until the next chunk. Alrighty then, boys. Three more stacked up beginner clues. If I just get one unique item, then we are in our new chunk. I've even got a beginner clue from the new chunk already on the ground, hoping that I can get lucky on one of these three. Let's do it. 37, 38. 39, damn it, we still need to do one more. <laughs> Guys, this is the completion. Coincidentally, also in Alcarid, we're going to pick up our last beginner clue casket. There it is, and boom! I don't care what the drop is. We got 40 clue coins. Let's unlock Alcarid. Let's pick up the clues we still have here. I did save two beginner clues that I can do in this new chunk. And the beautiful thing about it is I can now do every single Charlie the Tramp clue step because I have a tanner here and there is also a herring fishing spot behind the bank. So Charlie the Tramp is 100% completable right now. Unfortunately, I can't train agility yet because I don't have 20 agility. Let's unlock the chunk. Boom. Alcarid. I believe this chunk will unlock me uh, one beginner clue, but three Charlie the Tramp steps, so technically four beginner clues. And also an easy clue or two or three. There is so much going on in this place, man. I love it. I wonder what the drop rate on clues is for the Alcarid warriors, though. Yo, I just realized I have really decent food now. I can buy kebabs in the store here. Wait, Chante is not in this chunk? Hey, I'm that clue guy. Last episode, we realized the hand members weren't as good as we thought they were. This episode, we're trying to unlock Temporos. I'll, I'll tell you why later. This means we need 40 clue coins. Or 50. I think I might have made a massive mistake. Another day, another beautiful clue chunk UIM episode. We have two easy clues. Let's open them. Ooh, the first one is a plus three. Two for the easy clue, one for the armadillo page one. Let's see if we got another page. We don't. So that's just another bag slot. That's annoying. 
The second one is the Zemrak Roll Plagues. Holy shit. That's a really good item. I already have the Ancient Top in the looting bag, so that's absolutely amazing. The prayer gear is on point. In Belgium, we say in between the soup and potatoes, another beginner clue casket. Yeah, that's about as average as they can be. Yo, boys, we got our fourth completable medium clue step. I'm catching eclectic implings to stack up oak planks because I want to get 48 construction. It takes around 1,200 oak planks to get there. So naturally, I stacked up some medium clues and tried my luck. Last time we tried this, we had three medium clues on the ground. So now with four, there's actually a solid chance we can complete this one. I'm so excited. I really do never get bored of seeing all these clue scrolls on the ground. It is quite insane. We've got 10 clue scrolls to juggle right now. If I complete this medium clue, you guys gotta like the video, all right? And maybe subscribe. All right, now let's organize these. The ones that I can do in Remington, I gotta do right now. Then put the Varric ones together. This gets complicated really quickly. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that it's actually insane that we got this many medium clues on the floor. These are my very professional calculations on how many medium clue steps there are. If we do not count the music track steps, we can only do 10 steps out of the full 153 that are possible. Having four is crazy. Let's hope this one's completable. There's the first step of the medium clue completed, then the back to back same medium clue step that we got. This third step could already be the casket, but I don't think it will. Oh my, wait, dude. We just completed our very first medium clue on the account. This is actually huge. After completely butchering the first attempt, we did get it on the second. So that's a guaranteed four clue coins and hopefully a bunch of unique potential. That's sick. Let's complete the other clues and open it. There's the beginner clue. There's the easy clue. It's time to open, baby. Here we go. Three of the finest clues from easy to medium to beginner. Of course, we're opening the beginner first because we want to milk the medium clue. <laughs> so let's do this. Ooh, the six law rooms. Really, dude, uh, never going to complain about law rooms. I still need a good way for law rooms. So guys, if you have any methods, please leave them in the comments because every single method is so expensive. Easy clue. Oh, wait, a beanie, dude. That's a new collection log slot. That is three clue coins. I look so goddamn cute. Dude, I am the cutest gamer right now. I'm the cutest UIM at least. Still got that disgusting neck beard though. All right, and then the moment that we've all been waiting for, the medium clue. I'm expecting a unique. There is no way in the entire medium clue and shared log I don't get a unique. There is a monster scroll book. Wait, isn't that massive for UIMs? That must be crazy, dude. All my scrolls from all my clue scrolls are gonna go straight into that thing. I can even put it in the looting bag because it's tradable. That is sick. Can I wear the green dehyde? Hang on. I can, bro. Look at this. This is a weird fashion scape outfit. <laughs> 16 total clue coins from seven. A solid plus nine. I don't even know what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to walk around this fashion scape with my beanie on. Yuri, my guy. Easy clue completion and stash unit filled. Oh, purple fire lighters. I forgot I got so many more fire lighters to go. I didn't even realize the collection log pop up because that looked like such a shit clue. Three clue coins, let's go. This is a beginner clue. Let me keep you up to speed real quick. Because the reason why we're doing so many clues this time is because I want to unlock Temporos. Why? Ah, uh, just because it's fun. I've been doing clues to unlock more clue locations for like the entire series. So I feel like we can treat ourselves to a little bit of a fun activity. On top of that, Tempros also drops a ton of planks, best in slot rune items, and does have a chance of dropping clue scrolls. Now, initially our plan was to get 40 clue coins for Tempros. The problem is, just like Limpert, I did not realize that the boat chunk to leave for the Temporos minigame was in another chunk. So, live on stream, just so you guys could check that I didn't cheat, I re-rolled it. Also, I'm streaming basically every single day at 12 p.m. CEST, so if you're ever free, join in. Twitch.tv slash only underscore trails. <sighs> guys, not only do I have way too many clues on the ground, I realize I've made a massive mistake. Before we go and train construction, and before we complete all these clues, we have to do something. God damn it. And we still have to roll the value of this chunk. Now this could go really badly because if I roll anything higher than 10 or 20 clue coins, we're not going to Temporos. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not spending 100 clue coins. No, wait, 60 more clue coins on Temporos. That means we need a change of plans. So this wheel spin is ridiculously important here. So let's get the wheel prepped up. Ladies and gentlemen, if this <laughs> is 30, 40 or 50, 
I'm gonna have a bad time. Here we go. <sighs> Come on, baby. Please just be 10. Yes! Okay, Tembros is back on the map. Let's go, dude. 10 coins extra. That means we still have to do 50 clue coins to get there, though. That is still quite rough. 60 hunter. We can now put four traps at a time, which we're not going to do for a while. But we are getting close to another attempt at a medium clue. We've got a clue from the Imblings. That is gross. Let's get back in. All right, so I've just counted. I've got enough blanks for 46 construction. Then I can boost with a T in the POH. So that's going to be nice. So we are going to be able to make our costume room. However, I have two mediums on the ground, and before I want to start juggling these clues out and doing these clues, I do want a slight chance of completing a medium clue. So I am going to try and get a third medium clue before I dip out of here. And then it's a uh, good old juggling time again. We have two completable medium clues at the moment. Maybe with a little bit of luck, three would be enough. However, again, it's a one in 16, so it's going to take a while. I started talking really slow. Oh, oh my God. Yes. All right, we got three. I just fist bumped the air again. That is a completable medium clue. I'm excited. Let's go. All right, now to juggle all these clue scrolls out. My God, look at that stack. Okay, all the clues have been juggled outside of Puro Puro. Now to organize these into the most efficient teleports so I can do a couple in one go. <laughs> How many do I have? Two, four, ten, eleven. Still not my record. I think twelve is my record. Uh, let's do the Varok ones first, I guess. And then we'll figure it out. I'm not gonna make it to Zeke, I think. Dude, this is intense, man. Already wasted seven Lawrence, not even completed one clue. Why oh, is that a trap door? Dude, this is actually in a chunk. Imagine the ham hideout not being a waste, dude. This is crazy. The ham hideout was worth it after all. A medium clue step here. Go, game. Why are you lagging? The timer's going. Is this a risk? Should I not check Charlie? Oh, wow, I don't even have the red. <gasps> no, I don't have earth runes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm out of earth runes, too. I can't get to the POH. Let's think. Shit. How am I going to get back? Because my clues are on the floor over there. Quick thinking for the boys. Good panic log. We buy the earth staff here. We get over there. Arlie, I don't have time for this, mate. Come on. Leather body, I'm dropping it. I don't have time for that. I need this beginner, uh, this medium mainly. Wait, did that easy just despawn? Did I pick up that medium just in time? Wait, what? Yeah, right? I think that easy- Dude, I think that just despawned. So the steps we currently have is two beginner, two medium, and two, uh, easy. Kind of shitty. I thought I'd get way more clue coins from this. I'm just gonna take my time just juggling my clues here. Please be the easy clue casket. Please- Yes! Okay! <sighs> if I can complete the medium now, this juggle was worth it. Let's quickly make the jade necklace while we're at it, so we have a teleport back to the wizard's tower. We're almost done juggling the clues. This took, about, it took us about a half an hour. All right, we're done juggling. Now the moment of truth. We've got two beginners and one easy, and we are one beginner step deep into this one. However, I still need cosmic runes to enchant the jade necklace before we can do this one. But it is time to teleport to Edgeville and see if this medium clue is completable. It's going to be really, really, really disappointing if we can't. All right. Here we go. If this is not a casket, I might cry. I mean, chances are that it's not a casket. It's, the chances are pretty low. Oh, no. Maybe doable? <laughs> no. How much is it? How much is it? Please. Is there a redeeming quality here? It's a 40 clue coin chunk, man. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, medium clue. Goodbye. On the positive note, though, we have at least four clue coins right here if we get an elite or a unique, I mean, a unique collection lock slot will give us more. Let's see what we can get. That is uh, nothing. And that is even more nothing. But the easy clue. <laughs> the redemption, boys. Law runes. Yo, I am not mad at that. I was running out completely after that juggle. That I'm happy with that, <laughs> to be honest. Four clue coins. Let's actually start this construction grind. Boom, boom, boom. I think my looting bag is fixed. It's good now. Look how clean the inventory looks again, guys. And look how fashionable we look. Let's get completing this beginner clue and then construction, I think. Casket. No new unique. However, another clue coin. Beautiful. All right, without further ado, let's put those 920 planks to work. 
And let's get our construction up. There's 30 construction already. Let's get this going. Oak larders, look at them go. Oh, this is, whoo, this is gonna go really fast now. Look at that, just two larders and get out, baby. This is gorgeous. There's the level that we need for the costume room. Is it 50K for the costume room? It is, whoo, there it is. Build, and now they just fill up the things in there. I think the first thing I can make is the magic wardrobe, but this is absolutely massive for the account. This is where it starts. I can actually store my ham sets in here, I believe. Um, none of this stuff I'll need for a while, but maybe ham is the armor. Okay, so nothing I can store in there at the moment. Let me close that, because that's going to trigger the shit out of me. All right, time to build the rest. All right, there's level 46. I probably still don't have enough oak planks for everything here in the kitchen, because we need to build everything to make this the tea boost. So we need soft clay and also normal planks or no we can actually make these ones so we need six soft clay right now we also need a stove which we need uh six steel bars for maybe eight steel bars we need the sink space which is another five steel bars and then for the shelves i should be able to make them i think oh no wait i just checked that so that's the soft clay hey yo this is the first fallen star i've ever seen on this account guess i'll just mine it while i'm away for a bit now i need to make this tea first i built this the sink place here um, with five. Then I build the stove place with, it doesn't really matter, but I'll go for six, I guess. Then, how do we do this? Kettle. I did this back in 2006 or something, but I don't really remember how it works. I don't need, think I need any of those anymore. Let's go into the larder and I think I have to take milk and tea. I'm gonna just kind of try and figure this out. On my own, I can do this. Kettle on the range. Okay, good, it works. Now I have to wait, I assume? How long does this generally take? Kettle is boiling. All right, we put the boiling in the teapot with the tea leaves. That gives cooking XP? Big. Pull the tea on the porcelain cup. Hey, we did it. All right, now we run to the costume room and we get our boost. And then we build the beautiful treasure chest. There's the plus two boost, dude. Let's go. We finally did it. After 11 episodes of the Clue Chunk UIM, we can finally store our items in the POH. So say goodbye to the fashionscape because it's going straight <laughs> no, no, in here. No, no, no. Hello? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> See you later, items. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. I need these. I need these. Holy crap. Luckily, that gave me the notification. That was close. I need those. Okay, good. Good notification game. That could have been really bad. I think everything in the looting back I can put in there right now. So uh, let's die again. This is the last batch of stuff. After we put everything in, I think it's time to figure out a fashionscape outfit. Sandwich lady got bottom can go in there. Yep, yep, yep. Um, still place G. Yep. All right. Look at this clean ass inventory. I think we're sticking with the BD. Even though I'm not a big fan of the fashionscape, it's a work in progress. All right. I'm happy with this. All right, it's also time to dump these golden bars and get a bunch of crafting levels. It's time to AFK. 1,100 golden bars to make into golden amulets and later at 42 golden tiaras, if I can even get that level. We'll see what level we get. Are you as excited as me to check out the crafting level we got? We are smelting our very lost golden bars. And with a little bit of luck, we're gonna just about hit another crafting level. Oh, this is so perfect, bro. There we go, 43 crafting enough for a ring of life which i don't know if we're ever gonna use on a uim but still that is an amazing crafting level right there which has also now unlocked our first agility method how am i gonna train agility with crafting that's something for episode 13. yes i'm planning that much ahead we need about 25 more clue coins to unlock temporos so let's get on it i think we're gonna go back to goblins almost 65,000 goblins killed let's stack some clues and get these temporos chunks Please just be a casket. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. I was so scared. I was so scared, man, that that was not gonna be a completion. Oh my God. 73 on the beginner and the easy clues now. Without further ado, let's start opening and let's hear that the collection log sound. Uh, 140 beginner clues too now. Not too shabby. Oh, that's a roll on the unique table, unfortunately. Nothing so far. Nothing to write home about. Ooh. This is some standard beginner clue junk. And we're done with the beginner clues. The beginner clue log is still looking absolutely disgusting. Six in 146. Gross. Let's drop all of these and move on to the easies. Three easy clues, though. 
Let's see. That's 35 clue coins. Wow, that's bad. Yes! There we go! The Iron played Buddy G. And you guys have been saying that I need to wear the new stuff for a second at least to check out how it looks. That's a good one, dude. 300k. That's going straight in my POH in a bit. And then the last one. Oh, shit! It's gonna put us on 41. That means nine more clue coins. And we've got Temporals unlocked. We're really close. Zamorak page two, which now gives us two Zamorak pages. I don't think I kept the other one though. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And also ancient page two and three, uh, two and four. So I can definitely drop uh, this one. Unfortunately, I dropped ancient page um, three, which I have already gotten. Voice crack, sorry. Nine more coins and we're in temporals. We then ran into this absolute legend on stream, Mean Guy 66 who was doing Black Knight's Fortress, but I really couldn't let this opportunity go to waste to talk to someone who's completely new to the game. I love this wholesome interaction and I want to share it with you guys on YouTube. No way. So sorry guys, I need, a, I need to be here for a moment. The Rune Chainmail Strength Ami Team Cape. Dude, I am getting transported back into 26. Thank you. <laughs> nice clothing, no shot. Oh my god, this is the best. Sure. I have one friend, which is me and this guy now. <laughs> See you on the other side, literally. Good luck. Wow. Dude. That was a, that was a goddamn movie in like five minutes. We got every single part of the emotional spectrum there. We got goodbye, sadness, happiness, and adventure, dude. All right, I did it again. I, uh, I might have done something stupid. We are building a new stash unit here, though, but this is a two-step easy clue, and I don't have an... Oh my god, that was that scared the shit out of me. It was a medium clue. Uh, this is a three-step easy clue, so if this is not a back-to-back -back or not the casket, I've wasted it three easy clues. Oh no, it has to be a back-to-back. -back. No, dude, why do I keep doing that? See, I get too cocky and I think I have enough chunks. And I don't. I just gotta go for four. I need more nails. I'm also an idiot. Oh, the last couple of clues are not now. I'm um, sorry for the bait, but we have four more beginner clues. I want to go to Puro Puro. Uh, for these last couple of clues, so I'm gonna open. I was gonna stack all the lost ones, but, you know, I don't need an inventory space. Puro Puro is messy. So, here we go. Four more beginner clues. We're probably not gonna get anything from this, but you never know. 42 clue coins, 43 clue coins, more junk, and the last beginner clue. Five more clue coins, and we're at Temporos. Oh, <gasps> boys, another dual medium clue. Oh, no, this means I have to... Oh, no, this means I have to um, get Eclectics now and get another medium clue. Oh, no. Shit, because I don't want to juggle medium clues. That's like the worst thing in the world. Okay, I got to stay here until I get another medium clue that I can do. Oh, no. We got a medium? Please, 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 please. Oh my god, yes! Yes, guys! All right, we need a crop circle now, and we gotta get out of here. Doable medium clue. We have got three medium clues that are doable right now, four beginner clues that are doable now, and five <laughs> easies that are doable. This is the most insane juggle we've done so far. Look at the absolute shit show. 13 clues. We've passed our record of 12. This is insane. Dude, four. We can actually maybe complete another medium clue with four right now. That's an. Incredible, we just got a back-to-back -back step. No, it's not back-to-back. -back. I think I got one more. If I get Lauren's now... Oh, another one. No way. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Yes. Lauren's, yes. Okay, we can start, guys. Juggling these 13 clue scrolls. All right, every single clue is out right now. And um, now the age-old sorting the clues where... I'm as efficient as possible and I save as many Lauren's as I can. Here we go. Let's check him out. Exam? I don't have time for the exam. I'm not even memeing. I'm not even memeing. I'm gonna have to let the exam despawn. I'm so sorry. I don't have time for you, Dunce. I'm so, so, so sorry. No, I know I'm getting tested, man. I just can't do it. All right, we've started the first medium clue. Let's get lucky. Okay, that's the first casket. Beginner clue solved. Charlie, I don't have time for you to not be my chunk. Thank you. No, oh, I'll drop the beginner clue. Shit, it, it just... Okay, there we go. I did the beginner clue first. That's good to know. Casket? <gasps> we got a medium clue casket. Oh my god. That's so sick. A three-stepper. Dude, that's that's already temporal unlocked. Madness. Holy crap, that's so nice. 
Now, the biggest problem is I got another goddamn medium clue that I got to juggle along now. This is four clue coins and this is one clue coin. So we already have 50, which is exactly what we need for temporals. Every other clue coin right now is pure bonus. And if we get a, a unique item from any of these, that's another clue coin added to that. So amazing. There is the easy clue casket. Look at that. <laughs> that's so sick. I'm going to just try and do all the clues I still got on the ground. I think almost all of them were the least amount of steps except for the beginner. That's crazy. I still have too many on the floor, though. I'm going to try and get a second medium, uh, a second be beginner and a second easy. Oh, my God. There's another medium, uh, another beginner clue casket. So we still have two beginner clues. So there's a chance we get three beginner clues. This is going to be one of the craziest openings we've done so far. Didn't even waste that many law runes considering how many uh, clues we had. We're down to the last three. Oh, no, don't kill it. I'm telegrabbing, man. Screw it. I don't want to waste any more time with these clues. <laughs> Could it be another easy clue casket? Oh, no, I don't think so. I don't think I have a rug terrain. Nah, that's Kingstown. Unfortunately, the e wait, actually, I still got one more easy. Never mind. It's not done yet. There still could be an easy casket. Oh, I feel so good not to juggle again. That was a rough 30 minutes for my brain. <laughs> Everything is now under control. We have a one-step beginner and a one-step easy. With a little bit of luck, we can get one more clue from one of those. All right, you guys ready? Oh, no, it's an easy clue. It's a back-to-back. -back. Oh, my God. There is a chance we can actually get this easy clue done, too. That's crazy. Let's teleport the fishing trawler. Come on. Come on, baby. Be the casket. It's not... Oh, that's such pain. No, three steps. And then there it's that is where it ends. Unfortunately, man, it's the maximum amount of steps. It is what it is. Let's see if Charlie brings us a little bit more luck or not. Let's get a leather body made and see if a two step beginner is going to ease our pain. Charlie, don't run into. Oh, why are you doing that? Now I got to wait for you again. Oh, there he is. No, he's no, yeah, maybe you know. Not... Yeah, there he is. Ah, the beginner clue casket is there. So this is a guaranteed two, five, nine clue coins. Let's open them in the next episode. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm so happy we could actually do it. We're grinding it out. Let's see. Beginner clue. Anything spicy from these 153 times of disappointment. Let's go for the easy clues. This will put us to 50. It gives us law runes and a new page. So that is three clue coins from there. And I'm really happy with that clue. The law runes are already fantastic. And then the big one, the medium clue for four clue coins, which will put us to 55. Oh my God, that is a six clue coin casket and a best in slot and a holy blessing amulet of power bro with the holy dude that's mega good and with that i can easily get my way over the temporos the unlocks will happen next episode and i don't think you guys are ready for how many permits i'm planning on getting we've got 57 clue coins we overshot it by seven and of course i want to give a big shout out to a couple people here at the end of the video first off the people on stream being True D, Freyitsu, and Sir Fluby. So far, we've got one channel member, Hazmat83. Thank you so much for the support, dude. I'm pretty sure you're also subbed on Twitch, so <laughs> you don't have to do it on both. If you guys want to become a channel member, there are a couple of benefits. Make sure you read them. More of these will be added over time. Just click the join button if you want to support the channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be about Crack the Clue, but channel members already knew that. Man, I am so ready. Here I am, seven clue coins, walking towards a new chunk. Oh, slow down there, buddy. How did you get full angler? What is this new chunk? How do you only have seven clue coins? The last episode you had 57. Well, it's pretty straightforward. I had to get 35 fishing for Temporos, the new chunk. I got 30 fishing, and then I figured I might as well get these last five levels at fishing trawler to get the angler outfit. This is how that went. First fishing trawler of this little grind. Let's see if we can get lucky on the second ever. Oh my god, I actually got the legs. There's the level for Temporos. Unfortunately, we are 26 fishing trawlers into it, and we only have one piece still, so... There we finally go. The next piece... Oh, pick it up, you moron. Oh no, did I ruin it? Oh no! No way I did that. Tell me I can collect this. Oh, they're here, they're here. 
Oh my god, it got dropped. Oh, Jesus. It almost despawned because I was panicking that much. There is the last piece we needed. We can go straight to Temporos now. Let's go. We did 40 here. I think I did, I did about 10 on mobile. So that is 4 and 50. That is basically exactly drop rate. That is so nice. It's time to unlock what we were planning to unlock. Let us go to my world map, unlock the ruins of Anka, the boat, and the Temporos Cove, which will put us all the way back to only seven clue coins. And let's check out our new chunk. A new chunk. And I've been saving up for this chunk for a long time. The only reason why I really want to unlock it is because I'm kind of tired of just doing clue scrolls to unlock more clue scrolls. I kind of want to get some progress on the account. And this is one of the bosses I've never really done or grinded out. And you know what? I kind of want to pet on the account. Now that is a bit of a stretch. I know the Thome of Water or the Spirit Angler are great upgrades for the account too. But my god. Let's get on the boat and let's get grinded. I don't know how many permits I'm going for as of this moment. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's just enjoy some different content for a moment. <laughs> Here comes the first fishing level of many on this Temporal's grind. 39 fishing. Yeah, did a cheeky three down. I don't think this is the meta or whatever, but 6,000 points should be about seven or eight permits or something. Yeah, seven permits, first game done, and a hard combat task completed. Damn, that's nice. There's 40 fishing. Hey, I've got a combat achievement. We could actually also do all the combat achievements here. All right, so if I do this, we should have the easy combat task fire in the hole completed. Hey, Master of Buckets, another combat achievement done. I just got four permits. That is just embarrassing. On a game where I said I was going to focus. Also, five Temporos, Casey. Hey, there is the ten Temporos. And that means there's only solo combat achievements left to go. The Lone Angler. Wait, what is that? Huh? Which combat achievements is that, the Lone Angler? Without getting hit by any fires? I got hit by a fire. <laughs> what? All right, fair enough, got it. 50 fishing on the account that cannot use a bank and can only progress by clue scrolls and chunks. Hey, 47 construction, the first construction level from Temporos. Got a new record, but just about did not hit the 10 permits for the hard combat task. I just freestyled it there. If I cooked this fish, I could have probably gotten it. Oh, I'm sorry, Seagull. <laughs> not on purpose. 20 Temporos, Casey. Oh my God, I should have doused one more. It's so... Yes! I did it! Oh my god. Nice! Alright. Hard combat task done. Oh, here comes the first fishing level. Or not the first, but... <laughs> level 60 fishing. I don't know why I said first. The first in a while. Kill number 100 of Temporos is in with five reward permits. We're getting really close to now finally opening the Temporos pool. Is that... Wait, I, can't do, I don't open the pool. Fish in the pool, open the caskets, get the clues. You know what I mean? And there is the very last game. 501 total permits. Let's get our ass over to the pool. And let's see if we can either get the dragon harpoon, the tome of water, or the pet. All the other stuff I'll probably drop, but across cross that bridge when we get there. We do have to take a uh, look at the old um, collection log stuff because the clue coins are going to automatically update. So I'm going to turn it off real quick. So automatically update. Let me turn that off. After about 15 minutes of looting, we ended up with the fish barrel, the tackle box, and just about enough spirit flakes to make the spirit angler outfit. This recording was taken straight from the stream because somehow I didn't record the <laughs> most important thing of this grind. But now might be a good time to tell you that we are getting very close to 50,000 subscribers, so if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, we're on a race to 50,000, so if you enjoy the videos, subscribing would help out massively. I have some brainstorming to do. Um, first things first is, how do I get the spirit angler? Do I just do this? No. Gita, here she is, that's the one. I would like to get the outfit, yes please. Alright, so we are gonna get a couple collection log items, that's pretty dope. 
There it is. Your boy's looking suave, dude. I really love this outfit, actually. Even though the angler hat looks very dope, the rest is really cool, too. So we can store this into POH, so that's really nice. So let's do that and then figure out what, what the hell we're gonna do with all this stuff in the looting bag and all that. I'll put these back in there, these in there, and these in there, and uh, I'm gonna think, which sucks, because I'm really bad at that. So I think what we're gonna do is... Put the soaked pages in the looting bag. We're going to put the oak planks in the looting bag, and then I'm going to use all the planks I've got uh, with the nails. Then I can drop the nails when we've used all the planks and got some construction XP, and then we'll start cooking, I think. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, man, it's always so scary. Oh, look at all that stuff on the ground. I'm so glad people can't pick up your stuff anymore, imagine. <laughs> And I'll feel so naked, man. My neck beard is exposed. Jesus, look at that stack. It goes into the into the sky, man. There is the armor case. And now we can put all the stuff in there. One, two, three, four. There it goes. And close that bad boy again. And we'll be dipping out of here now. Time to use up all these planks. A 50 construction. That's absolutely huge. Build more rooms. But more importantly, we can build the portal chamber right now. That is going to come in so handy in the future. Also, the last level we're probably going to get here. Here we go. The last batch of planks. And the nails were actually just about enough. So I'm really, really glad we did this. 20.2k construction XP from those planks. And I've not even touched the oak planks. So the moment of truth is happening right now. Let's open the caskets. If we can do one clue from these 33 caskets, I'll be happy. Let's start opening the caskets. Drop. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of jewelry too. I don't think I can do much with that. Um, they're teleportation jewelry. A tooth half of a key, oh no. Oh God, this is not looking too hot. We got an easy. And it is possible? Um, you know, that's so, that spot is only 10 clue coins. Hmm. I'm actually hesitant on opening that spot next because I've got seven clue coins right now. It's only three, so I'm going to keep that easy for now. That's a lot of opals. Oh my god. If we can get that many jades, that'd be insane. Junk. <gasps> New best in slot. New best in slot acquired. That's a rune full helm. That means we can get rid of the rune med helm we got in here. That's pretty huge. Another rune full helm. That's a big elk. I'm actually going to use... I'm actually going to elk one. Still got a bunch of jewelry. Another two rune full helms, by the way. Elk into another elk. I'd like to get a rune chain buddy or something. I think that's possible. Diamond necklace. I think I can really use gold bars. I'll probably bag that. I'll probably bag those. A medium clue? Not doable medium clue. We could have expected that. Oh god, another tooth half. And then the last casket is gonna be sapphire rings. That's less good than I expected it to be. Um... I think I'm gonna just tag this easy clue along. We're gonna try and get three clue coins and quickly unlock that Southern Varrock chunk. It's not amazing, but it'll save me time because Charlie usually wanders in here. It's another crop circle I can use. It will not unlock the canoe though, but it will unlock this easy clue step. And I'm trying to unlock as many easy clue steps as I can again. So um, three clue coins shouldn't take that long. 630K on this account, actually pretty crazy. All right, I'm a bit annoyed because this beginner clue was two steps and then I couldn't do the third step so I'm just gonna open these two real quick can I please get a unique or something all right no we'll have to get one more all right we finally got the one beginner clue step or casket that we were looking for let's get something no all right let's instantly spend those 10 clue coins and forget that this ever happened and let's go check out our new chunk what is really nice right now is if I get a Charlie the Tramp clue step where I need to get an iron ore or an iron bar, I can just use... No, I can't use this mine. Never mind. I'm just joking. <laughs> I knew that. I knew the mine wasn't in this chunk. However, I can kill dark wizards right now for beginner clues and law runes, which is pretty nice. I've got another crop circle here, which is also pretty nice. There is an easy clue in this chunk, which I'm going to do right now. And I believe I can also complete the Shield of Arav quest right now. So I'll probably try that out next episode. Now let's hope this easy clue is actually a three-stepper or a back-to-back, -back, or I'm going to be really sad and I unlock this chunk for no reason. Varrock Library, that is doable. Oh my god, that's lucky. Yes, okay, we got a big, we got an easy, it was worth it, it was worth it. I don't have a green rope top, I'm an idiot, this doesn't work. Oh no, dude, it wasn't worth it. Out of your easy clue scroll, I don't want to see you ever again. Let's go to Agility. Agility. A skill I've been struggling with for the past couple episodes. I currently only have Alcarid available. With the Alcarid rooftop requiring 20 agility, there is no way I can make this work. Drainer is too expensive, and we're sure in hell not gonna make it to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. But what if I told you there is this tiny thing that could help us out, and you can take that literally. 
There are toy mice in the game. Made on a clockworker's bench four in the player-owned house, you can make and chase up to five of these. Whenever you pick them up, they give three agility XP. This is gonna be a terribly tedious grind. Let me show you how it works. Now we have all the resources we need. We're gonna go to build mode. <laughs> I'm getting a little giddy thinking about this idea because it's crazy, man. I need to upgrade the clockmaker's bench to a level four and I should have all the resources. I forgot to unnote my oak planks. We upgrade the clockmaker's bench to level four. Clockwork toy. We make the mouse. <laughs> all right, and now we've got our agility training method on the account. This is huge. Now we gotta find a spot to use it though. Let's try this out first. So we wind it up, we release it, we pick it up. Three agility XP. And so the grind <laughs> begins. All right, winding up, releasing, picking up. As long as that woman is gonna be blocking the mouse, that'd be great. Three agility XP again, wind it up, baby. I think this is not a bad spot. Let's see how this goes. I'm happy I finally found an agility training method. Release them all. Yeah, this is way better. This is actually a good spot now. Holy, that was fast. Yeah, see, that was like almost half a level in one go. Look at this, they all have their own tile. This is so nice. 10 agility. We're halfway. If only it worked like that on RuneScape. Almost 1,000 XP obtained just doing this method. That means I've picked up more than 300 mice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to hit 20 agility, and we're about to put an end to the mouse chasing activities of Clue Chunk Boy. The last couple of mice, there it is. 20 agility, we can now move on to the Alcarid rooftop. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that entire rooftop is in our chunk. <laughs> Let's find out. This is a very moment of truth moment right now. I've got a bunch of toy mice still on me in case we, that is the, our only agility training method. It really could be, but it's gonna feel nice to have some agility on the account. That's for sure. Cause I run out of run very quickly. All right. I think hopefully everything in this entire place is within my chunk. Oh man. All right. The first couple are already. And I think it just goes around like this. So I think we're safe guys. I think we're actually going to be able to train agility normally normally on the clue chunk UIM. Now we can't do the Varrock agility course, so this will be our main agility course for a very long time until probably the Faldor course if I unlock that at 50. I kind of want to train up until 40 here and then we're going to be unlocking our very last chunk I want to unlock this episode. Lots of progress, but there's still one more thing I want to do. So you know what? I'll go for 30 here and then we'll go get these 10 more clue coins for this last chunk I want to get. And there is the first lap completed. Let's drop the toy mice. They've served us very nicely, but we don't need them anymore ever again. Let's train some agility properly. While going for these agility levels, I'm also gonna do a farm run. Every time this is fully grown, I might as well rake it. We're 10 farming now. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with the farming, but we're gonna need it at some point. So why not do a couple rake runs? At 15, I can actually grow oaks at Varric Palace, so could go for acorns at that point. If anyone has any idea what I could do with farming, then please leave it in the comments. There's 30 agility, so that means I'm gonna quickly go to the Ankus, get some more law runes, and then it's time for 10 more clue coins. Hey, there's an easy clue to ask for. Uh, first house on the left when entering Varog. That's the chunk I just unlocked. I'm telling you guys, and you can say what you want. Positive affirmation, uh, syndrome, whatever the hell. Every single time I unlock a chunk, one of the next clue steps is in that chunk. It's happened so consistently. All right, I still got a couple of clues on the floor. Got a little mid clue session uh, dopamine by opening these two beginner clues. I want to know how many uniques I've got now because I haven't looked at this log in a while. Six out of 156 with three dupes. I think it's time for a new one, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. That's one clue coin. And there's a second one. All right, just as beginner clues go. Hey, casket again. Another two beginner clue opening. Let's see if we get anything special this time. That is a pretty big clue. I'm Quite, quite mad that that isn't anything. And uh, your mage starter pack. All right, this could be the 10 clue coins if I get a double unique on the easy casket or maybe just one unique on the beginner and one unique on the easy and then we're there. This is two clue coins. This is also two, two clue coins. So we'll definitely be at eight. So two uniques is all we need to unlock the next chunk. That is nothing and that is also nothing. But of course, the easy clue is going to give us maximum profit. Hey, we did get one, but that puts us one shy of the 10 we need. One more clue. 
I, th I think I'm slowly starting to realize that I'm gonna have to focus on one gold book because this is going to completely clutter my entire looting bag and I only need one for a master clue. I don't know why I'm collecting all of them. I've only got one. Sa I'm gonna drop this Saradomen page actually because I'm never gonna use the book, so... We have unlocked our next chunk. All we just have to do is complete this clue and make sure we don't run out of law runes while we do it. Come on, please be the casket. Please be the casket. It is not, but no, not to worry. We do have the clue we needed. We have zero law runes left. Zero law runes left. So the only way we can now get to Varrock is by opening this clue. Oh my God. It's two clue coins. Frog, frog slippers. Let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is unlock this chunk, which is 10 clue coins, which gives us a beautiful way from Lumbridge to Varrock without using any law runes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the frog slippers though, but they look pretty cool. 70 collection log slots now. The only thing I gotta do now, because I don't have any law runes, is uh, wait for my 13 minute timer to run out. I guess I'll just go and strike some Ankus while I'm waiting, maybe get an extra law rune or two. Oh my god, we juggled all the clues outside. These are 15 clue scrolls. And you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, it all started with one plan. I wanted to unlock Polovnich, a 50 clue coin map chunk. Within the borders of Polovnich, I'll be able to solve my law rune problem. Because after completing the feud quest, I can complete the Rogue's Trader mini quest and actually buy law runes from the Ali Morrisane shop. This would be absolutely huge for the account. But as you can see, things got out of hand quick. All right, it is finally time to go to our new chunk, man. I'm super excited. This is also chunk unlock number 20. We have 20 chunks in total now. Well, chunk unlock number 19, including the Lumbridge spawn chunk. So that's really exciting. The newest chunk also unlocked us an e two easy clue steps, a beginner clue step, and a medium clue step, or something like that. It'll be on the screen. Let's go there and not use any law runes to get the Farrock right now, which is crazy cool. Hey, we already got law runes. The potential of getting beginner clues and law runes is kind of insane. I'm very glad I'm doing these dark wizards. A little bit too late because I've had this chunk for a couple days now, but better late than never. There's a beginner clue. It is actually doable too. I think we might have found the new meta. However, I do want to focus more on easy clues. Yes! Oh my god, that's the new clue! Uh, the new step we could do. That feels really good. Again, chunks paying themselves back. I've got a spade on me even. Let's go. I've got a beginner clue that I want to open because I want to go to Puro Puro and I need some inventory space. So here we go. No back to back, unfortunately, but another clue coin. Hey, easy clue. Um, The first house on the left one entering again? This is like the third time I've gotten that clue. <laughs> again, the chunk is paying itself back. It keeps happening. Easy clue casket. Oh, another collection log item. The freaking black wizard hat, dude. This kind of looks better than the golden headband, but uh, I can't store the golden headband, so I'll have to put the wizard hat in the POH right now. And luckily, I'm right here. We stacked up another three easy clue caskets in our race to pull of an each, which is 50 clue coins. What do we get? Nothing. Another Saradomen page. I'm pretty sure I just dropped the Saradomen page. Wait, I got two Saradomen pages in one? I got one of them once I dropped back. <laughs> All right. And then the last one is not a collection log item. Uh, what am I going to do? I was going to go to Puro Puro. Um, I think I'm fine on the inventory slots. You know what? I'm going to go to Puro Puro right now. But before I do that, I'm going to open these five beginner clue caskets so we have a little bit more inventory space, at least one. So here we go. That's a clue coin. That's another clue coin. I'd like upload. Uh, I like. What, why do I say uploading? I like opening these beginner clues in batches because they're so uninteresting if I do them one by one. But there's another five clue coins. That's good enough. I just got an easy and a beginner from Puro Puro very quickly. Actually, we are zooming through these clue coins. I'm gonna get pull of each in no time. Let's open a beginner first and not get excited. But then that was our 170th beginner clue. That's kind of big. Do we get a unique from the easy? 13k? Jesus, I'm balling, bro. 20 total clue coins now, 30 more to go. Unfortunately, we just had to drop a three-step easy clue, but it is what it is. We do, however, have a beginner clue and two easy clue caskets that we're going to open right now. This is trash, but that is normal. Did we finally get another unique? Hey, 
the Lunar Isle teleports for an extra clue coin. Absolutely fantastic. We can't use it though. So I do have a Master Scroll Block in my looting bag. I don't know if I fill it, whether it's going to lose its untradeable status though. So I'm going to have to look that up. Second one is a Black Axe, which is really good because I need that for a stash unit. Matter of fact, I'll actually build that stash unit right now. Oh no, this is a doable easy clue. That's an oh no. Oh no, we got another doable easy clue. Now we gotta stay here. <laughs> that is doable. That is the fastest I've ever been able to complete an easy clue. That being said, it's only three steps at the no way. Okay, this one is not... Dude, uh, that is the, a record amount of easy clues that I've gotten. That is six easy clues within, I think, 20 gourmets, if even 20. All right, here is going to be the easy clue casket from the most rapid easy clues I've ever gotten. Let's see if we can get a clue coin or two. Or three! Saradomen... Dude, that mean... I've been dropping these Saradomen pages because I only had one and because I... Oh, wait, there's a double? Dude, there was a double collection log. Holy crap, there was a four coin clue. I've been dropping all of these... Um, Sarah Doman pages, and now it's actually the one that I've got three of. That's so typical, man. Unreal. I made it a lot more difficult on myself than it should have been, but there we go. The Bryophita is dead. And we got a rune chain buddy, which is a new best in slot. Let's go. And is it completable beginner glue? Oh, it is. That is kind of dope, dude. The rune chain buddy. I don't know when we're going to need that, but it's definitely going into the looting bag. I've got one more spot. We've got a rune full helm and a rune chain buddy right now. I can get rid of the Adam and plate. That's pretty sick. Hey, we did end up getting a beginner clue casket from that Obor kill. Um, Bryophita kill, so let's open it. Dude, it is a good day today. The Monk's Rope Top T for another extra coin with a unique. We're looking good on the beginners right now. We have kind of evened out. Eight and 173, baby. That's full Monk's Rope. Done. Dude, we're at 17 left until the next chunk already. So that means we have a stormal prayer outfit right now. Not that we will probably need it because the chance of me dropping these or getting rid of these is basically zero. Maybe if I ever wipe or something and I lose these two, I will always have prayer gear in the POH now. So that's amazing. We still have that black axe in the inventory, but luckily we actually got the clue that you need the stash unit for. So while catching other implings for more clue coins, we also got to go for those earth implings for a 1 in 100 chance of getting a ruby to make that ruby ring. And then things got kind of out of hand. Guys, we've got an outrageous amount of easy clues on the ground right now. We've got five doable easies on the ground. This is stupid. All I want is one completable medium, man. Hey, a doable beginner. That means we have now 3, 5, 8, 10, 13. Yep, we've tied our record now. And we still need one doable medium clue, so we are going to break our 13 clue juggling record today. <laughs> I'm sorry I let it go this out of hand. I went through two entire jar generators, that means. Going for one medium clue step. All right, now we're at our record, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 14th clue that I've got on the floor right now. And now I can officially not catch any gourmet or yum, young imps anymore, or I'll make another stack, which will be the seventh. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I don't want to click those. <laughs> it's in my chunk, but I can't get the purple gloves, man. Jar generator number four has been picked up. We are getting the short end of the stick today, man. I've been here for three hours, as shown by the bottom right, for one medium clue step. This is pain. <gasps> Law runes! Okay, that kind of cheered me up. New motivation found, ladies and gentlemen. I really reacted to that like I just got a puppy for my birthday. 64 Hunter. We've now been here long enough to get an entire Hunter level. Still looking for one medium clue. Oh? Dude, that's the same step. I just got a back-to-back -back step. How does that make any sense? Oh! Why am I... Dude, how many times have I gotten this step? Like, legit. I, this is unreal. Modash, get off of the joysticks, mate, and give me a proper one. This is the fourth time. Almost in a row. Oh, another medium. Please, this is the one. I feel it. Oh, you guys feel that? That medium is emitting energy. Dude, I want to I wanna unlock that chunk right now. How much is that chunk? It's 10. It's 10 clue coins. Oh! I don't know, man. It unlocks three medium clue steps and a hard clue step. It is time. The Arty Monastery is ours. Back to 23 clue coins, though, which sets us back a little bit for Paul of Niche. But we're going to make up for it because we're going to be completing this medium clue, baby. We have beaten our record by two clue scrolls. There is currently 15 clues on the ground. Our previous record was 13, and it is getting a little bit ridic ridiculous. I've done this to myself, and I don't regret any of it oh my god we actually did it 
We juggled all the clues outside. And now it is time for good old organizing. Which ones do I do at the same time so I don't waste too many law runes? I luckily did get a couple of law rune drops from the Essence Simplings, so we do have 32. But those go through very, very, very quickly, so let's get an efficient thing going here. Alright, so I can already do this Charlie the Tramp step. So this will now either be a casket or a third step. It's a casket. That's the first one out of hopefully a good amount. One less clue to juggle already. 12 or 13 left on the ground. We'll go to Horvik here to complete easy clue. Uh, could be three stepper. Yes, feels good. There is the second clue scroll of the juggle. We still got plenty on the floor right there. <sighs> All right, guys, it's a little, a little more calm now. We got four stacks instead of uh, six now. Let's see if this is not a back to back step. We are absolutely done juggling. And then it's time to see whether or not we can complete this medium and the chunk unlock was actually worth it. Let's see. Is it back to back? It, it, ooh, that's actually close to our new chunk unlock. I think this chunk is 20 coins or something like that. So eventually we'll get in there. Not now, though. I'll drop this easy and let's go see if the monastery was worth it. If this is an absolute wipe, I'm going to be so pissed. I'll put tile indicators on just so you guys can actually see that you can diagonally cross chunks and that I won't be in any other chunk. Look at that. We're in our new chunk right now, and you can cross diagonally without touching anything else. I gotta be really watch out here, though. New music track. All right. <sighs> Come on, please. The third medium clue completion or the wipe. Have we been in Bureau Bureau for no reason? Oh my god, yes! Woo! Third medium clue casket, baby! That is so stupidly lucky. The chunk was worth it. Oh my god. All right, let's do these other two and then uh, get opening. And there is the very last clue. That means we're going to be opening right now. And I can't be more excited, man, especially about this medium beauty. <sighs> the clue coins are going to go up automatically. Can we get another beginner clue unique? Chances are pretty slim, right? That's another fire staff. And that is already the beginner clues. Just three clue coins right there. All right. Next up, the easy clues. Oh my god, that is a double collection log! That's so crazy, Casket! Who says you gotta open these on Entrana to get the pages, man? You really don't need to open them on Entrana. Just open them in Varrock Square, man. The next one? Ooh, that one's terrible. That, is, that made up for the previous one. But here we go. The medium clue. What are we gonna get? Four clue coins, that's for sure. But did we get anything else? Oh, the gnomish fire lighters. That is an extra clue coin. Apart from that, not really any upgrades, but I am happy with that. 37 clue coins, only 13 more to go until the next chunk. Completed the monk's friend's quest because I can't pass up on eight law runes. Give me those. All right, here we go. I forgot to make the stash unit, but we did get a two-step casket. That is so sick. And the lumber yard teleports. Oh, I already built it. So I actually wasted two law runes to get these planks for no reason. Let's get these lost 10 clue coins for the next chunk. Got the gourmet impling on the timer for easy clues. Got the young impling on the timer for easy and beginner clues. We already got a bunch on the floor. This is like the most efficient way for me to get clue scrolls and actually grind clue coins like crazy. Boom, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Nine clue coins in the inventory. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to be banking on one unique from these, and that will be enough for the next chunk. All right, lots of beginners here. Unfortunately, I got really lucky somehow with beginner clues and barely got any easies from the goblins or minotaurs or Puro Puro what I did. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, a double water rune drop to start, I see. The other one. Oh, that's a unique roll on that cabbage. That's unfortunate. Are we going to get another unique from beginners or is it just going to be painfully boring? Ah, oh, it is really just going to be that, huh? This easy clue is going to have to take it home. Vera Garden for good luck next to the farming patch. Hey, that's good enough. Maybe 50 on the dot. 50 clue coins. Let's instantly, without waiting for a second, unlock Paul of Nietzsche. And then we have something very important to do. How are we going to get there? Let's go to the estate agent and ask a relocation of the house. Paul of Nietzsche, my good sir. That is how we're going to travel to the Paul of Nietzsche chunk. But first, before we do that, we have to redo the looting bag, unfortunately. I gotta get my death runes. 
All right, so now that I've died, I'm actually going to be dropping the pages that I'm not going to be uh, using. So the Bandos and the Zemi can go. Only Ancient and Armadil I'm keeping. Oh yeah, I can also finally elk the Rune Medhelm. I still haven't cooked the raw food. I do apologize. I haven't had found time to just AFK much on the account yet, but we'll get to it eventually. Elk in the Medhelm. Uh, Adam and Plague Buddy also have, so I can also elk that now because I got the rune chain buddy. Very nice. The inventory looks disgusting, but it'll be fixed after the quest. Let's get the Paul of an H. 800 coins, 30 thieving, and leather gloves is all we need. Ladies and gentlemen, let's teleport to our house. And here we are in the chunk. Oh, we gotta, we gotta talk to Ali Mori saying to start the quest. God damn it. I should have done research on this quest and probably done it on an account that hadn't done it with the chunk plugin on, but I'm just jumping straight in hoping that I didn't w just waste 50 clue coins. Look at this, this guy is literally just hugging the chunk side right now. This looks weird from the back, doesn't it? I am so happy, it seems like this entire quest is within this chunk, man. <laughs> the last final boss, if you can even call it a boss. Here he is. The Addy Sim is an upgrade to the Adamant Sword, however, I don't know if it's significant enough to keep it. Because I'm constantly selling the sword to the Varrock shop and buying it back because it saves an inventory space. I don't know if I want to tag the Adamant Sim along, especially now that I'm going to start skilling. There is the feud quest completed, which got us 47 thieving. But now the most important part, let's get the Rogue Strader mini quest done and unlock this guy's rune store. The law rune brick wall will finally be broken. This literally changed everything. I got three more law runes, dude. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we've got a law rune shop. Holy shit. This is absolutely amazing. A hundred Laurens, man, every time. Let's buy all of them up. Look at this. That just makes me so incredibly happy. So does it instantly restock? Oh no, it does. doesn't, so I have to world up. I even got cosmic runes, I've got nature runes. I'll buy these nature runes now for these iron ores too. Holy, that is so nice. This was a fantastic idea, man, legit. Dude, I can even buy death runes. So I don't need to put those in my uh, looting bag anymore. Same with the cosmic runes, I can actually remove them from the looting bag too. This is kind of like end of season one kind of deal, dude. That's how important this is. Uh, one more world hop so I have enough nature runes and then uh, we're good to go. 517 law runes, bro. <laughs> what is this? Welcome to episode 14. The plan for the day is to first of all clean out all my inventory slots. I want to do all the cooking. I want to get all the crafting done make all the iron bars, etc. But first, I want to do these two clues that I've got in the inventory, just to clean it out and have the most inventory spots available to do the skilling. Also, I'm going to drop these marker grays. I'll get them back. Just right now, I don't really need them. If I go for them, I got to go all the way to graceful, so they'll be on the floor. I kind of hope that this is not the casket. Okay, nice. I just didn't want to have another clue left over. I want to get rid of all of them. Uh... <laughs> I can explain. Guys, I promise I can explain. Man, all these beginner clues are Charlie the Tramp. I kind of hate that I can do every single Charlie the Tramp now. <laughs> I'd like you to pay attention to my inventory for a second. I was going to do one easy clue and one beginner clue, and I've got four beginner clues in any... Yeah, all right, look, sometimes RuneScape has this thing that completely put you off trail. And we're going to get another collection log slot here, the beekeeper hat. It looks pretty good with the outfit, to be honest. And we're getting really close to 100 collection log slots. Is that a milestone? I feel like that's a milestone. Look, the problem is, oh, I just realized that I have to delete this glue coin that I just got from the beekeeper hat. Let me do that first. The problem is that I constantly can complete beginner clues and I'm stuck with a single easy clue. And I'm not just going to try and do a one step easy clue because that doesn't make sense because the minimum amount of steps is two. So I constantly have to look for a new easy clue. But in the process of doing that, I'll get new beginner clues. So that is how the skilling ride is continually getting postponed. <laughs> Oh, finally an easy clue that we can do, guys. And we can finally move on, right? Oh, it actually is. Let's go. Oh, we can clean out our inventory. Imagine that. And open the caskets, too. All right. Let's see if this is a casket or did I waste a perfectly fine easy clue? We did waste a perfectly fine easy clue, but not to matter because we have at least 10 clue coins stacked in the inventory right now. And I've never really opened any clues in Port Serum, so let's find a nice dock and open them. I found a nice big dock with a bunch of semen, so let's open these clues. Let's start up with the beginners. Oh, law runes is what I would be excited about if I couldn't just buy them right now. Uh, do we keep going? Yeah, I'll just, uh, 
I'll just drop these, man. I don't really care enough. Four more beginner clues with the nothing cabbage roll. Yes, dude! Oh my god! Wait, I don't know if I can store that, though. That might be really annoying. That is an extra collection log slot, though, so that's amazing. Dude, we are getting really high up there with the beginner clue. What? My client just crashed. Hello? There we go. 190 beginner clues, and we're 9 of the 16, so that just pushed us over the halfway mark. Problem is... I need a rune scimitar to store that. That is so annoying. I guess I'll just put it in the looting bag, though. It is tradable, right? Yeah, so no worries about that. Lost beginner clue. Oh, it's a dupe! Back to back, ladies and gentlemen. That was not a bad opening for beginner clues. And we have the easy clue. No! A dupe master scroll book, bro? Oh, that sucks. It would be Watson teleports, but the moment I fill a monster scroll book, I believe I can't store it in the looting bag anymore. So is that a drop? That's painful. Let's see if I can still store this amulet of defense T in the POH. I don't know if I stored it last time or if I dropped or alked it. Okay, no, I already have it. This one is not storable. Monster scroll book I cannot store. So I'm gonna have to alk the monster scroll book, which I know that hurts. That really hurts. Me too, guys. Me too. 11 clue coins from that little haul. So there's definitely an opportunity for us to already unlock the Camelot chunk. The thing is, uh, this is the only one I can get through. So this will definitely be the first unlock. So if we get an easy clue or a medium clue that is in that chunk, no doubt I will unlock it. But I like to have my clues on clue coins on me for just a little bit longer. All right. I've found the Port Cazard bank. I've got a lot of fish. All I got to do is use this on the bank, unnote them, and use them on this eternal fire right here. I will be back in a lot of hours. Let's get those cooking levels. Hey, we're finally done with the cooking, and now for the big reveal. What cooking level did we end up getting after using every single raw fish from Temporos? 67. That is really good. We're actually really, really, really close to 68, which we're eventually going to need for the recipe for disaster monkey madness ape toll dude. Problem being, it's probably going to take ages to complete monkey madness before we can get those chunks but let's get into the crafting now the golden bars we're gonna be making golden amulets because it's the highest tier of golden jewelry i can make i can't unfortunately make golden tiaras because those require guardians of the rift that would have been really cool those are 42 crafting i believe and really good crafting xp but it's gonna have to be golden amulets, and the second AFK grind has started. Here's a loss of the golden amulets, 43 to 45 crafting. Pretty close to 46. Lost up the iron ore. I think I'm gonna make knives. Uh, best way to do that is just go into Varrock and unnoting them at the bank, superheating them, and then smithing them at Horvik. So the last little bit of the skilling grind, if I could say that, is uh, these iron ores. And then the looting bag is looking ridiculously clean, even though these two still need to be in the POH. I'm excited. Hey, there is 40 smithing. We can now make gold ore, which is funny that I couldn't do that before because I've been making a ton of jewelry. But yeah, apparently I couldn't make gold bars. I feel like I got a lot, but I guess those were from Eclectic Implings. Yeah, it makes sense. It's weird that we only just got 40 smithing. Pretty nice milestone. 1,023 total level now already and still a good amount of iron ore to go. Dude, the last three iron ores. Here we go. It's nice to finally be done with this. I'm gonna probably just run around Varrock and check if I can buy some nice range armor so I can at least get a little bit more bonus. And then we're gonna go straight to the goblins, use up all the knives, get all the clues done that we're gonna be getting from these uh, goblins. And uh, then I have something very exciting planned, which includes unlocking two new chunks. Insert edit where I explain which chunks, Mr. Editing Trails. The Sears and Camelot chunks are super valuable. Not only are they crazy bank for my buck for 10 clue coins each, they also hold a good amount of clue scroll steps, but also a farming patch and access to the quest Elemental Workshop 1. So let's collect some more clue coins and get questing. We've arrived at the goblins. We have 3,030 knives and quite the fashionable outfit, I must say. Hopefully we can get up to 20 clue coins because that's exactly what we need for the Sears and Camelot chunk that we're looking for. Very low possibility that I'm going to be picking these knives up, by the way. <laughs> Littering in the Lumbridge goblin area. Here comes the first range level. Of, I want to say of many, but we've already used 400 knives, so it's probably not going to be of many. We'll definitely hit 45. I don't know if we're going to get further than that, though. Here's 44 range and total 1025. Yo, this is the one. Wait, this is an easy clue that from the chunk that we're about to unlock. So I'm actually going to keep this one. Maybe instantly unlock the chunk once we get enough easy clues to go and do it. 
I was so wrong with the range level. We're already 46 and I still got 1,600 iron knives. I don't think we're gonna quite reach 50, but we're gonna get close for sure. Okay, um, let me think here what we're gonna do. I'm confused. I'm just gonna go to the hairdresser real quick, Falador. Oh, wait. <laughs> I've been doing these clues, suddenly got 70 magic. It's surreal thinking that that was all obtained within the chunks. Like, this account sometimes surprises me with how many levels we've already got on it. You know what? I'm just gonna unlock Camelot right now, because I'm gonna be doing this easy clue. So, without further ado... Boom, boom! We're back on one clue coin, and Camelot Courtyard has been unlocked. And we're here in our new chunk. Very briefly, though. And get out. I'll be back, Sir K, one day. This is such a super casual seven clue juggle. It's kind of crazy. This is, like, not even impressive to me anymore. Wait, can I get this? Yo, that was a back-to-back -back easy clue. That's really sick. You have done it. Oh my god, that's a casket. Holy. Okay. I've still got a bunch of clues on the floor. Like, it doesn't stop. Um, I don't really know what to do with these. He's on the floor now. Preferably, I'd like one more easy clue. And we just got 48 range. That completely crept up on me. That being said, though, that is the last range level we're going to get because I only have 115 more iron knives. And then the big opening. Still really hoping for one more easy so I don't have to try and complete one with two steps. Because that's probably not going to go well. There we go. The last iron knife has been thrown. Let's complete these clue scrolls, see how many we end up with, and open the caskets. Open the closed chest. Is it a... Oh my god. Four easy clues, nine beginner clues. A perfect cleanup of all the juggled clues. This is beautiful. It's time to open. And I'm super excited to unlock a new chunk and then do all the quests. But first, it's time for dopamine. A guaranteed 17 clue coins if we don't get any uniques. This is gonna be huge. Here we go, let's start off with the beginner clues, which are probably not that hype. But then again, wait, before I open, sorry, I don't wanna milk too much. We need seven more uniques. We have 192, we're gonna hit exactly 200 beginner clues here, which is really exciting. Anything spicy? Not so far. An air staff, okay. A water staff, we've got all staffs apart from fire now. And the 200th is nothing. This is a clue item though, but I don't need it currently. I'll look into the rest, but before anything, it is time for the easy clues now. Collection log. Damn it, another coif. I don't know if I need that one. Uh, again, sorry for the milk. 15 uniques obtained and 63 caskets. We're due to some of the uniques, dude. Okay, here we go. Give me the first. What is that? Ah, there we go. The Highwayman Mask is kind of better fashion scape than the Golden Headband, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of decent. Look, dude, it looks like I'm cross-eyed. All right, the last easy clue, the 66th. Oof. What is... Is that a beginner clue or an easy clue? Anyway, we got 19 clue coins. Let's unlock the chunk we want to unlock, which is... Where is it? Boom. The Sears Village main chunk. Nine clue coins left, which is really not too bad. So let's go and uh, check out the chunk real quick. So now we've got a farming patch with allotments, which is really nice. Uh, we've also got a an estate agent here. I don't know if that's useful. We don't have the entire agility course. Actually, we do have the entire agility course. However, that would mean that I got to go do agility at Al Karid until 60, which is pain but maybe there have been crazier grinds i've done we have also unlocked the elemental workshop now and yew trees we already had spinning wheel i think apart from that it's not too interesting but that being said look at the amount of easy clues we've unlocked one easy clue and one medium clue from the camelot castle which is not crazy but i like the farming patch and it's a good way to get the catherby but three easy clues two mediums one hard one elite and one master for the main sears that is definitely worth it slowly but surely we are actually get into a 50% easy clue rate or easy clue completion rate. Right after this, I opened one more beginner clue accidentally, so we now have 10 clue coins. Let's actually get to the meat and potatoes of this episode and get questing. I need 32 quest points to enter the Champions Guild. This way, I can finally get Champion Scrolls. I've killed 70,000 goblins and am not able to get one, which frustrates me. It's also really interesting to do some quests on a chunk locked account. Within my chunks, I can currently do five more quests. The Shield of Arav, Imp Catcher, Clock Tower Quest, Demon Slayer Elemental Workshop. 
let's get into it. All right, we're gonna be here for a bit later because we're gonna be killing these imps for beads. But first up, we're doing clock tower quest, which should all be in the basement of this place over here. Brother Kojo, hit me up. And here is the first quest of the day completed. One quest point and 500 of the finest GP. You know what I should have done? I should have brought my adamant sword and killed some implings. But hey, we go to Varrock and we talk to... An age-old friend of the account, one we have talked to many times for Clue Scrolls, or at least the emote in their tent. But first, apparently we're gonna do a freaky forest around him event. And there's a collection log slot that we have to take the clue coin off. Let's start Demon Slayer. I only have one more teleport than the Necklace of Passage, so I do have to make a little detour to the hand members in a bit. There goes our lost charge of the Necklace of Passage. Uh, and now I'm gonna kill 25 wizards here to get the bones and then bring them upstairs. I think that's the, the main thing. Let's see if this guy's actually dropped clue scrolls. It'd be nice to be able to get a beginner clue from these, but no, they don't seem to drop them, unfortunately. Otherwise, it'd be a nice two in one. We did get law runes up <laughs> for his drop. I would have been really excited about that about a week ago. All right, guys, here we go. Key number two. The beautiful thing about doing Demon Slayer on a way too overleveled account is that one, the wizards won't attack you. And two, I'm probably one shotting the demon. Yep. <laughs> see you later, Delrith. And see you now. Three quest points. Nine quest points, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. All right, now that we're in Varrock anyway, we might as well start the Shield of Arav. I'm going to quickly go through the quest helper and see whether or not I need to take Phoenix Gang. So let's check that up. So the Black Arm Gang hideout is over here, so I cannot enter that. It definitely has to be Phoenix Gang, which is either this or that one. I'm not 100% sure, but Phoenix Gang it is. I just need to find a partner with full black armor and we're ready to go. Hello, sir. I can actually utilize this entire dungeon. I don't know if there's anything here. It's been since the very first time I played RuneScape that I was Phoenix Gang. I've always been Black Arm Gang for some weird reason, but it's a fun nostalgia trip to be down there again. So now I can get in here. I can kill thieves. Do these thieves cl drop clue scrolls? <laughs> uh, they actually do, and they drop easy clues too. One in 90 for beginner, one in 128 for easy. Not even that terrible of a drop right. Hey, there he is, my partner in crime. Tom looking like an absolute 2012 warrior right now, except for the spike manacles. What is this fit, Tom? Here we go, another quest point. Man, it's so sad that only the one quest point things I can seem to do. All right, what is next on the list? We could do elemental workshop or we could go and kill some implings. But before we do all of that, we gotta go and pickpocket some hand members for a jade so we can make a necklace of passage again. So let me do that first. Oh, there's already a jade. Let's see if I can make it. All right, that was quick. One Cosmikia Sarunus, thank you. Boom, and we've got a new Necklace of Passage. Let's get to Artie, or the Artie Monastery at least. Kill some imps, get all the beads. Hopefully that's not gonna take too long. Uh, and then get to the Wizard's Tower and complete the quest. We're also gonna get an Amulet of Accuracy, which is, I think I got an Amulet of Power in the Looting Bag, so it's not even gonna be close to our new best in slot, but a little bit of magic XP is always nice. Okay, to be honest, the quest rewards aren't great. It's just the quest point that we want. This should be the place with the most imps in the game, I think. So let's just tag him and run around. There's gonna be a lot of them over here, unfortunately, but they do wander inside of this chunk. Maybe I should world hop every once in a while when there's too many imps out of the chunk border. Like right now, they're gonna drag me out, dude. They are bound to ruin the account. I could lure them back into the chunk with fire strike. So that's kind of nice. Oh, wow, that is just rude. The thing is, I think it still will pull me in at times because there's just there's so many trees around. This is next level strats for Imp Catcher right now. Is this going to be my first bead? Yes, it is. Red bead. A mind talisman. Um, no, I don't think I have that chunk. I might have found a way, by the way, to train runecrafting, which we're probably going to test out in the next episode. Just a little heads up. Black bead obtained. You know what? I'm so rich in Lawrence. I'm actually just going to telegraph the fiendish ashes. That's how much of a baller I am. <laughs> you will get the jer- Oh my god. Ch I guess I'll keep dupes. Oh, never mind. We got a yellow bead. There is the Belgian flag. There it is. White bead. Oh my god. I almost called it, but it's a dupe. Yellow bead. Oh my god. We actually got a dupe Belgian flag now. 
Hey, there's the wide bead after 51 imps. Not terrible. One quest point and an amulet I'll never use. And that brings us to the very last quest, Elemental Workshop. Back to our chunk that we just unlocked. And look at us go into Sears Village. The first thing I actually checked out when I got members for my very first time on my 12th birthday was this place. And I spent the entire day cutting maples and fletching. It was a beautiful day. Boom. 5,000 crafting and smithing. A level of both. Very nice. How many quest points was that? Oh, it was only one, I assume. So now we are left with 10 clue coins, and I kind of want to use them. So next episode, we're unlocking another huge chunk. Today, I want to unlock Falador, the entire city. And I also want to get 260 marks of grace. The problem? I got to do this on the worst agility courses of the entire game. Welcome to the Clue Chunk UIM. Relocate to Pull of Niche. What I'm going to do right now is relocate myself back to Pull of Niche because I want to get a couple of thieving levels. I want to go out blackjacking and get like 60 thieving or something to see if pickpocketing hand members is going to be slightly better after that. Oh yeah, there was a farming level, by the way. I completely just dismissed that. But we have been doing a couple of rake runs while doing these quests. Then we go to the bar and we get a bunch of wines, which I think is the meta, right? Boom, jug of wines, good. And then we get to find which bandit we can actually pickpocket, which would be the bearded Polnivian bandit, which is somewhere up here. All right, so I just figured out that Thanks to my Twitch chat, uh, I'm going to be honest, I did not figure this out myself. But if you have a full inventory, it cancels out the pickpocket animation so you don't get stunned. So you can instantly... Okay, this is also a straight way to die. But as you can see, if your inventory is full, it cancels out the pickpocket animation kind of thing. So you'll never get stunned and you're way quicker. Just get him knocked down again. That makes sense. And there's 50 thieving already in a couple minutes. Very nice, but I'm going too hard to stop, man. I'll keep going. Probably till 60, maybe even higher. We'll see. You never know what's going to happen on the Clue Chunk UIM. Subscribe if you haven't already. And a small hour later, we're now 55 thieving, and we can actually blackjack the other bandits. That will give me slightly more XP. And 60 thieving. That's enough for today. 182k XP in an hour and a half. I'll surely come back here, but this should already speed up the hand members a little bit better. Okay, enough. Enough is enough. I've had it. Hand members seem to still not be very viable, so we'll come back when we have 80 thieving, I guess. <laughs> All right, the first stack of clues of many out of Pura Puro here. I'm gonna keep the gold bars again because I'm gonna have to train crafting eventually. And I'm happy to stay here in Pura Puro for a while again until 30 clue coins for Falador East, which is gonna be a massive chunk. Since we're doing Puro Puro, I was gonna stack easy clues, but it's gonna be nicer to open just for that inventory slot. So let's see if we get anything here. Is that a double? That is a double! Bro, that is four clue coins from one easy clue, and it's a good one too. That is beautiful. What a casket. Four in one clue. All right, um, what looks better? It is the Zamorak robe legs, isn't it? And that, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll put these two in the POH real quick and we'll go back into Puro Puro. What a beautiful casket. Hey, once again, Chunks paying themselves back. There's the easy clue from the Camelot Castle, which we've just unlocked. It's always beautiful to see that. I could open these two, see if I get another one. Oh my, it's actually doable too. <laughs> I've got five easy clues on me right now. So there's easy clue casket number one, and I still got three on the floor, so I'm just gonna give it a shot. This could be a total wipe. Uh, step number three, we're walking there right now. If this is not the casket, we've wasted the three more clue scrolls, but I was sure in hell not gonna juggle three clues into Puro Puro again, so I think I made the right decision, even if we don't get the casket. If we do, double easy opening would be beautiful. Oh! Oh, it is a total wipeout, dude. There goes the clue. A triple fail. All right, can we at least get a beginner clue casket? Okay, that's decent. Let's open that one first. Okay, let's drop the contents of that and let's open an easy. And that was somehow worse. We've got two more easy clues. So that's a guaranteed 21 clue coins. If we don't get a single unique, and we are still kind of dry for easy clue uniques. We only got 18 and 68, so I'm hopeful. Here we go. First one is already a blueberry for the 69th easy clue. That is a very nice. Can we get another one? Oh, no, 
white one too the double trouble and i think we might have found the new outfit ladies and gentlemen because the white beret works a lot better with this outfit no i can't there's no way i can upgrade my trophy room so i can't store the golden headband so i'll have to put the white and the blue beret in the poh what level is the upgrade though so the upgraded dress box is 62 really you guys might be wondering though why do i have three fire talismans in my inventory well i got these from earth implings they're a one in 10 and they're my way of training room crafting and i'll show you how right now we're now smelting silver ores into silver bars and then we're making those into tiaras and i feel like you can see where i'm trying to go from here with a fire talisman we can enter the mysterious ruins and you actually need 14 room crafting to make fire runes but making tiaras you don't need any runecrafting level, so I can actually trade my runecrafting this way. And now, my runecrafting is level 2. That being said, I don't think I'm going to be training my runecrafting actively like this, but every time I get a fire talisman, I'll keep it, and maybe eventually we can get a runecrafting. I don't know what I need runecrafting for. If anyone knows, leave it in the comments, but I can actually get base 2 stats now if I can ever train Herblore. Maybe it's cool to just quickly check out the amount of imps we've actually called on this account by now. So I've gone from 50 to 64, almost 65 hunter just by catching implings, and it's... Pretty, like, it's overall pretty samey in terms of KAC, or Implings caught, I guess. Around the 4.5k mark for basically every single one that is important. It's gonna go all tits up when I start getting a medium clue that I can do, guys. Legit Wait, did I lose an easy? <gasps> I lost an easy clue. I did lose an easy clue. Oh, that's the second time that's ever happened. I didn't flip the easy clue on top of the beginner. So we're back to two. I had three. Man... Milestone moment for the Clue Chunk account. I forgot to juggle the clue. Blocked and reported. Cheeky passive rune crafting level. I guess we're doing that now. <laughs> level three. And we have two beginner clues and two easy clues. If I get one unique, is it two? Wait, one, two, 25, 29. It's only one unique from the new chunk. This was incredibly quick. Three hours and a half for 20 clue coins. The account is actually making progress in terms of how fast we can complete clues. And with this next chunk, it's going to be even faster. Let's get started with the beginner clues as always. Oh no, it's a dupe. That's pain. Oh, and that isn't. That isn't! That is the full sandwich lady outfit, I think. Yes, it is. That's storable and now also reobtainable from the POH. Look at this, dude. Two uniques from two back-to-back -back beginner clues is kind of insane. Let's go into the Yeezys. And the dick side teleports counts, baby. That counts. 31 clue coins. Absolutely incredible. Uh, let me see if we can actually use this dick side teleport. See where it teleports us. So the dick side teleport teleports us right here in the 50 chunk, which I don't think I'm ever going to use. Maybe one day we'll go to Fossil Island, but that'll be very far into the account because the only reason I checked is because I thought we might have been able to skip the lumber yard to go to... Mauritania, but I don't think it's a useful teleport, so we're gonna have to drop it. Oh no, never mind. It's actually this chunk, which we can already unlock, so there's not really a point anyway. But let's do it first. Let's go over to Falador with the map. Yoink, and boom! Hey yo, we can actually walk. Oh no, there's no way to get out of here, right? Otherwise, it was a pretty cool walk. We can still not get from Barbarian Assault into Falador, I think. But there's the unlock. One clue coin left, and look at the insane amount of clues we can do here. Seven easy, one medium, two hard, one elite, one monster. That is absolutely worth it. Let's check it out. I think the next thing I'm going to do is train my agility to 50 so I can actually use the Falador agility course because we can also use the entirety of it now. Look, all this space bro this is crazy Falador party room also mahogany homes a couple of these houses are mahogany homes so i can actually do that now for well until i get a hosidious mahogany home step and the entirety of the dwarven mine we can buy ourselves a rune pickaxe now i think Unless it only sells an adamant. I think it sells a rune. We've unlocked Motherload Mine on the account even. I don't know if there's anything I can do with that for now, but that's crazy. I can unlock this Southern Farm 
and then I can go out of Falador like this. So there is a way to link these. That being said, though, um, I think that one is also quite expensive. Let's quickly check it out. It is also 50, so yeah. Food for thought. Just wanted to keep you guys updated that I am actually going through with this, and I am training agility until I have full graceful on the clue chunk boy, which means we are gonna have to go until 50 on the Alcarid rooftop course. We're now 40 already. I say already, but we've been here for a bit. And from 50 onwards, we go to the Faldor course and probably stay there for deep in the 60s until we have 260 marks of grace. On average, the Canifis rooftop, which you would do at 40 agility all the way until you get your full graceful, gives one mark of grace every 3.3 laps. The Faldor one, however, will give you one mark of grace every five laps, and I believe it's longer. So this is going to be the most struggly graceful I will ever get, <laughs> but it's all for the greater good. I have now officially done something that almost no one has done, and that is 500 laps on the Alcarid rooftop course. 6.6k more XP and we can finally go to the Falador one. Imagine doing 30 to 50 agility and only getting 43 marks of grace. This is 50 agility, and we can now go to the Falador rooftop. You don't know how happy I am with this, man. I've been here for over 12 hours, and now we can actually get marks of grace again, because the moment I hit 20 levels over leveled, so the moment I hit around 40, I started to get significantly less marks of grace, and it was such a pain. I mean, going from 30 to 50 with only 47 marks of grace is disgusting with 537 laps. <laughs> Let's get to Falador and actually get on a good rooftop. What is this? A Agility course even start. I never really use this one. I don't think I've ran this rooftop more than 20 times in my in my OSRS career. All I hope for is that I do not run out of run energy while doing this one, but this feels so good. I should reset this and check what my XP per hour is, because it's going to be so much better than 6k. And also, let's hope that my run replenishes. I know I can fail a lot more here, though. Dude, I'm getting triple the XP on this rooftop. I'm ready to go to 60, and then we can actually use the Sears rooftop course, which is just best in Like, right now, I am just glimmering. I'm so happy I'm off that agility, uh, that Alcarita rooftop. Gentlemen, and 0.9% ladies, it is with great pleasure that I can announce that we just got 60 agility, which means we can do the Sears Village Agility course. And if you could see the grin on my face right now, after doing 384 Falador rooftop laps and 154 marks of grace, the absolute pleasure I now have to go to the Sears Village Agility course is unmatched. I can now move on to one of the best agility courses in the game. Now, I am hopeful that all of this is in my chunk so let's do a quick lap and hope that that is actually the case this agility course is also way more afk than the fowler one i feel like there's a bunch more little things to click during the Fowler ones that take not that long. So this one is going to be way nicer to just not look at the screen and click every once in a while. But yeah, as you can see, the entire course is within the chunks I've unlocked. So I guess I'll see you guys when I have 260 marks of grace. 60 agility already. I wonder what level we're going to have in 106 more marks of grace. Yeah, this has been quite the grind. This is about like day three now. I can't really put an hour on it, unfortunately, but there's the first Marks of Grace on this rooftop course. It's a blessing to be able to switch, even though Faldor wasn't too bad. Oh, I just got a genie random when I was running this rooftop and got 65 agility, which is the level for magpie implings, which means we have a semi okay method to get hard clues now. I'm not going to do that for a while. Obviously, we're focusing on easy clues right now. And after that, I should focus on mediums. Just take it one at a time. But now that we have a I don't want to say a viable way because it's still a one in 50 for magpie implings to drop a hard clue. We do have a way of casually catching some magpie implings right now to get maybe our first hard clue. Who knows? I do put all my lamps and books on Hunter because it's one of the most important skills on this account to catch implings for clue scrolls and it goes really slow training Hunter just by catching implings so any help I can get is very much appreciated. We're on 172 marks of grace currently so lots more rooftops to run. So I went to Faldor because I kept failing this one it was kind of frustrating but I guess I'll go back now 500 rooftop laps for Faldor is definitely enough. 64 agility on the first rooftop back. Ladies and 99.9% .9 gentlemen, this is the final mark of grace for 260 marks. That means we can finally unlock Graceful. After being on these rooftops for, I want to say, a little bit, a little bit over a week, not really using the best rooftops, namely Alcarid and Falador, we did manage to get there. 
All that rests us to do is unlock Berthob. But did you think I was going to do that this episode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. After getting 260 marks of grace last episode, I do have to pick up my graceful. And that I will do in the birth hope chunk. It's 40 clue coins, but look at how many clue steps it unlocks. And if you take a good look, that chunk on the left of that one is looking kind of cheap. Welcome to the clue chunk UIM. We just got our first magpie in bling. One in 50 for a heart clue. Oh my god, a dragon dagger? I can't wear that though, right? I need a little city. Yeah, that's sad. That's a massive elk though. The first dragon equipment on the clue chunk UIM. Kind of wild. Unfortunately, Entrana is 50 clue coins, which is a bit crazy, but that's a massive elk. Dude, it feels wild to be able to catch magpie imps. Eight beginner clues and four easy clues to be opened right now. I was going to stack them all the way up to 40 clue coins, but you know, I can't help myself. The dopamine is off the charts. Plus with the extra clue coins per unique collection log slot, it's also not really possible to stack up all the way to 40. So just every session, I'm going to stack them and open them. So this is about what we get now every five hours, which is a lot better than when we used to do this account. We've done half Piro Piro, half goblins. So uh, let's start with the beginner clues. Are we going to get another unique? Maybe we should quickly check the collection log, because for me personally, it's been a while too. All of these slippers, except for the frog, little traily, the shoulder parrot, and two semi-ornament kits are what we need to complete the log. And from that point on, it's going to get uh, a lot less worth to start doing beginner clues. So eight total clue coins from those, but it's the easy clues that we're doing that are actually going to get us some unlocks. The easy clues... Oh god, 73 too, the 73rd. A powdered wig, dude. Also kind of fits the outfit, I'm not gonna lie. Where's the, uh, is it Beckon? No. Is it Angry? Yeah, that's the one. Special emote? Look at that. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. All right, we've got two more. 14 glue coins already. Oh, another one, the Black Beret. Ooh, this is fancy. Last one. That is not great. We got 18 clue coins in five hours. That's kind of insane. Let's keep going. We're almost halfway already. There might be a tiny chance that I can actually do this year's Christmas event on the clue chunk UIM, dude. Holy. Oh my God, if it's all in that portal, we're gonna be good. That would be insane. You must not be wearing anything in your back to enter the games. All right, there we go. Oh shit, wait. <laughs> it seems as though I don't have this chunk. Do I get a pass for a holiday event? All right, I'll, t I'll turn off the chunk locker for now. Know that I'm not doing, I'm, I'm not sure about this, guys. <laughs> Please don't judge me. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be uh, anywhere in the map that I'm not allowed to be. So let's assume it's per my rules in a dungeon in the chunk I already have, which is allowed. There we go. Look at that. The old school team wishes you happy holidays. This is huge for the account. <laughs> Goodbye, all festive stuff. One day I will pick you back up, but I'm glad I unlocked all of this stuff on this account and could do an actual Christmas event. That's dope. Merry Christmas. Subscribe. All right, back to the goal at hand, which is <laughs> getting basically 21 more clue coins. Seven beginners, six easies, which I think is more than the than what we uh, opened last time. And we should hopefully be able to get two uniques from this. And with two uniques comes the new chunk. So it's time to open. I've got another easy clue here that is actually in the new chunk in the game's room. It's already on one step, so we'll probably waste it. But uh, I'm ready to open. Birth hope, here we come. Here we go. We'll start with the beginners. Are we finally going to get another collection log in the beginners log? We're getting somewhat on drop rate for new one right it's been a while come on beginners are they ever gonna give me anything good again i'm assuming no man all right drop everything i know i could sell it in the shop but i don't really care about cash dude we're loaded romeo stop looking at me now the easies we need two uniques or we gotta go back into the uh into the goblins or something come on ouch ouch okay just one more. Three clues to do it. Dude, these are so bad. Yes, and it's a beautiful one too. That's the guaranteed new chunk. And another one, and that's a huge one. An ancient blessing. That's absolutely huge. Here we go. 
Berthope unlocked for 40 clue coins and a beekeeper random. Let me do that. I did actually also unlock slayers. That is kind of crazy to think about. How about we get our first slayer task right now? Let's go to Berthope. First off, check if this easy clue is actually uh, possible to do. Find ourselves a way to make games necklaces to get there consistently and get our first slayer task. With some luck, this could be casket or a back-to-back. -back. It's not casket and... No, I hate this step. I hate getting this step, man. It's right outside of my trunk borders. Anyway, let's discover the rest of the chunk. Actually pick up our graceful, get a slayer task. There's so much to do. Let's get into it. All right, let's see what... Actually, I think I've already gotten a task from Vanaka. I did already unlock slayer. Let's see what the task was, though. Oh, I just got a new task and it's wolves. I can do that in the stronghold of security so we can actually train slayer which is kind of wild. Guess we're going to get started with that passively. The plan now is now that we've got Berthope, right? We've got this one. We're just going to go to the Warriors Guild for 10 more clue coins. So nine more. And we've got a possibility of getting defenders, which is crazy. And then maybe we can start Slayer indeed. But let's pick up the Graceful first. It's time to get a bunch more collection log slots. And we're going to go over a hundred collection log slots now. Pick it up full Graceful. Full Graceful on the glue chunk. You, I am, baby. Now, the problem is, what am I going to do with my other stuff? Because I really can't bank the Zemrak and Ancient Rope Top and Bottom. So do I bag those and run around in Graceful and just drop the Hammer stuff? I mean, that's probably a given. I think Graceful is definitely going to be one of my uh, my main gear pieces now. So I think I'm going to be uh, storing the Beekeeper Boots and bagging the rest. I think that's the play. Having full Graceful of this account kind of do be wild, though, with the struggles of unlocking chunks and the way we had to get the Marks of Grace. But yeah, I think the Prayer Gear, you cannot put this into POH before you have a full blessed set uh, before you can take it out so I'm just gonna have to bag it so we're just gonna bag all of that and uh, get those nine lost clue coins before we enter the warriors guild and actually get a massive gear upgrade hey there we go casket all right here we go let's open we just need we just need three uniques what could go wrong okay that or that or well that we got we just got a full black armor set are you kidding me lost one a dupe ancient rope top oh that is pain that means we need to get actually two uniques would have been fine damn it all right two more i guess one more easy clue maybe all right we've done it we've got an easy clue and a beginner clue so again we're gonna probably have one clue coin spare there is the beginner clue we're at nine and then we're 11 <laughs> with the easy clue so let's unlock the next chunk which is a chunk we're going to need for a defender look at this boom the warriors guild has been unlocked boom there's two games necklaces so now we can consistently get to birth though i've got 20 trout if i can do the um what's it called death plateau quest there we go we can also get climbing boots so I kind of want to check out if that's possible. All right, we've made it this far already. We actually managed to one-shot the gamble with Harold to get the IOU. But now I think the worrying thing is, do I need the 20 bread and 20 trout to bring to Asaba, I think it is? Uh, I think this is the part where that happens. So let's hope we can get through this. Yes, he told me about Sherpas, so that might be good. Or Tenzing, I mean. Uh-oh, but can we squeeze through here is the question. I think we can. I think there is literally a pixel. Yes! Okay, so we can get there. Now let's see if he'll give me climbing boots. I think this is it. I think this is where we need to be in the quest to get climbing boots. New best in slot. I got him. I got him. I don't even have to bring him the uh, 10 bread and 10 trout. Oh, I can't wear them right now. Shit. Okay, so we're not done yet. Okay, let's see how far we have to take this. Do I have a range? I do have a range. So I can actually just do this. Flower. And then cook it on my own range, right? And then I'll fill my buckets back at my pump and drain. A UIM discovers the house. Okay, I only have to do two trips because I'll unnote the trout at the Warriors Guild Bank. Hello, Tenzing. I've got all your stuff. Hey, there we go. Do I not get climbing boots back, though? That is problematic. Oh, no! This is the part where I gotta run through the Death Plateau. No, am I not gonna be able to get climbing boots? No, bro. This is where my chunk ends, man. And over there is 50 clue coins. We'll have to come back one day, but it's gonna be a very far moment in the future before we can do that i thought there was maybe a chance we could get climbing boots but now we're gonna have to just 
Kill Cyclopses without climbing boots then. Unfortunate. All right, we're in the Warrior's Guild. The good thing is we can get our best in slot fo food at this store. And we can also get attack potions at uh, Lily here, I think. And strength, po strength potions. So this is kind of nice for when we're going to fight the Cyclopses. First off, now I got to buy full mithril armor, fight some reanimated armor and get some tokens. Uh-oh, this is not going to be ideal. I'm thinking of if there's any gear that I can get that uh, maybe I can upgrade my weapons or if I can kill anything. If anyone's got any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I might want to death pile and take uh, the chain body, the rune full helm, and the power out of my looting bag. Let's do it. My neck beard is exposed again, man. I hate this. Okay, so I'm putting these finally in the POH because those were in my looting bag for some reason. So let me do that. I'm also putting my full graceful in the POH for now. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use the rune chain body or the uh, ancient rope top. Now, if you're making steel animated armor, the helmet does appear and break after a while. So I've brought a bunch of helmets. It should go relatively fast with the steel guys. I feel like I've got enough Warriors Guild tokens. Um, before I try to do any gear upgrades or whatever, I'm gonna go and wear my prayer gear and we'll check out if it's actually viable to kill a couple of these Cyclopses or not. Let's bring a couple more attack and strength potions. We're going in. We actually wiki these guys and see if there's an upgrade. Oh, 56. That's quite all right. Oh my God. Actually viable. I'm not sure if the ones in the basement are doable, but these guys are killable. This was a pretty quick kill. This was about as quick as the steel armor. Guys, it is actually viable. We're going to get a defender on this account. All the way up to Rune. I see the vision. And we're hitting 13s. Huge. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, chill. I got you. Oh my God. Bronze Defender. Almost missed the quiz, uh, missed the Bronze Defender because of the Quiz Master. Okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick is uh, I just realized that I've got Vanaka as a Slayer Master, and we did unlock Terrell Skipping with this newest chunk. So what I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna com complete this Terrell task, uh, kill all the wolves and stuff that I need to do, and then try and get a Hill Giant task from Vanaka so I can get Slayer XP while killing these Cyclopses. I'm out of charges on the Skull Scepter, so I do need to kill some uh, Minotaurs too. We're gonna have a problem when Terrell gives us a Slayer tasks that we can't do in our chunks though cross that bridge when we get there and there's the first slayer level on the account 10 slayer absolutely huge first slayer task is done and now let's hope vanaka is going to be nice and actually just give me the hill giant task first try i'm also going to quickly bag this karambwan and these sharks because in the lifespan of this account i'm going to get a bunch of noted karambwans and sharks and eventually for endgame pvm i could build up a good stack so i'm gonna leave them in the looting bag for now i was going to use them against the next level cyclopses but i feel like for the uh if i keep stacking them i'm gonna have a bunch hill giants Cave crawlers. Okay, now we go back to Turiel and skip that. Oh no, you can't skip it! So I've already locked myself out of Slayer, is what you're saying. God damn it. Back to the Warriors Guild. Oh! Get the hell out, dude. Thank you for the Iron Defender. Second kill in. Was that spooned? We're on 92 KC, so we're around drop rate for both of them so far. It's 1 in 50 until Dragon, then it's 1 in 100. On that note, there's the next one. On exactly 200 KC. Hopefully we get spoon fit the next one because we went double the drop rate for that one. Oh, here we go. 70 defense. I feel like I've been training defense for so, so long. Many, 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 many goblins slain to get 70, 70, 70. And finally we can train strength again. I will not have to train defense for almost ever on this account again. Now for some max hits and slightly quicker Cyclops kills. That was good timing because I was just about to go out for more food and attack a strength bolts. So the Black Defender obtained 261. So we're still due to one Defender, but that's not too bad. There we go. Mithril Defender at 306. This is very, very acceptable. There we go. Adamant Defender with a 1,160 tokens left to go. Hey, there's the Rune Defender. We've got 860 tokens left to get the Dragon one. 391, that's not too bad. It's about 41 kills dry. I'll take that any day. Basically on drop rate for the Rune Defender. Let's see if we can get the Dragon. This is a 1 in 100 though, as opposed to the 1 in 50 from the other ones. These guys also drop the very important Adamant Square Shield for Clue Scrolls. The problem with the Addy Square is that it's pretty difficult to get on an early level Iron Man. You can usually only get them from the Troll Generals or Worms, but Worms are a pretty high Slayer level, so if I get the square here that'd be really nice it will also dictate the next chunk we unlock which will be catherby because that's where the stash unit for the addy square is so let's see if the addy square leads us to the next chunk and how long it takes to get the dragon defender all right so i just got a hard clue <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out because I need prayer anyway. Let's see if that's anything we can do. Oh my, it actually is. There is no way. 
I'm gonna have to keep this hard clue. Um, I have no viable way of getting hard clues, but we are stuck with one. Put that on the shirt. No, don't do that. That won't sell. Hey, there's the Adamant SQ. Wait, that means that we can actually probably, well, we can, we can, could do that anytime, but we are going to unlock Catherby next, which ties into the plan that I have that I'm going to tell you guys about right off to the Dragon Defender. You're telling me, sorry, I, the instant microphone pull there. You're telling me I just got a loop and a tooth half of a key and I can actually get myself a Dragon Stone. What just happened? Sorry. Very fast talking there. So now not only do we have to unlock Catherby, we also eventually have to unlock Taverly. Now I will be able to keep this in the looting bag, which is really nice. By the way, this is what the looting bag currently looks like, uh, which is really nice. We have a dragon stone, which is available to us. We're currently sitting on 479 Cyclopses. So around 29 dry now of the dragon defender or getting all defenders. So hopefully we get it soon. There is the dragon defender. I don't know what to do with the rune one because I mean, if I end up losing this dragon defender i gotta do everything over again so i'm very excited to hear you guys out on what i should do with this i know that it probably wasn't the perfect time on the account to go for the dragon defender considering the dragon defender is a monster clue stash unit which i will not be able to make for a very long time that being said i didn't really use a shield slot yet so i feel like i could hold on to it just forever basically next episode i'm in need of more than a hundred clue coins because we're going chunk shopping. I've collected 100 clue coins, the currency we use to unlock my chunks, but I need your help to spend them. Throughout this video, I'll chime in with a couple of my own ideas on what would be good unlocks, but make sure to leave in the comments what you think would be a good idea. In 12 hours from releasing this video, I will put a YouTube community poll up so you guys can vote what the new chunks are that we're unlocking next episode. All right, before we go and collect more clue scrolls and the 100 clue coins, which is the goal at the end of this episode, I do have to Put some stuff in the looting bag to clear up some space. So the crystal key is definitely going in there. The rune chain body, even the rune full helm is going in there to save some inventory space. But apart from that, I think we're good. I can drop all the Warriors Guild tokens and we're going to start using these black knives right now. Maybe it is the day that we try and complete this hard clue. All right, I put on my most beautiful ranging outfit, uh, got the leather out of my closets, and uh, I am going to be throwing all these black knives at the goblins to get some clues and also get rid of these black knives that I've collected from all the cyclopses. So let's train some range and get some clues. Uh, there goes the last of the black knives. That being said, though, I did get a last minute beginner right here, and it is also completable, so that's perfect. Did not get a range level, though, but I did get two beginner completions, so... The knives were worth it. Almost 49 range. All right. I feel like I've done enough clues for now. I want to go into Puro Puro and I can't keep juggling clue scrolls at the goblins. I do want to train some hunter and all that stuff and maybe get a new hard clue. Maybe do another medium clue completion. I don't know, but I'm going to open to free up some inventory space before I go to Puro Puro. So here we go. The beginner clues are, as always, pretty underwhelming. That's a dupe. That is a shame, dude. That is a shame. We do not like that because that's no extra clue coins. All right, let's get into the easies. Three of them. High chance of getting new uniques. That is not great. We're actually going to go to... Hey! Oh my god, that's two! Two collection log slots. And that is actually a perfect addition to the outfit. How good does that look, though? And some uh, fashion scape. This is also 91k. The last one is another one! Oh, dude, we are cashing in right now putting the others in the poh there we go now might be a good time to explain the first path this one leads to the gnome stronghold we already have the rd monastery chunk to go north for 20 clue coins we'll unlock east ardone four easy clues and three medium clue steps if we go further up you'll see the road to the tree gnome stronghold unfold five cheap chunks and away to the tree gnome stronghold which we all know has a lot of medium clue steps the total cost of this path is 90 clue coins. Let me know if you find it a good idea. Camelot Castle, yes, we got a completable medium clue, guys. It started. The medium clue completion is in the cards once again for the, I think, fourth time. Uh, yep, it's one of those again, guys. We <laughs> have a potential of completing a medium clue again, which is really nice. We've got four medium clues, and I'm pretty sure I had two hard clues, but I feel like I've lost one i don't know what happened to the last hard clue which really sucks uh this one's still completable but let's do this medium clue hopefully complete it and get a bunch more clue coins from all the other clues there on the floor we've got eight stacks to juggle right now i've been in this situation before 12 clues on the ground not quite a record but let's go and solve them 
This Charlie de Clue step is now absolutely amazing for UIM. If Charlie asks for an iron dagger, you don't have to make it anymore. You can just go up to this shop, buy the iron dagger, and give it to Charlie. I don't know why Charlie is this lazy, but... <laughs> For this account, it's absolutely amazing. However, that is our fourth or fifth medium clue ever on the account ready to be opened. Now all I still have to juggle is the beginner and the easy. Normally I should be able to complete this easy. Uh, it's only a two stepper if that's completable. This beginner, however, will definitely still complete. We've got an XP lamp. I don't know what to put this on. I usually put them on Hunter because it's really difficult to train and it's the number one skill currently for me to get implings. But if you've got any other ideas, I'm happy to hear them. Daily quick runecrafting XP with the three fire talismans we can make. Hey, there's level four runecrafting. Nice. Two and three is going to put us really close to level five. So one more and we're getting five runecrafting. Again, I... Don't know why I'm training room crafting, but it's kind of a passive if I get fire talismans from earth implings. So why not? You know, might need it for requests someday. What I didn't realize is that it's actually not too bad to be training room crafting. The temple of the eye quest requires 10 rune crafting, which I can very easily get with this method. To complete this quest, I need one more chunk, the abyss. It is however 40 clue coins, but it unlocks the entirety of guardians of the rift. Make sure to keep this one in mind when we brainstorm new locations later in this episode. Strange, strange green man at the bank over here. Dude, recently this crop circle tracker plugin has been an absolute hero for the account. On this plugin, you can see what the chance is based on a spreadsheet. I don't know how the calculations work, but you can see what the chance is of a crop circle being in that world. And lately it's been incredibly accurate. I don't know if this is helpful to any of you guys, but then again, if you enter Puro Puro through a crop circle, you do get that farmer's affinity boost, which makes you push through wheat faster. So maybe you do want to use it. It's called the Crop Circle plugin if you need it. After getting three more clue coins of some standard beginner clues, we still have the easy and medium clue left to go. Wait, what is that? Oh, the blue fighter fire lighters is going to be an extra clue coin. Amazing. Okay. Very, very, very nice to get an extra clue coin for that. And then the faded fourth medium clue of the account. Let's get some ranger boots. We do get a Bando's Miter, and I think a Miter is a Master Clue requirement. However, it'll have to go into the looting bag for now. There we go. Everything should be bagged up there. Let me also put the Karambams in there. And now we've got some inventory space to play with because I'm going back to the Minotaurs for a bit, AFK some easy clues because these 100 Clue Coins ain't going to get themselves. Also, maybe I should quickly let you guys in on the looting bag. We've currently got 585 Oak Planks, which is enough for 53 construction, but we need 6 66 for a teak treasure chest to be able to store medium clue unique so we're still quite a ways away from that but i'll keep stacking up the oak planks and maybe eventually we'll get there the second path leads us to mauritania by skipping the lumber yard and going diagonal in the southeast of varrock we can actually get to the limestone mine chunk in 60 clue coins that is an easy step to the right to potter domus for 40 clue coins to actually be able to enter mauritania home of many medium and easy clue steps and a bunch of unlocks I thought I wouldn't enter Mauritania for ages because it's so expensive, but doing it with this little shortcut on the bottom right feels like it could be very beneficial for the account. This is a massive moment for the Clue Chunk Boy account, because with this casket, if it is a casket, it's a three-stepper. If it's not, then I have to, well, this intro is for nothing. But if this is a Clue Casket, we're opening all the clues I've got stacked in my inventory, and I've calculated it if we get five uniques from these caskets, we will have 100 clue coins stacked. Let's see if it's the ca- There it is. The 45th beginner clue casket, which also, if I get five uniques from these openings, that will be the 100th clue coin. Now let's hope we do get five uniques. If we don't, that's gonna be really awkward, but it's finally time to open all these clue scrolls. I'm gonna do that in front of my POH so I can put the uniques inside of my POH. I think that's a smart idea. So let's get to opening. Let's get started with the beginners. Let's quickly check out the collection log. We only need six more items. There is a potential that we complete this log. It is very, very unlikely. With one unique, I'll be happy. Preferably, of course, the mole slippers or the shoulder parrot. Let's get into it. Wow, those were already the two worst clu clues you could have gotten. And also a oh, oh, yes! 
There's already our first collection log slot. One extra clue coin on top of the casket. A Sarah Doman ornament kit. Now, I don't have a rune sim, so I can't store it in the POH, which sucks. It is what it is. I can't put it in the looting bag, however, so I'll keep it in my inventory for now. All right, next batch. Let's see if we can get another unique. <gasps> oh, that's not a unique. That's not a collection log slot. Oh, the dupe. That pain. It could have been any other boots. That would have been absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, you are not lucky. The frog slippers are on the floor and we've got 32 more caskets to go through. Oh no, another dupe. That is such pain, bro. That could have been already three uniques and we only needed five. That would have been so nice. But unlucky is the name of the game when you're doing clue scrolls. 23 more beginners. One more unique would be absolutely amazing but we've been getting so lucky on these i can't really see us getting another unique in these last 17 i'm gonna be honest we've gotten so many especially to see how dry i went at the start of this account on just uniques in general i don't think i'm gonna get anything else but never say never a famous quote by the one and only justin bieber oh dude the dupes i mean they're to be expected very painful though a black square i think that's also kind of rare like any black item from beginners is also pretty rare oh dude i think i think now we've pushed it pushed it we've gotten a lot of dupes in terms of unique items we did however still get one uh new item which is good enough for me to be honest i'm expecting big from the yeezys though five more beginner clues and we ended off with nothing Let's head on over to the easy clues and hopefully get four more uniques in 12 caskets. That's going to be, well, average, but I hope we're going to be able to do it and don't go shitty lucky Lee. Shitty, shitty unlucky. Is that the word? Let's go. That is not a unique. Also, am I keeping Armadale pages? Four and one. This is number four. Okay. Uh oh, still no collection log pop up. This is not good. There it is. Okay, that's one. All right, good, good, good. That is three clue coins in one casket. Very nice. I'm going to put that into POH in a bit. Uh-oh, I need more pop-ups, guys. Yes, another one. That's a steel plate legs. Good. All right, steel is saving us here. We need two more in seven caskets. Come on. Uh-oh. Nope, that's nothing. That's also nothing. Oh, no, four more. Oh, no. Wait. The ancient page three. We are saving ancient pages and armadal pages. Oh, that's good though. We have gotten that page before, but I'm, I dropped it and we only need one more page. Ancient page number one, I believe. Yeah, to complete the book. So that's actually not too bad. However, still not a hundred clue coins. Any luck? Oh no. A hundred easy clues completed though. That's a pretty sick milestone. The unholy blessing. So it's all going to depend on this last clue scroll, whether or not we're going to be getting the 100 clue coins or whether or not we're going to have to go back to the goblins. That's a really, really, really good blessing, though. I'm probably going to put that in the looting bag, too, because I don't know if they count separate in the POH. I'm actually quickly going to check. I think they do count separate, so I think I can't. I, I can actually put it in the POH. Yeah, they do. Okay, nice. So the blessing goes in, and then one more clue to go. The last casket is the Golden Chefs at 4,100 clue coins. <laughs> a better item I could have not imagined, dude. What a beauty. New fashion scape acquired, and look at the bottom left. <laughs> Why do all these videos always end so incredibly poetically, man? That is an amazing item. I'm surprised I actually got this beret before. 100 clue coins on the clue chunk UIN. And now we figure out what the next chunk is going to be. This is the clue chunk UIM, which means I can only unlock chunks by doing clue scrolls. Every clue scroll I complete, I get clue coins to buy any chunk I want. Last episode, you guys decided that we are going to unlock Guardians of the Rift, but I kind of miscalculated how many clue coins it took. Enjoy the video. 
We figured it out, but it's a rough one. We still need 40 clue coins. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an important day for the clue chunk UIM. You guys have decided which new chunk we're going to be unlocking, and those chunks or that route is going to be the Taverly to Gardens of the Rift route. So the first thing we're going to want to do is unlock the road from Berthope to Taverly. That is over seven clue coins or easy clue steps unlocked right there and then because we also kind of jumped over this ditch in the last video at the end i don't know if anyone saw that but if you watched all the way to the end of that video i accidentally jumped over here and unlocked all the wildy tracks it's only fair to unlock this but we need to do that anyway for the enter the abyss mini quest now the problem is that i might have made a little lapse in my judgment um we need another 40 clue coins for this clue step because the Enter the Abyss mini quest requires three rune essence mines. We already have Wizard's Tower and Varrock, but we need a third. And we have two options, the Ardy Market or Yanil. And considering Yanil has a couple more extra clue steps, the decision is pretty easy. So we're unlocking Yanil next. So first of all, before we go get the 40 more clue coins that we need to unlock Yanil, let's go check out our new chunks. Let's go to Bertho. Let's walk into Taverly like we own the place, dude. All right, look at this. We can actually complete Witch's House. Do I have any t uh, runes? No, I don't. The more quests, the better, because I still need 32 quest points to enter the Champions Guild and get Champions Scrolls. So by the time we're done looking around here, I'm going to quickly complete that quest for some quest points. <gasps> Dude, we can also unlock Herblore. I don't know how I caught that so late, but we can actually unlock Herblore. That is actually huge. It's the only stat that I still had level one in the clue chunk. Dude, I'm too excited. You know what? We're doing that first four quest points for witch's house that is really nice 16 we're halfway actually halfway to champions guild let's go and look herblore and there it is four quest points for this one too we're on 20 quest points that was unexpectedly amazing three herblore we can now train and clean guams and all that stuff pickpocketing hand members got actually pretty decent now 1100 total and everything we're zooming so what do we do now because now we have that issue of we need 10 rune crafting for the temple of the eye quest but we also need to complete the enter the abyss mini quest which gives us a bunch of rune crafting xp i actually even think that quest will give us 10 rune crafting so we need to unlock Yanil, which is another 40 clue coins, so I'll be right back. Oh, leather body. You know what I recently found? I've made leather bodies every single time, but apparently Tessalia literally just sells it. I've always been going to the cows and stuff like that to make one. I didn't even know Tessalia had those. But there you go, Charlie. And now we can drop the clue because we don't have Reldo. I did these two clues to have some inventory space for Bryophyta, and then I completely forgot to open them. So right before we go in, I guess we'll just open them. Number one. Water runes, so that's no inventory space wasted, which I guess is good. And the easy clue is pretty terrible. Bryophyta kill number, I think it's three or four. And we get, ooh, a rune med helms. We do already have a rune full helm though. That's a really good elk. I guess that's the blood runes paid for that I barely used. <laughs> and we get a beginner clue. And it's Reldo, which I can't do. So the clue's going on the floor. 37 more clue coins to enter you nil. This is gonna be an important one, ladies and gentlemen. If brother Omad doesn't hook us up with a casket, we have lost our medium clue, unfortunately. Come on, the holy place. There are still balloons here. Is this going to be a medium clue casket or not? Three out of five. This is step number three. Oh, is it a back to back? Where is this? Oh, you're kidding me. It is only 10 clue. You know what? I bought it. <laughs> if this is not the clue now, though, I'm going to be real pissed at myself. This was way, way, way too impulsive. Come on, please, 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 please. Oh, yes, thank God. Thank God. Oh, okay. Worth. The second beginner clue, which means that the haul for today is one medium clue, two beginners, and two easies, and I will instantly open those because I kind of want to clear my inventory to go back into Puro Puro. We did spend 10 clue coins. Uh, I couldn't help myself, but it was for 10 clue coins back. All these clues without any collection lock slots will give us 10 clue coins again. So, I mean, kind of worth it. Technically a free chunk. I don't think that's how it works, but because I kind of did pay for it in time. Anyway, let's open. We're starting off with the beginner clues, which we haven't gotten the unique from in a while, and we're not going to get any now either. The two easy clues. Oh, the red fire lighters are still a unique, so that's an extra clue coin. Very useless uh, unique, but a collection lock pop up nevertheless. And the next easy. 
is another one, Guthix Roblegs. That's storable into POA, so we're loving that. 11 clue coins already now, and we still have the medium to go, but nice. All right, four guaranteed clue coins from this medium. Can we get the Ranger Boots? Ooh, a Guthix page as the unique pop-up. All right, not useful, but five clue coins from that one. So 16 clue coins total, let's go. I am planning on from the next episode onwards, actually picking a stash unit and making that item that I need for that stash unit the goal for that episode. I have seen the comments of people saying, why are you not focusing on your endgame goal of finishing the stash units? I will start making that my focus from the next episode onwards, and we will be grinding for items inside of stash units. So that'll make it a lot more clear and we'll bring the focus back to our in-game goal. Careful now. Oh, wait, is this guy going in? Wait, hang on. This guy's got the scary... F Why did I just casually stroll in? Uh-oh. <laughs> he can actually attack... No, he can't attack me. He's only one level. The wilderness, what am I tripping about? Would aid for a level 88, one defense pure to show up? I'm already done, mate. Already done. <laughs> what a guy. Ooh, doable easy. Oh, shit, Taverly, guys. We just unlocked that. Nice. Putting the new chunk to use, baby. Ooh, potential. Yes, there it is. That's already done. How long does this take? Like 15 minutes for three beginners and three easies. We even got a grubby key, which unfortunately we have to drop, which sucks because there's some really good resources in that chest. But the Fort Dose dungeon and just Zaya in general is so far away on this account, unfortunately. All right, before we go back in, we got to clean up some inventory, and that means opening these two caskets that we just got. We did get a beginner and an easy left over. Oh, wait, no, I do have one step on this uh, beginner, so I do need to go and do that real quick. Let's hope we get a casket from it. Hey, there it is, casket number two. So let's open them here. Why not? Two beginner clues for 17 clue coins. Are we going to finally get a unique? No, we are not. 18 clue coins it is. And then the easy clue is also... Pure trash. Let's get back to Pura Pura. 30 more clue coins to get. I don't know if I like stacking up too many caskets. First of all, it's two inventory slots every time. And second of all, I've heard some complaints about people not enjoying the clue coin sound if it gets spammed in their face every time I open a casket. So with these many clues opened, it's constantly cling, cling. And maybe you guys are not like that. Let me know. But here's two more easy clues. And there is actually our first master clue. Oh my god. And it is in Lydia, so we do have to drop it. But it's cool to see that for the first time on the account. Yeah, see you later, master clue. The other one, however, is a unique, but once again, a not a collection lock slot. Hey, another hunter level. Those are probably the best things to see. 74 hunter will give us our best possible method of getting hard clues for a little bit which is ninja implings but take a look at the drop table of ninja implings that is absolute gold in there unfortunately that is six more levels no seven more levels even every hunter level gets us closer to that beautiful impling oh my god all right before we go back in, we have one more easy on the ground. I'm going to keep that one. We do once again have two easy clue caskets. I'm getting really lucky with these steps and the back to backs and all that. So slowly but surely, we're creeping up towards 30 clue coins and we need 50. So here we go. There's a mob shirt, which is an elite clue requirement. So that's going to be really nice to have. I do believe you can store them in your POH and take them back out. And the second one is green fire lighters. All right, we've got another four easy clue caskets because we've got so unbelievably lucky with back-to-back -back steps. The account is actually equipped to grind the easy clues out. So we can finally maybe stop getting beginner clues or doing goblins or whatever. Even though it's kind of sad because I've killed 75,000 goblins at this point and I wanted to make a 100,000 video. But it feels like Grimae Implings is more worth it. We've been going for two hours or so and we've gotten over 19 clue coins if these easies don't give me any uniques. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. That is a terrible casket. <gasps> that is the completion of the ancient book. That is the completion of our first god book on the account. That is unbelievably lucky. However, Horror from the Deep, the quest requires the bar crawl mini quest, which takes over 200 clue coins. So we're not going to be able to make that for a very long time. But that is still insane. This means I can clean out the loading bag with these armadillo pages too. That is so fast. 112 easy clues for a full... And basically the best godbook. What a time, dude. Oh my god. Next caskets. 
are trash but you know what i don't care we completed a god book this early into the account holy crap two more easy clue caskets before we go back in we're almost there already it is absolutely going berserk right now with the easy clues let's see if we can get another collection log spot the zamrak page three we can comfortably drop that one though because we've completed a god book by the way by the way and another one is a couple law runes i'll take it from humble beginnings where i was always struggling with law runes i can never complain about law runes again Again, man let's go back in for the last seven clue coins two more easy clues i was gonna say if we get an, a unique in wait what do we need here this is for if we get three uniques in these two we're done oh my god that's a start wait do we also complete the orbital book now oh no okay we have two pages that feels almost sad to drop it but we only need one for the stash unit and eventually we'll get way more pages when we eventually unlock horror from the deep oh we need two more uniques from this one casket to be done uh yeah that's not gonna cut it uh, ladies and gentlemen the time has come we are going to be opening the two clues or actually the one clue is going to give us 50 clue coins so we can actually go on with the plan of completing entering the abyss and making our way over to guardians of the rift let's start with the beginner because that is always trash and then the one that will put us over 50 clue coins oh my god that's a disgusting one but it does not matter where is your nil double click that shit we have unlocked another beautiful chunk so the nice thing about Yanil is that it's got three medium clue steps. So that is slowly working our way towards the next level of the account. Two easy, three medium steps. It's way better than the other option, which was the RD square, which is two easies and no mediums. Uh, so yeah, Yanil is definitely the better option. And let's uh, actually go into our new chunk now. Now you will notice that I'm not going to be unlocking the uh, the Yanil music track. It's because I've been teleported here by the Pilroy guard before, all the way at the start of this account. If you talk to that random event, you do get teleported teleported into one of these cages over here and you do unlock the music track so i'm sorry that i broke the account <laughs> very early into it but i didn't think it was that significant anyway let's see if we can actually enter the wizard's guild and use the rune essence mine because that's the whole reason why we went into this place and there it is we can at least go in wizard descend door there we go so enter the abyss is now completable there he is. Let's start the Enter the Abyss mini quest, which should give us, I think, 12 runecrafting or something. And then if I start Temple of the Eye, I might already have the runecrafting level we need for Guardians of the Rift. I don't think we're going to have to train much more runecrafting levels doing the Talisman and Air Tiara or Fire Tiara method, but we'll see. So there's Aubrey with the first teleport then Seridor with the second, which is also an easy Lumberjan Drainer diary task. And then the reason why we picked this chunk, Mr. Distentor, and we can go back now and complete the mini quest. This should be the quest completion, I think, right? Or do I have to go to the abyss first? Oh, nope, there it is. 1,000 runecrafting XP getting us straight to 11 runecrafting. I think I need 12 for Temple of the Eye. Oh no, it's 10 runecrafting. We can actually go and do it, finish it, and start going straight to Guardians of the Rift. That's so sick. Oh no, dude. So many oversights by me. This is terrible. This is... <laughs> what is that tea seller doing over there? Are you kidding me? Well, luckily that chunk is only 20 clue coins. And I still got a couple of clues in the inventory. So let's get 19 more clue coins. That means we've already had to make 60 more clue coins than we originally intended for this. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be good. We like chunks. I just missed it, but this is a little milestone on the account. We just passed 10,000 minotaur kills when i want to afk or take that with a grain of salt when i want to somewhat semi afk clue scrolls i just tag all these minotaurs put auto retaliate on and then this way i can a little bit more chilly get clue scrolls it's pretty good all right i've cleaned up my inventory a little bit and now we've got seven beginners and six easy clues which puts us exactly on 20 clue coins even if we don't get a unique let's get started with the beginners and of course we're getting a cabbage first and everything else looks to be pretty trash. Eight clue coins. Let's get into the easies. Watch the first one be a unique. It's not. It's not even something we can use. I don't think there's another black axe clue stash unit because next episode, as I already said, we are focusing on the stash units, but we already have that one made so we can put it on the floor. Five more easy clues for a unique. The Oh, wait, I thought it was going to be the steel plate legs. It's actually both. The steel plate legs, watch this, is going to be another clue coin added. 
Look at that. Feldip Hills teleports and steel plate skirt. That Feldip Hills teleport is useful though. If we take a look at the map, Feldip Hills, where is it? Apparently it puts you in this tent chunk, which is actually kind of nice. You might be able to teleport there and then go to the Corsair Cove. I don't know if that's very useful though. I don't think there's much for us in the Feldip Hills. The looting bag is also getting kind of full. Well, it's completely full, so I guess I'll just drop it. All right, four more. We're easily going to make it to a 20, but can we get another unique? That is gross. 16 law runes. That would have gotten me excited like 10 episodes ago. What is that easy clue? Oh my God, are these beginner clues? Ah, there we go. We get that black skirt G to finish it off. Very nice 23 clue coins. Let's go and complete Guardians of the Rift, eh? All right, T seller, I'm coming for you. Unlock the chunk. All right, here we are. Let's do Guardians of the Rift. I know I just said that in the previous clip, but it sounds cool. So the beautiful thing about this quest is that you actually do a game of Guardians of the Rift. You basically play a tutorial and you actually train room crafting here. So I wouldn't be surprised if I get from 11 all the way to 27 by the end of this quest. And there's already one level. There's 15 room crafting. Wait, what? I just got three levels. 750 room crafting XP. That's absolutely absurd for just feeding five things to, the, to the, the Great Guardian. Sorry, I couldn't talk anymore. I also just woke up, if you guys haven't noticed in my voice. So a couple of you guys have sometimes said that my voice sounds very different in certain clips. That's because I record most of the clips off stream in the morning. So the, the voice is very different. All right, here's going to be the exp I'm 21. The quest is not even done, and I'm 21 runecrafting. 27. There you go. So all you really need is 10 runecrafting to start the quest, and it'll put you straight to 27 to do the minigame. That's crazy. So guys, here we are, Guardians of the Rift. The next episode, I have a big goal for a very good clue item. I want to get the Ring of the Elements. The problem is, my inventory looks disgusting. The Ring of the Elements. Probably the best teleportation device for Clue Scrolls, especially on this account. It teleports you to all different elemental altars in the game, most of which I've already unlocked the chunks for, but this thing is gonna make it so much more convenient. The price? 400 Abyssal Pearls from Guardians of the Rift, and about 60 more Clue Coins that I kinda forgot about. Welcome to the Clue Chunk UIM. This is a hell of a thing to start this episode with, but we're juggling four medium clues. Before going to Guardians of the Rift, which we've unlocked last episode, I want to get myself a rune pouch because it stores runes. Pretty self-explanatory. And because we're going to get a bunch of runes from Guardians of the Rift, I think it's the best thing to do considering, I mean, I'm a UIM. I kind of have some limited inventory slots here. Now, the part I need to unlock for the Ferex Enclave to get LMS is worth 30 clue coins. Now, luckily, if I use the Clan Wars minigame teleport, it teleports me straight into that chunk. So there's nothing else I need for it. So uh, yeah, let's grab 30 clue coins and I'll see you when I get those. Oh yeah, here's the medium clue casket. I guess I'll instantly open it because medium clues are the most exciting thing on the account. The problem being, I've got another medium clue here that's doable. Um, and I was actually doing this medium clue so that I had more inventory space. Uh, so now we got to get another medium clue. <laughs> let's open this one. Wow. Not a unique. Unfortunately, this is where the medium clue ends. Step number three. Unlucky. It's a four stepper and I can't do the music track because I don't have Brimhaven unlocked. And it's also pretty expensive. So there goes the medium clue. At least it's an inventory slot cleared. And now I have to wait 17 more minutes to get the birth hope to complete this easy clue, hopefully. All right, a quick opening of the four easy clues that I managed to get. I think I'm just going to drop this tooth half of a key. I already have a crystal key in the looting bag for my dragon stone. So not going to keep that. I did manage to get rid of all the easy and beginner clues and the medium clues. So slowly but surely, the inventory is getting thinner. Without further ado, let's open these four easy clues, hoping for maybe one more unique. Hey, there's the bronze plate skirt G. All right, by the way, this time I'll sell the stuff that uh, I get from clues. You guys got really pissed at me for not selling them in the general store. There you go. I hope you're all happy. We've got three more easy clues. Let's go see if we can get another unique 
The dig site teleports are not going to be very useful. They are, however, pretty expensive. Look at that. Those I do have to drop, though. Those don't really sell in the store. That's almost 100k in dig site teleport scrolls. Jesus, those things are overpriced. That's a double unique, and both of them are dupes. That is painful. And then on the final casket, we've got even more nothing. 16 clue coins, 14 more to go. While I'm doing these last couple clue scrolls to get 30 clue coins, I also realize this teleport will get me straight to the wizard's tower. Now you might think that's pretty obvious, but I mean, I've just unlocked it and I was thinking I need to get to the wizard's tower for this clue scroll, but I need to get a necklace of passage. Well, no, I don't. I can just use my minigame teleport, which is very nice because that saves me a lot of time on this UIM. <laughs> and there's the casket. So before we go back into Puro Puro, let's open these to save some inventory space. Can I finally get another beginner unique? No, I cannot. What's the easy got though? Also nothing. And yes, I'll make sure to sell this in the general store. Okay, okay, I'll prove it. I just let a medium clue despawn, which would have made this medium clue a guaranteed casket. Now I need to be really lucky to get it on the fourth step. Medium clues have three to five steps. If this is not a casket, I'm an absolute idiot. Oh my God, okay. All right, that makes me really happy. Oh my, I would have been so pissed at myself. I had five medium clues on the ground and I managed to let one D spawn. Almost a guaranteed failure. These are seven clue coins. If I can get two uniques, we're already at 30. If only one or zero, we're going back into Puro Puro. Let's open the beginner first, which is absolute trash. The easy clue. Gives us a bob shirt, which is really good because that is an easy clue requirement. However, we already have one, which is stored in the POH. So still very nice, an extra clue coin. And I believe I just now lied because this is four clue coins and unique will give us five, which is still one short. That means we need two uniques in this one medium clue to be done. And it is one, which means I just need one more clue coin. I guess we'll try and complete this easy then. Oh yeah, there's also something special about this easy clue because this is a stash in it that we have not done yet. So let me actually quickly make it. We need a blue wizard hat, a bronze two-handed sword, and some ham boots. You know what's really nice though? As I just said, we need one more easy clue to attempt to complete this one. And I need to be here anyway for the ham boots. So with some luck, we get the ham boots and a doable easy clue. All right, there we go. Just gathered all the materials for this stash unit. I just teleported and realized I do not have any planks or nails right now to make the stash unit. Okay, here we finally go. We got the items, nothing too crazy. I did say I was gonna work on the stash units this episode. It's gonna have to be pushed back one more episode, but I think you guys are gonna be fine with that because we just filled up a new stash unit. Let's build it. We've got bigger goals this episode. For First of all, dropping this clue, because unfortunately it wasn't one we could do on step number three. As you can see in my inventory, we do have a beginner clue, which will put us straight to 30 clue coins, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we've just unlocked the Ferox Enclave. And here we are in our new chunk. And I know it's a weird one, but I don't know if I mentioned this actually why we're unlocking this, but I need a rune pouch. I need to store these runes into a pouch so I can actually do Guardians of the Rift and get the endgame goal of this video being the Ring of the Elements. The Ring of the Elements unlocks a bunch of good teleports. Now I can reach most of the locations already, but skipping the 40 chunk to get to the 20 chunk in the Lumbridge Swamp is going to be very nice, especially since it holds two easy clues and two medium clue steps. But before we do that, we need to go PKing. Now, the beautiful thing on this chunk is also that I can use this coffer to deposit my money and I can take it out at any point in time, which also saves an inventory spot. We're actually acting like a real UIM now. You are kidding me. I need 30 quest points and 1,500 total? Oh no. Okay, I guess uh, I'll try and look into quests that I might be able to do. I I think I figured out I can do pirate's treasure on the account. <sighs> I'm gonna have to scramble quests here. I hope I can reach it. Oh, never mind. I just realized I have to go to Karamja for that one. I guess we'll keep scrolling. Okay, I figured something out. I went through my entire quest list and tried to find the quests that were cheap, gave a decent amount of quest points, and yeah, as I said, don't cost too many clue coins. And I've got a list over here, very professional, and I found out I can do what lies below and a soul's bane with the chunks I currently have. Unfortunately, both only give one quest point, which means I need seven more. Now, 
A no-brainer is Merlin's Crystal. The only chunk I still need to unlock for Merlin's Crystal is this chunk. The left side of Catherby and Keep Le Fay, which is only 20 clue coins for 6 quest points. Which means we only need one quest point left. And then the decision is easy. Just pick the chunk that requires the least amount of clue coins. So the next quest we're completing is Elemental Workshop 2. So let's get 30 more clue coins. Oh yeah, the chunk we need to unlock for Elemental Workshop 2 is the exam center under the dig site. Which coincidentally also holds two easy clues, one medium and two hard clue steps. So it's really not that bad of an unlock. Why do I never plan shit out, man? It's the beauty of the account though. It's looking pretty good on the floor over here, but we've got 68 Hunter now. Inching closer to the ninja implings we so desire. Still pretty far off, but again, the account is becoming pretty consistent getting blue scrolls. As you can see on the ground right now, we are actually focusing on mediums. Very few beginner clues still in this pile. We're very much switching between this eclectic and that gourmet impling spawn to get as many easy and medium clues as possible. The account is absolutely zooming and I'm loving it. I don't show this too much to you guys anymore, but we are still doing this <laughs> whatever this is juggling a crap load of clues but i want you to pay attention to how little beginner clues there are in here i said it just recently but we are very much focusing on easy and medium clues right now look at that we've got seven easy clues and four medium clues on the ground right now this is the clue chunk life and it's looking beautiful Oh no! My clues just despawned. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Oh, that was, oh, that's so upsetting. I had so many clues on the ground. I thought I had so much more time too. So here we are. I'm still. I'm sorry for my voice. I'm still a little beat. Uh, we got three easy clues and two beginners. Could have been four easy clues or five easy clues and a medium, but I'll get over it. All right. If we can get a unique from these beginners or from these easies. Okay. Well. That's pretty good. I'll take that. All right, two more easy clues with trash and more trash. Ooh, there it is, medium clue casket, dude. Oh my God, okay, I'm happy again. I'm happy again. It took a while to get over my loss, but look how many clues we still have on the floor. All right, please a one-step casket. Ah, there we go. All right, so at least we did get the beginner clue. We have two easies on the floor and a medium, but we got to go back into Puro Puro. So before we do that, let's open the beginner clue, which gives us a clue coin and a couple of law runes. Not bad. The easy clue. Oh, that's not a unique. That's rough. And then the highly anticipated medium clue with the Mithril Plate Body G, which is minus one inventory slot but plus five clue coins. So that's pretty beautiful. Very, very, very nice. 13 more clue coins to go. So what I want to do now is I've got one easy clue, which will put me at 19 clue coins, unless this is a unique. So I think I'm going to try and solve this beginner clue. If I get the casket, then I have the next chunk unlocked and we can do the rest of the easy clues that's on the floor. If not, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I didn't think that far. And casket. Yes, there it is. That is the new chunk unlock, even if we don't get any uniques. All right, let's open them and then solve the rest of the clues. Beginner first. I want to check out my beginner collection log because I feel like I'm ridiculously dry on a unique. 295. I mean, I only need five more. I guess not really then. I have the best ones to get still though. And then for easy, we're sitting at 37 and 135, which also feels a little short. So let's get another one. No. All right, so what we do is we unlock the left side of Catherby right now, which unlocks Keep Le Fay, the Beehive, and the completion of Merlin's Crystal. The clue coins are back at zero, and we need 10 more to unlock the exam center for Elemental Workshop 2. Look at this, guys. Catherby. We've also got access to, I believe, charter ships now, which is going to make it way, way, way better for transportation. Plus, now I don't have to wait for my minigame teleport to appear to get to Port Kazard. I can actually just charter ship there now, which is massive. Having to wait for that minigame teleport absolutely sucks if you have like four clues on the ground. With this new chunk, we also have a new stash unit that we can complete now, which is this one. So let's get the items. Shouldn't be too difficult. Now, you can say that I could have bought my Iron Play Buddy from Horvik, and whilst that's correct, it is not the true Iron Man lifestyle. Shopscape bad, ladies and gentlemen. Keep that in your heads. We're ready to make the stash unit. No, we're not. I just realized I should have probably made nails and still bought the iron play buddy from Horvik because now I got to make nails. We are completing some endgame goal stash units here on the account. This is the second one. Completely new. I forgot a saw. Dude, I am... <laughs> All right, now we can build the stash unit. There we go. Let's open this easy clue. 
and then get a couple more. Oof. That's not too great. Two easy clue caskets and a beginner before we go back into Puro Puro, which should net us five clue coins if there's no uniques. And the beginner, we're almost at 300 beginners, which is not too bad. Halfway the emote that requires 600, I guess. Got two easy clues. One is absolutely terrible. The second is a unique, the Piscator's teleport, which means we only need one more easy clue before we're done. Sir K is right here. This could already be casket, and if it is, then I might actually even get two easy clues, which would be dope. I don't know what to do about this medium clue, though. Oh my god, it's actually already a casket. But I can get to the output. I just got an easy clue from the sim. Oh no, I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. Wait, did I? That means I just reset this clue. So now I have three doable. That clue from that imp was doable. So now I have three doable easy clues still. I'm so like, this is getting complicated right now. I don't know if my odds are now better or worse after the clue from that imp, to be honest. Hello, Sir K. Thank you for the casket. So now I have two clue caskets and two clue scrolls that are in Berthope slash Taverly. Problem is, I don't have a games necklace anymore. So I have to wait for my mini game telly now for the second clue, which kind of sucks. This young imp that I accidentally caught might make it so that I get an extra casket because we're getting so many back-to-back -back clues. This one's even doable. I'm actually going to get a third clue. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so we have three clue scroll caskets out of nowhere. Uh, I was supposed to only have one, but this was beautiful. Let's open them and then start questing, baby. Here we go. That is horrible. That is worse. And oh my god, uh, this was horrible. What? What was this? Anyway, we'll have to get solace in unlocking a beautiful chunk, the exam center. And I guess let's just start off with Elemental Workshop 2 then. Start the Elemental Workshop 2 quest. There we go. Elemental Workshop 2 completed. 44 smithing and 47 crafting from that. By the way, just for some reference, we unlocked chunks because of quests, but those chunks that we unlocked actually have a really good amount of clue scrolls in them too. The beehives, four easy clues, one medium, one elite, one master, and the exam center, two easy, one medium, two hard. So really not that bad unlocks clue wise either. This is going to be a juicy amount of quest points. Merlin's Crystal completed for six quest points. And now the only two that remain are a Soul's Bane and Devious Minds in the chunks we already had. Is it me or could this just be a really cool free to play quest? I guess it's in a members area though. All right, that's a Soul's Bane done for one quest point. Now all we have to do is a little bit of Guardians of the Rift because <laughs> we need, I think it's 34 rune crafting for Devious Minds. Wait, it's not Devious Minds, is it? I've been saying Devious Minds, but it's what lies below but yeah it requires 35 rune crafting so let's do a little bit of guardians of the rift always scary to do this especially with untradeables like the dragon defender and the hard clue i always feel like i'm gonna lose them and i know that's not the case for ultimate iron man i think i hope <laughs> i hope i can arrive in a second and actually just uh pick everything up okay no worries the dragon defender and the heart clue are right here okay so what i'm gonna drop are these things the armadillo pages the sharks i seeds for some reason i had guams and limperts and i think that is it so two four six eight spots in the looting bag freed up actually i'm also going to be dropping the green dehyde chaps because i can eventually buy that in the champions guild and we're only two quest points away from that soon so and there it is looting bag completely filled well not filled that we still have eight slots actually so pretty good cleanup and the inventory is also looking pretty good so now let's actually get the guardians of the rift okay it does take a while to get these guardian fragments with a bronze pickaxe i'm not gonna lie maybe next time for the next grind when we go for the ring of the elements i'll bring a mithril pickaxe or maybe even buy a rune one. That's the first rune crafting level, 28, 30. There's 35 rune crafting, but I'll still finish the game, of course. And we're done for now, because now we have the rune crafting level for what lies below. We'll complete that quest, get a rune pouch, and then come back here for the Ring of the Elements. Before I go, I'll quickly loot the Rewards Guardian. Uh, the best thing to get are reward pouches, but for this quest, I could also I also need 15 Chaos Runes, and a couple of Fire Runes would be nice too, so let's see if we can get any of those. Oh, there's the Chaos Runes, very good. We already got some Pearls. That's what we need. We need 400 for the Ring of the Elements, so that's actually quite lucky. And a small pouch. That is a perfect search. I'm hoping I didn't miscalculate and I can actually do this quest. This is my worry now. Because it automatically updates my clue coins when I get a collection lock slot, I did get one for the Abyssal Pearl, so I'll let me take that away again. I just got a beginner clue, are you joking? Wait, the Ferox Enclave canoe 
is in my chunks, I just realized. So that means I don't even need to save up for the minigame teleport and I can just always get there via a canoe. That's actually sick. I don't know why I didn't realize that earlier. For some reason, I didn't clip the What Lies Below completion, but quest completed. All right, let's get ready to hate my life. Here we go. We're doing it. Oh, Jesus, we're not doing it. I flicked some prayers pretty all right. Yeah, that's the warm up, guys. That's the warm up. Don't worry. Yes, my first LMS win. Let's go. Bonk. Woo! Okay, GG, second win. The Void Waker's broken, man. The Void Waker is so broken. 28 points. Woo! Oh, third win. Let's go. Unbelievable that I lose those. I'm not up on the tracker here. Let me be clear. Ooh. <laughs> that man texted me, asked my mom if I was home, and then AGS smacked. That was crazy how hard he announced that. And I'm dead. Oh, uh, I died. I was AFK taking a piss. But hey, 70, 75 points. Let's get the room pouch, uh, Justine. Yes, please. Thank you for that room pouch. And let's put these in. And look at that inventory space, dude. This is amazing. We're completely ready for Guardians of the Rift. All right. Only one thing lasts us to do now, and that is buy a Runite pickaxe. Let me see if I can actually use it. Yes, the Runite pickaxe, and then we're on our way to the Guardians of the Rift. Let's make that teleport happen. We've got the runes in the rune pouch. I'm probably going to drop these earth runes because I'll get them back anyway, and we have a pretty big grind now to go for. And this is the last clue, Casket, before we dive in and go all the way for 400 Abyssal Pearls for the Ring of the Elements. Let's hope this is not a unique, because otherwise I gotta go back to Barbarian Assault. Or Barbarian Village, I meant. It is not, but it is another clue coin. Enough clue coins for quite a while, because this is all going on the floor, and this is the inventory we're working with. Let's dive in and get a bunch of runecrafting levels. I'm 46 runecrafting now, and it's going really great. However, it's pretty difficult to balance the elemental and the catalytic points, because there's a lot of rifts that I cannot use. I can't use the Cosmic Death or Law Obelisks, because those require the Lost City or the Morning's End Part 2 quest. So only being able to use like 4 out of 8 alters is quite annoying. That being said, I've decided to also keep my Chaos runes. I've been dropping them up until now, and I think I'll be dropping basically every single rune except for the Chaos runes, because I can buy them at Ali Morrisane, but the Chaos runes are quite expensive to buy, and I feel like, I mean, I've got the inventory space, I've dropped my chisel, I'm not making these Guardians, so keeping these Chaos runes and then using them later for some magic levels feels like that's a good idea. There's level 50, and that's time for a little bit of a break, because now we can use large pouches, so I quickly want to loot the Rewards Guardian again because I kind of want the other two pouches. We have 40 exact points on both the elemental and catalytic. So let's just get the two pouches and maybe something spicy. Here we go. I'll be happy with a bunch of chaos runes, I guess, too. There's already the medium pouch, so that's going to speed up everything. Now, all we need is just a large pouch left. We might be able to get a collection log pop up for the intricate pouch which has, I believe, a 1 in 15 chance of dropping a hard clue. So maybe we can juggle our hard clue, which would suck because I don't want to be juggling my hard clue. There is the large pouch. So that's perfect. That's going to speed everything up. And there's the intricate pouch. Dude, I'm predicting everything. Wait, we got the giant pouch too. Oh, damn it. I can't use that. Do I drop it or let me actually check what level you can actually use the giant pouch at yeah, 75. I'll probably drop this again. I'm sure I'm going to probably loot that another time. We've got 10 more rewards in the rift. Are we going to get anything spicy? We got a bunch of Chaos runes, though. Look at that stack. Another giant pouch. So that kind of verified that we we're probably going to get that back once we start searching when we're done with this or when we start this anew at some point. But that's it. It's going to hurt, but I'm going to drop all these runes and talismans and the giant pouch again. Let's drop the hard clue and loot the intricate pouch for a tarnished locket. It's a collection log slot. By the way, I need to delete these collection log slots from the Clue Coins plugin, of course. What does that do? It's a 1 in 40, which is pretty wild. I can trade this into the Lumbridge Guide for a Amulet of the Eye, which I don't know if it gives unlimited teleports here, but if that's the case, I'm never going to have to use a Necklace of Passage again. That would be insane. So I've exchanged it now. Does this have unlimited teleports? Wow. Really? Dude, that's amazing. 
That means I don't need a Necklace of Passage anymore. That is an unlimited amount of teleports to the Wizards Guild. That's actually so good for the account. What? 1 in 40. That's ridiculously lucky. We did get a good amount of Abyssal Pearls too. We're almost at 100 right now. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it going. The only issue with being a UIM that doesn't have Lunar Spells is that I do have to repair my pouches here at the Apprentice Cordelia, who does repair my pouches for one pearl each, but to unlock this, I needed to pay 25 pearls. So I have used some pearls in repairing these pouches, but hopefully that will be worth it in the grand scheme of things. So currently I've only been saving my Chaos Runes, which will be a nice way to train my magic AFK once I'm done with this grind. But without further ado, let's get into the second opening, which maybe is already the last one because we don't need that many more pearls. 350 is crazy lucky, but we've got 100 points of each now. So it is time when this XP drop comes in, we have 101 points to spend. I don't know if that's enough for 400 pearls, but if we get lucky and get a lantern, we can trade it in for 100 pearls. So let's see. Put in the pin code. And without further ado, we just got... Oh yeah, the giant pouch back. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was the Colossal Pouch. Maybe we'll get some more collection lock slots. Maybe we get a die. I'm not sure if we can trade in a die. These intricate pouches, though, are going to be coming in clutch. It's been two days now, and I still can't believe the first thing we got from an intricate pouch was probably the best in slot item on this account. No pearl drops yet, though. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Right as I say it, 300 pearls more. We need more pearls, man. We've already went through 30. 70 more pulls, we just got our second pearl drop. And there's a third, okay. It's rolling now. Oh my God, I just got the needle. Oh my God, that is so unbelievably lucky. The good thing about UIM is that this needle is reclaimable. So even if I was to drop it, I would get it back. That is ridiculous, bro. That is so unnecessary too. Like, I, it's, it's gonna be a very long while before I can use that. <laughs> I guess it's content. That's incredible. Okay, we're over halfway our points and we are over halfway our pearls. But it's not looking too good. It doesn't seem like this is going to be the uh, the last looting sesh. Oh yeah, by the way, I feel like I should tell you guys that we got 62 rune crafting on this uh, little grind towards this first looting session or second looting session, I should say. And look at the amount of chaos runes we have. That's pretty naughty. Imagine if we get the lantern now. That'd be absolutely wild. We're going to have basically unlimited law runes after this too, which is pretty crazy. Three intricate pouches now. All right, so still a good amount of pearls left to go. Let me drop this hard clue and see what we get from the intricate pouches. An XP lamp? Didn't even know you could get that. I'm going to put that on herb lore. There we go. Four herb lore. <laughs> Soul runes and death runes. Now, last time I did, and you guys are going to hate me, I did drop the blood and death runes. However, we didn't get that many. So what I'm going to do now is sell these in the Ali Morrisane store, and then I will be back with some more looting. Or unless I get level 70 or something, you'll see that first. I'm not going to lie, this kind of hurts, but I think we're all going to be very happy that I'm doing this and not just dropping them. Right, guys? Okay, so a good way to test it that I can actually reclaim the Abyssal Needle is to drop it and then use a normal needle on the Abyssal Guardian. And there we go, we get the Abyssal Needle back. So we now have the Colossal Pouch for whenever we maybe one day get 85 room <laughs> crafting. Wild. Okay, let's keep going. We have another 51 total uh, searches that we can do. Let's actually hope that these are the last searches so we can get ourselves the Ring of the Elements. So let's get into the Guardian's belly and see what we can pull out. We need 130 pearls. Is 50 pulls going to be enough? We got another intricate pouch there and more law runes to put in our looting bag. I mean, our uh, rune pouch. So I'm going to have plenty for a very long time. Very happy with that purchase, by the way. The LMS was an absolutely worthy unlock. And there's our giant needle again, only just in a smaller form. 120 more pearls. Oh my God, I just got to die. Hang on. I think I can trade that in maybe for pearls. Or can I just change the color? Let me remove the collection log slot clue coin. There we go. We still do need a good amount of pearls. It wasn't enough. Unless we can trade in this die, and that will be 50 Abyssal pearls. I will say yes to that. And that means we only need 23. 
more pearls, if my math is correct. Let's open these last couple intricate pouches for a dragon medhelm. Wait, that is my best in slot. <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Wait, what is the drop rate on that? 1 in 45 too. That is a straight upgrade from my rune full helmet. You are joking. I did not expect that. What's the second one got for us? Astro runes. Okay. Oh, this actually looks really good. I might put the golden chef's hat into PUH, to be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna rock the dragon medhelm for a bit. Since we're uh, doing fashionscape anyway now with the dragon medhelm, I'm here to put my coins in the coffer. But I think if you get an LMS when you get a free cape or something, here it is. LMS cape. It looks a bit worse than I thought it would. Um, but we'll rock it for a bit. Let me know in the comments what you think. And also for the very first time ever on the account, we will be hitting a 1 million coin cash stack on the glue chunk uam let's put this chef's hat into poh we'll be able to take it out at any point and get these last couple guardians of the rift kc that's 65 rune crafting probably the last level of this grind i would be able to craft death runes but unfortunately that requires mortings in part two so unfortunately we can't make those i only just realized after getting the die that i didn't continue looting and i still have about 20 points i just completed one more game so we're just gonna hit over 20 more searches 22 to be exact somehow i balanced them that was not my purpose but here we go we could finish the pearls up here if we get a little lucky we have 20 more searches and we've done it we just hit enough pearl that was a lot of pearls all of a sudden let's finish up the searches and finish the episode holy that was super anticlimactic i guess can we get a pet on these last 12 searches that would be amazing you know, if the Clue Chunk boy has not gotten enough RNG yet today, maybe... Goddamn giant pouch. Maybe on these last five searches, the pet or a lantern. We got the needle. We got the die. We've got the amulet of the eye and a dragon med helm. And that is where we'll have to conclude it. Let's open these intricate pouches. Maybe we'll get a heart clue. Who knows? Another dragon med helm. Uh, that will be an alk, I guess. But ladies and gentlemen... This has been amazing. Let's go to Felix and buy ourselves the Ring of the Elements. That's a collection log slot. And this also counts as a rune storage. I could put all of my earth runes in here. Oh, I need to get one of each. Okay, we'll, we'll buy that. We'll check it out in the next episode. We've done 202 searches and this is the collection log. Actually kind of broken. On screen, you'll also see the loot of the 202 Guardians of the Rift. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave the like and subscribe if you want to. I'd greatly appreciate it. As always, channel members deserve the biggest amount of praise because they are basically the executive producers of this channel. Thank you for keeping the channel afloat. And then the three Trailer Trash Kings, Humor Bot, Jagex Me Up, and Sean of Iron, and the Trailer Trash God. That is March 3258. Thank you for watching.